I yelled, I am a calculator and you're nothing, one time. My wife, almost out of spite, someday I'll have my own robot dinosaur. My boyfriend once cupped my crotch in his sleep and said, two out of five stars. I've been known to frequent the phrase, purple fucking superpowers. Oh, Walmart, oh, Walmart, oh, Walmart, non-stop for a half an hour. My brother, I can't do it, I just can't. Dad, what can't you do, son? I can't, I can't. Can't what? Tinfoil. My husband said, I see you, even in your camouflage. But you're single on Facebook. My 12-year-old stepsister. In a Russian accent, we are Americans. I use Comrade. The transport was successful. It'll be busy clocking in no time. I'm Spider-Man, and I'm going to kill your family. There was a dentist, tethered to a nylon toe strap. Okay, okay, two bowls of butter. If you don't leave me alone, I'll punch you with my fists. Daniel, grab the files! I have the most DNA in the world, it's true. I'm gonna fuck Bill Gates cervically with a PlayStation 4. Beef in your reaction! I wanna learn how to finger paint at a university level. It's the monkey's problem if they can't finish the contract. Wash the salad, motherfucker! Bitch. I have to get past the Pikachu to get to the filing cabinet to see if I'm a robot or not. Then he whipped a plate at the wall. No, 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 you Snorlax. That's better special defense. Apparently, I once farted myself awake, sat bolt upright, yelled, where's Bulbasaur, and fell back to sleep. My friend was woken up in the middle of the night by her now ex-boyfriend smacking her in the butt while he's yelling, now that's how you fly a plane. Thanks, Obama. But bears don't even like pickles. Mum, why are deer the only animals that don't get fat? Gangster convention 3000, what's up, Wheezy? Get the fucking jetpacks ready. I wanna be a fifth avenue. A new painter. Oh, there goes one. Whooshoo! There's another one. Will you stop throwing houses? Oh, there's another. Whooshoo! Oh, all those broken toilets and shattered dreams. Shattered dreams. I once sang Britney Spears' Circus at the top of my lungs in my sleep and started myself awake. So mulish. So, so mulish. What's so mulish? My mule. My brother grabbed my ass in a hotel bed thinking it was a light switch. Don't be so racist to spotted mice. The candles keep telling me to get an American dog. Who ate all the bananas? My ex-wife once told me she was giving me a goat. I got admonished a few minutes later, still in her sleep, for not taking good care of the goat. I had a 20 minute dream about beards. Wow, that, that really is a great beard. My boyfriend quits breathing sometimes in his sleep. One night I nudged him and said, breathe, and he rolls over and whispers in my ear, Hey, fuck you, I'm Aquaman. Wife shoot me awake in the middle of the night to tell me, Zimbabwe. That's where it all started. The clown has no penis. Crucify him. Those aren't my panties, Superman. Dad. A friend of mine farted while sleeping, said doorknob, got out of bed and walked across the room. A couple years back, I woke my brother up, to which he responded, I'm wireless. Found out that he thought he was a guitar. Jeremy is going to China, but not in a sexual way. I'm going to fucking kill you in your sleep. Followed by, you heard what I said. I could have sex with everyone in New York in eight hours. It's touching her with its scaly hooves. Followed by, I can't swim, but neither can the losses. She was dreaming about lizard horses. He takes a heavenly stroll by the train tracks. I just want to kick so much ass. Randomly yell, Dunkin' Donuts! Cheese, 26 times. Just leave her cold and naked in the street. I'm Jack Bauer, bitch. A few weeks into a new relationship, I stood up on the bed, threw my arms out wide and yelled, there's blood everywhere! My fiancé told me in his sleep he was going to ship me UPS and no one would ever know. My ex once looked at me across the bed and said, I want you to drink a cup of my pee. Then she fell back asleep. Ex-girlfriend is sleeping next to me and I'm in La La Land. In her sleep drunk state, she apprehends my testicles in a Kung Fu Ninja grip and begins to demand the key to the gate. Well, that's what Reddit had to say, sleep talking either from themselves or their friends or their spouses. Now for some OC, because you see, my other half talks in her sleep. And one night, I did a little experiment. She fell asleep and began murmuring, and so to kind of accelerate the process, I gave her a very gentle poke and asked, what is the answer to the riddle? I then did this every 10 minutes for the next three hours. Here are the results. All the time, 95. In the afternoon! All the time, all the time, all of them, that's it. All the time, all of them, five in the morning. Oh, um... Seven. Three dogs. Cats. I don't know, a couple of, I don't know, a glass of water or something. Oh, is it like some kind of recipe? Oranges. Cheese. Some form of a ladder. So by running this experiment and also seeing how Redditors sleep talk, is there anything conclusive we can draw as to how the subconscious operates whilst the brain is at rest? The answer, of course, is no. We are all exquisitely fucked up individuals. My sister claims I talk seriously how chickens can save Greek economy. Small hands. <laughs> Very small. How are they that small? One of my best friends said, I am the CEO of sex. No, but the fish that was looking at me was a weird looking fish. My mum told me a story of this time where she tried to wake me up for school and asked what I wanted to eat, which I replied with, 
helicopters. My mother was arguing with Oprah in a dream. She doesn't even watch Oprah. You make me feel like a chicken nugget. Now I want to commit suicide. I don't remember the context, but I woke up repeatedly saying, John Cena! <laughs> Have you thought of using cheese? Don't take my bells, I have to pay off my house. Possum, possum, possum. Say and love, share the damn yoghurt. I once messaged my friend that fucker Tarzan is not getting a vaccine. Woke up from a nightmare and yelled, Babona Mabi Abnad. It was gibberish, Becca Sue, I was scared. Craziest I've heard was, <laughs> uh, a sick jab cook clam confusic i zoanabiki. Eisenbran. According to my mum, I always answer, yes, I'm awake, when asked if I'm awake, even while sleeping. But when she asks, what do you want for breakfast and I'm asleep, I say nonsense or vaguely relevant stuff. Once I asked for frozen strawberries, apparently I confirmed that several times, so when I really woke up and came to have breakfast, there were frozen strawberries on my plate, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Red power apple. That's why the zebra's gone deaf. I, I, I can't find the time. Thirteen year old me. When my sister was real little, my mum saw her doing swimming motions in her sleep and asked her, are you swimming? And my sister responded, mashed potatoes. Sometimes I just randomly yell fuck and wake myself up. I heard my best friend beatboxing in her sleep once. The only thing I can remember is my parents saying that I just kept barking. Once I woke up, strangling my pillow while I was oinking and squealing like a pig. My college roommate talked in his sleep about Spider-Man 2. It's been years, but it was something like, no, Spider-Man, no, don't take my... Now as YouTuber piloted on references, this is not the first time Spider-Man has been nasty in dreams, as a Redditor slumber screamed this as well. Only when going back through the comments did I see a Joe Ratchford had actually set this to video. I'm Spider-Man and I'm going to kill your family. Thank you very much for that, Joe. Now, where were we? Well, we need to discuss why you look like a testicle, which was made all the funnier by the fact that she was a little old biddy in her 60s. But no, the flashlight isn't light. We'll die. Cans. My dad once woke my mum up while she was half asleep and told her excitedly, I found the answer. I know how we're going to make our millions. Capital letters. Well, those already exist. He just said, oh, and immediately fell asleep again. In a second sleepover, my mate Ollie just said, no, Elmo, I don't want to die. Once I said, eat the fucking veggie roll, and then I cried. Once when sharing a hotel room with my brother, he woke me up to tell me there was an old woman in the police station. When I asked why, he replied, ask donuts and jelly buns. I once heard my cousin whisper, there's a monkey in my dad's trousers. Mum was sleepwalking and put a plate on the table in front of me, a bottle of, I just need to remind myself how to pronounce this, Worcestershire sauce, on top of the plate, then proceeded to interrogate me on why I wouldn't eat. Apparently I once said, in a deeply concerned tone, Yes, yes, Inspector Gadget. My partner once said, I want to be waterboarded with a cheese in this mocking, oh yeah, daddy type voice. Mother dearest, give me baseball, boys. My ex once said, you put bananas in your salad. <laughs> what are you, a dinosaur? One time when I was little, I bolted up in the middle of the night, almost crying, and begged my dad to unsew a wagon wheel from my chest. This is why Reddit and YouTube are heralded as these great creative outlets, because you all clearly have some remarkable brains. Babble Billions commented on my last video, I have a topic you might like, things people did while sleepwalking. Got this idea from a Reddit comment, I woke up to my only roommate screaming due to his game CDs being peed on. Well Babble Billions, that is precisely my kind of shit. We've looked at sleep talking a while back, let's shift things up a gear. Walked into my parents' bedroom and started pouring cereal on the floor while cackling maniacally. Woke up inside of our dryer in the laundry room, put on my nicest dress, went outside, came back inside and boiled an egg. One evening I woke up my entire household by standing over my older brother's bed and accusing him of killing a million men. My buddy sleepwalks. When we were roommates I found him sleeping next to a half-eaten steak one morning. He's a vegetarian. Tried cutting a hole in the bedroom curtains so the horse can get his head through. My co-worker wrote a review for a grill scrub brush on Amazon while sleepwalking. He hadn't bought one, he just talked about how great it was. I once woke up in full ski gear. A few weeks ago I fell asleep on the couch while my boyfriend was playing video games on our laptop in the bedroom. Apparently I walked into the bathroom, turned on the hot water in the sink and filled a cup, then walked into the bedroom and asked how his game was going. He said he was getting slaughtered. I laughed, said it was about to get worse and threw the water at him. Took on my flip flops in between books on my bookshelf, pissing in my roommate's closet while telling him that church is cancelled. My dad sleepwalks. Once he and my mum were in a hotel and my sleepwalking dad's brain decides it's a good idea to go to the hallway, bang on all the neighbours doors and shout, FIRE! FIRE! EVERYBODY OUT! THERE'S A FIRE! My GF ate a large block of sharp cheddar stark naked. It was 
awesome. Oh God, Jesus, I never mind. I'm sleepy and I read it as my grandfather. One night when I was eight or so, I apparently got up, got out of bed, walked into my mum's bedroom and started eating her deodorant. Concerned, she asked me if I was okay. I replied, oh. I feel good. I ripped out the last page of a book I was reading and hid it somewhere. I only realised this when I finished the book later and the last page was missing and I remembered a vague dream about spies. I woke up in the basement alone at 3am completely upside down. Told my sister I was going to kill her and then repeatedly recited my phone number backwards. I don't think I could even do that while awake. The phone number thing. Once my parents found me naked except for a sock sitting on the bathroom floor eating canned pineapple with a serving spoon. I woke up behind the wheel of my car with the engine running. My roommate often tells the story of the time he kicked open his parents' bedroom door around 3am and yelled, I'M THE MOTHERFUCKING BATMAN! I woke up to a row of lined up water bottles on my desk and three upside down lampshades in my bedroom. I remember the dream I was having and I was preparing my room for Richard Simmons to come with a woman to cook in my bedroom. Hey now, hey. Oh. My husband started typing on my face. I asked him what he was doing and he said calculating insurance rates. I went downstairs from my room to my parents' room, woke up my dad and said, I want to talk about the table. Then pulled down my pants and went back upstairs. A guy in my squad in the military was a sleepwalker and talker. I recorded it one night and subbed it to English. I'm just going to show you a smidge of this video for flavour. It is tremendous. The link to the whole video you'll find in the pinned comment. <laughs> My grandma found me with my hand buried in a bag of potato chips, pissing on a kitchen stool. Not me, my brother. When he was about eight, we found him in the garage, holding a frisbee upside down, rolling a tennis ball in it like a roulette wheel. He seemed to be in some sort of conversation, babbling on about something, whilst crying, softly. Carefully folded my duvet and threw it out of the window. My husband occasionally gets on his knees in bed, takes his dick out, and helicopters it around for a little while in my general direction. As soon as I ask what he's doing, he says, Oh. Made reservations for two at a five-star restaurant, stuffed and cooked a turkey. About 15 years ago, I quit my job in my sleep. When I woke up an hour later, my wife was still staring at me in shock. Slept in a hotel room with my parents on vacation, and apparently I insulted the ceiling fan. And when my parents tried waking me, I said, And uh, who the fuck are you? Made my way to the kitchen, took one of the heating elements from our electric stove, completely covered it in butter, and proceeded to try to eat it. I ended chipping two of my teeth. Got in bed with my ex-girlfriend's parents. Naked. I went through this phase of sleep shopping. First time I spent $70 on iTunes of 90s female pop songs, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilara albums, and changed my ringback tone on my phone to Hanson's Umbop. I grew up being a sleepwalker. I remember waking up to the sound of marbles clacking in my SpongeBob underpants. This one's written in a slightly different font to all the others. I don't know why. I guess it deserves a slightly different voice. I'm just going to open my mouth and see what happens. Woke up to realize that I had, in fact, eaten the six of my television remote control. <laughs> my roommate once found me standing in front of the fridge, freezer door open, gnawing on a frozen bagel. When he asked me what I was doing, I told him to mind his fucking business and go back to Peru. He's never even been to Peru. When I was young, my mother made me spaghetti while she was sleepwalking. Weirdly, my mother has never made spaghetti that has tasted as delicious. When I was a kid, my dad once took a shotgun out of the closet, loaded it, and was walking up and down the hallway with it. Peed off the top of our stairs into the downstairs hallway while my parents were watching the Oscars. And to end, apparently I've interrogated a stuffed teddy bear while searching for something. My brother, whom I share a room with, said I sounded like Batman searching for Rachel. Where is she? If you're having a bad day, I hope it puts a smile on your face to know that one time I sleep texted my crush. Today at 2.32 a.m. Noodle Boy! Uh? We've looked at sleep talking and walking in the past, both absurd expressions of the unconscious via voice and kinetics, studies of sleep walking dating back to the 1800s and of sleep talking to 500 BC. But move aside, bitches, because it's 2023 and guess what? Now we've got a whole fucking new one to worry about. I'll just do the essay later. 
later. I can't get out of bed. What's your topic and the two myths you're doing? A Greek baby. Rio 27454. What the hell is this? I was sleeping when I sent that. No, love. I had nicer. Voice. Vivek. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nice. Biver. Biver. I swear to God. Uh, Boodoo. Bored. What the fuck? I texted in my sleep. Oh, my God. How long are you going be to be by something for big stuff with scarves and all that? Oh my god, Rachel, I 100% sleep text and I have no idea what this means. You sleep talk, I sleep text. We built different cows with hair, a ponytail. See, early to bed, I thought I'd been asleep off a keys. Hey, sleep well. Pequunque's breakfast. If you still feel crappy. Yeah. Uh. But chilling like Nwasachuchikoa F. The fuck is wrong with you? What the hell? I text in my sleep and it is terrifying. I need to shave. Who's holding you back? Debt. Wait, we have a hold. A child. What do you mean we have a child? Oh my god, I sleep texted you. After this Britney Spears I can't speak and thing, she's out of kill me. Uh, what? What about Spears? I feel crazy that her team is catching on to me and not letting me sleep because I might expose the Lemafeo. You are literally not speaking clearly. This is what sleep texting looks like. How are we dressing for this party? As an egg. Oh, okay. CB Bubba Bo, oh, and Bubba Bo, Bo, on no, no, on I know, no, no, oh, no, oh, no need. Uh, please ignore, I somehow managed to do that in my sleep. The sound of it sending woke me up. Are you moving to Gambia? Not very likely. I really sleep texted my mother this at 3 a.m. last night. What the hell does that even mean? Because it was a national art piece. Number 12, cut in half, old daddy. What's an old daddy? Woke up this morning to find I sent this text in my sleep to an unknown number. Whoever you are, I'm so sorry. I'm on my way! Wall is down and tattered paper at the edges. Just scrape it off and it'll be fine. So, so, so proud of you navigating social niceties. So thank you. Kill little Bill. Excuse me? My sleep texting is getting interesting. Remember him? My aunt informed about someone who passed away in my family WhatsApp group. I sleep texted a monkey face sticker saying, Hmm. Ost, sos, t -sot titty, titty, sotsu, sty, toster, s, ostot, story is. Stot, sorry, t -sot. Sorry, stays. T titty C T titty T. -t I sty titty. Stop the top. S that's type S tist sty to set set to Saint Saint S S tis is S to T. Stats I Saint C yes to Saint 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 T. I sleep texted my dad this at 1:27 in the morning. Hey, a quick question. Where am I? What is his place? Why did I sleep text my mum this skull emoji? No B day till next month. When you sleep text your teacher, Yugoslav. What really? At 11.59pm. Uh, sorry, Miss Parker. I text this whilst I was sleeping. I sleep texted my store manager last night. Kilograms, as those look as dark and good. <laughs> sleep texted my ex. Fuck. Sloth sticker, sloth sticker, sloth sticker, sloth sticker. Getting ready, getting ready. My roommate sleep texted out a star ray agent. I think that's supposed to be our estate agent. How's the search going? Which are top three? Tell them I sent you. Let me know as soon as you put in an application. Thanks. How is the search going? Which are top three? You tell them I sent you. Thirsty. Go to sleep. Oh, you too. I make so much money, I'm a Jonas brother. It was just him. Is all that ex- Heek. This is lift? You cannot text this number. Bonk the horse, Jack. Wow, we are here. Keep choking on the wood on this ship. Holy shit, there's someone hide in my house. What? What do you mean someone was in your house? Apparently, I sleep texted my girlfriend last night. I am purple? Wh why? What? Purple? Help! Purple! I don't know what you mean. Well, like your skin? What? Help! Bug, I do not know what you mean. We got a text here from Sloan. Sloan says, I fell asleep at like 10 and I just woke up and Facebook was open with you and I unlocked my phone and I just got accepted into this group about snakes. We see the group here. Posts such as snake facts. Go! Well, cookery snakes have no venom, but it's one of the most aggressive snake. Isn't a cookery also a kind of dagger or short sword? However, as well as sleep joining the group, it appears Sloan also sleep contributed. Long. P.S. Is this D.S.D.I.'s? The St. Sotted. A sit. Tisto. To I love Saint. Love Saint. It's totters. Tisto. Stot. Saint. Ost. Start. To. To. Taste. Sorry. Is to Saint. Sit. I literally sleep text 
somebody last night and I'm in Oh, interesting and I never win Nick innings to Nini inning nominated unintentionally and new 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 including the nice night ninja how about you no other innovative names no no not just no no nin 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 initially no no not innovative not to ah interesting and I never win Nick innings to Nini inning nominated unintentionally and new 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 including the nice night ninja how about you no other innovative names no no not just no 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 nin 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 initially no no not innovative not to incriminate now not to <laughs> Interesting, and I never win Nick Innings to Nini inning nominated unintentionally in new 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 including Nin Nice Night Ninja. How about you? No other innovative names. No, no, not just no no nin nin ninja 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 nin nin initially. No, no, not innovative. Not to incriminate now. Not no innocence. I just an innocent smiling face with halo emoji. Never win ninja mnemonic. No, my intention innings mining not in 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 fun. No, no gin in 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 eg. Not trying to engine the night not nine no not nin 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 no no same i sleep texted my mum last night can you throw mr granola bar who's mr granola bar accidentally sleep texted my dad to tell him i was taking a nap and woke up to see this analog smiley face emoji i'm taking anal and then i'll be over whenever i wake up probably around 4 4 30 i have sleep texted someone on depop a what the actual fuck uh, 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 uh. Hi, would you include first class postage? Tesco. Sorry. So I woke up with my notes app open, remembering I had a dream where I wrote down a name, and sure enough, I apparently sleep texted this to myself. Tugs, Timmy, Tommy, Dancy, Junior. Remind me later about a purple velvet hat and Mindy Carling. Free Tucker. Huh? I said a ho. I, ye, a thing is a hoody hoody gig, R.I.P. She had a dream we were zombies and sleep texted me to make sure I was. Are you up? Are you and Cody okay? Still human? Protect the sausage, I can't hold them back anymore, it's gonna get too soggy. <laughs> Hit me with those holiday deets, ads they swamped in Xmas lights, or just telling Percy jokes about his deck. Today on Small Sass Dick. Oh my god, I just sleep texted someone this. We good, thank you. Traffic. That's smart. What? I don't know. What? He hello? I'm sleeping. Okay, bye. I'm too old to use fast A in ZB. What? Horse. What are you talking about? Did I just sleep texted my mum? What the fuck? <laughs> Translated from Morse code, that's C, she, z, e. Oh God! What's your favourite colour cheese? I'm leaving very soon with orange. Mum with Kanye. He drank Bressera to milk, then I come. Bitch. I fell asleep trolling Twitter and sleep tweeted Elon. Sadung ooze at my verbalic. That is disgusting. I'm curious to know who technically invented the grocery store and if they're okay. Can she not remain in dollar and her Otherwise, what? Wait, I mean Siri. She's she's been long and great. Wait, oh, Jesus Christ! I've no idea what I'm talking about. Turn sister saint, twist saint, sir as sir ice at us, sir saint, sir saint. Sir saint, sir saint. Sir sorry, to, I loved saints. I I I I saint. I saint. I see titty titty t s t i sets. I just love story saint. Tis. I sent this sleep text to at Miller Low Life. I'm sorry, I just realised my texts don't make sense. I will never. This is like ice, no? So ice is cold, so I don't let. Oh, they're the folk. Send God. Taryn. What? Then sent one to my mum that just said, is big head. I just want to talk to you about my dad. I'm so sorry, but I fell asleep while selling those fish. That's why. What? Sleep texted Danielle at 3.50am thinking I was in the movie Insidious. I guess I said of work and now I'm in this weird room. What? Miss ma'am, I need better prayers. What? Woke up to find that I sleep texted my parents and my sister in the middle of the night and told them drive safely guys love you i'm adele what tiling go face with steam from nose emoji what lameo okay i am dying maid riot uh what does that mean so why did you leave my house Whip. better www terrible at 6 a.m he knows morning internet what squab weapon what wow wow good now what doordash made a bat why someone or something and bow that drive crazy what i'm a jackal have you you put your buggies in the oven yet? I love unnamed SOS. Cute. Just go to your pasta. I do wash a mean shoe. I'm paranoid about this new killer. 
What? I sleep texting my girlfriend on Discord and I'm just, I was so confused. I would never not love you, fictional character or not. Oh? Am I a fictional character, LaMeo? I love you. I love you more, clutter up bus. A bucket. I don't know what I just said to be honest. I just miss you. Yeah, you call me clutch you up bucket. Just found out. I text in my sleep. Good night, babe. I love you. Heart emoji. I live, huh? But what I found from my research is that sleep texts that funnel to the unconscious can genuinely be some of the sweetest things of all. You are sleep texting me, yet still making fun of me. No pai noi. Yes, you are, love. Go to sleep. You appear moo hill of reckoned. I love wah. I am your girlfriend and I love you too. Sleep tight. I lonra beer me go wah boyfriend. I wanna be a frack, sir. Mystery, yoi. Eh, we can talk about that tomorrow, love. Get some sleep now. To Estes are the E T and B T system C T T I Titty Head. Had a dream I won the Nobel Prize for writing a BuzzFeed article that got 100 billion hits about 10 bowls of mac and cheese that look just like Ryan Gosling. At Vipopper1 asked how on earth have I not done a video on R stroke Thomas the Plank Engine which didn't ring any bells but as soon as I learned it was about memes made up in people's dreams my curiosity was definitely piqued and I realised we have actually been here before when we looked at dreams about me including this jumped up video idea about the internet's craziest lion stories which incredibly to this day I still get comments like with three ad loin stories so let's see what else this reddit has then I had a dream you could speed up pregnancies by paying gems just like in clash of clans now's not the time to be stingy spend some green gems to speed things up I saw this on my phone as I was waking up app store phone Spotify evil Spotify in a dream I had a software that allowed me to time travel the interface looked like this version of one Point three. I note the settings there where you can input the date, the location, uh, adjust your squimble. Recreation of a video thumbnail I saw in my dream. Leaning tower caught standing upright. She fooled us all. Cheater. I dreamed that I was playing Mario Kart and there was a track that took three days to complete. And when I somehow managed to get first place, a pop-up came on screen that read, Congratulations! You're going to have so much sex. This briefly flashed in my mind as I drifted off to sleep I can fix her my brother in Christ she stabbed you in the stomach woke up with this image in my head why is it downloading the wrong Japan I have no idea what the correct Japan would have been dreamed up Demi Lovato running a child trafficking ring and responding to it very poorly on Twitter wow and no one was gonna tell me about this face with rolling eyes emoji the FBI doesn't have to tell you jack shit um I think I have the right to know when they decide to randomly trespass on my property. Are you even going to explain yourself? Mistakes happen. Dozed off at school once and saw this image for a split second. Choose a difficulty. British or extra British? This was the USA weather report in my dream. And we're cold up north, lows of minus 17. Getting a little warmer as we move down south, particularly Oklahoma there on 99. That this was the top post of all time on R Stroke Comics. I'm 16 today. That means I get to finally meet my person. Personal fairy. <laughs> Hello, little boy. I'm the flesh boiling fairy. W what do you do? <laughs> I had a dream where there was a trend where celebrities and influencers would post their entire sequenced genomes on social media so that people could recreate them at home. For instance, Kim Kardashian posts people have been asking for my genome for quite a while now, so here you go, smiling face with three hearts emoji. It's G C A T C A G T C G C A T G C A T G C A C G A T C G A T C A G C A G C. Yeah. Dreamed this was spammed all over Twitter. Emergency frog situation! I saw this on my phone in one of my dreams. Don't you love it when this guy fucking dies? I hate this ad, by the way. Had a dream that the new Twitter fad was to post a picture of a giant isopod photoshopped into historical events and going, Eugene, not again. Had a dream where a subreddit called R Stroke Cat 
Cats with Tits ended up having the most upvoted post. And it was just this. This has been censored as a NSFW. Just giving you a chance now. If you want to look away, that's absolutely fine. I'll let you know when you can look back. It'll be on the screen for three seconds, okay? Oh, bloody hell, that is quite shocking. That is quite shocking. Um, okay, that's gone. You can look back now, everyone. Sorry about that. Sorry. I had a dream where there was a subreddit called R Stroke How Big Are They? Where people posted normal photos of others and everyone had to try to guess how big their balls were. Oh, but he has some real hangers. I had a dream that instead of smartphones, we carried around smart kitchen knives. I dreamt there were Mr. Beast trading cards, and if you combined Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Air, and Mr. Beast Beyond Air, they would combine into a card called Golden Mr. Beast that had slightly worse stats than all three of them. This green text appeared to me in a dream. Be me. Go to McDonald's. Order 10 quadrillion McNuggets. Laugh, because there's no possible way they can make 10 quadrillion McNuggets. Five minutes later, they call my name. 10 quadrillion McNuggets! Had a dream last night that Sony announced a new handheld at E3 RIP called the PlayStation 2 3 and kept talking about how it had the longest screen in gaming history and it literally only came with one app called Find My Isis. Had a dream there was an emoji like 100 except it was only 60. Some posts said Popeye's fries be tasting so good 60 and I laughed so hard I woke myself up. Had a dream that whenever Elon Musk tweeted it was blocked by a deer and people had to reply turn the opaque deer Claire which would slowly cause it to fade away I wonder would people comment that in real life if that were to actually happen I'll tell you what I'll find out I tweeted this random rubbish the other day and photoshopped a deer over it then reacted with total confusion as to what was happening comments included what help what Matt what the fuck did you do skull emoji deer puns including oh dear and dig God, someone re-photoshopped it and said, yeah, man, it's happening to all your tweets, sadly. What is going on? I'm so confused. I've not got any idea. And, interestingly, that this looks like something they would see in a dream. But then, and much to my surprise, from at boy in the back one, make that opaque dear clear. Dreams can come true. Obviously, I later confessed and apologised and my followers were uh, livid, actually, but uh, all in the name of research. Anyway, the horrible fast food food item from my dream. Prepare a soft gel taco, a quesadilla and a pizza, folded in half. Stack these three food items with sauce layers in between them, put the stack into a large tortilla, creating a big soft gel taco, add more sauce layers on the top and bottom of the stack. There's a little structure diagram down there. It smelled pretty good. Yeah, would that actually smell pretty good though? Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll find out. Get taco, shall we? Go for it. Beautiful. Beautiful! Oh, that's broken. Lots of that. Oh, it smells good. It smells good, eh? Let's get the old cafe here. So, I put that in there. Well, I'm covering in cheese and that's it. I'm sure there are more actual steps to it, but... Yeah. And then you fold it in half. Yup. Take Pop, 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 the deer. What's going on here, look? To probably move the raw meat away from the cooked meat. Don't be such a coward. <coughs> cool. A bit spicy. What, what? How, what? For just the smell? The air. The air. Can't handle heat. Get out of the location. All right, you can film it on your own. Yeah, no, no please don't get out of the <laughs> Stuck to the fucking pan. Oh, hey. Delicious, yeah. Easy, Gigi. Quesadilla. Time for a quick drink break, do you reckon? Yeah. See you later. Well, I need to fold this in half somehow. Surprisingly, very hot. <sighs> We're going to add some of this luscious to it. Yeah? Yeah. Your mouth, mouth just watering. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The big boy wraps come in. There you go. To whatever redditor that was. Never let your dreams just be dreams. Oh, really good! Good <laughs> try. Huh? Can I try? Yeah. 
Can I try? Mm -hmm. You really gotta get in there. <laughs> Where were we? Thought of this right before I woke up. How can I be shapist? I'm a circular friend. I had a dream I dropped by a friend's sister's sweet 16. And this was the banner in front of the house. Ah, sweet 16. Had a dream where breaking bad characters held positions of power. And I vividly remember this raw as hell Twitter thread. It's time for Congress to stop the talk. And finally, a walk the walk. Maybe I would walk the walk if I still had my fucking legs. Snakes have no need for legs, Hector. Saw this in a dream after a particularly bad day. It doesn't get better. Had a dream where my parents died. And my friend sent me this. Mike, condolences. I just had a terrifying nightmare about a message for all humans. One day your hatred will birth a god of spiders. I had a dream I went to Nintendo when they revealed to me that all this time the real Pokemon designer was this Russian guy named Vladimir Pokemon Designer. And I asked him, why'd you name Jigglypuff that? And he said, his puff is jiggly. Are you jogstal? And crushed my head. Like an empty soda can. Had a dream, this window popped up on my computer. Fish, find your true self. Question 5 of 50, I have fond memories of being a fish? Um, possibly? Hmm, not looking great on the old fishiometer. I had a dream, a famous YouTuber made an apology video, but instead of apologising, they just played Call of Duty the entire video. Hmm, very unwise. Saw this poster in my dream. Pronouns guide, she sure, he hem or the they. If you feel differently or need any help, please contact and immediately woke up to Google. H who the fuck is Pedro S? Had a dream that the city of Siena, Italy disappeared. Here's some of the internet's reactions. Y'all need to stop joking. 30,000 ad people died. You're making memes. Grow up. <laughs> Thousand ad. Ratio. I dreamed that I made this meme and it became extremely popular. Yoyr. Dreamed up this meme today. Garuma. <laughs> You're so smart for your age and so mature too. Versus Baruma. Holy fuck, I love sweeping. Oh, I don't get it either. Dreamt of this exact comic strip and had to try and recreate it. I wish to fart my entire life's worth of farts right now. Your wish is granted. Ha! Huh? Had a dream where Twitter added an update showing the user's highest spice flavour tolerance. Why the hell did Twitter think this was a necessary update? <laughs> you eating fucking mayonnaise! I had a dream where the word pizza was abruptly changed and colloquially called Bimmy. The $5 Bimmy is back! Slice of Bimmy emoji! I don't know if this counts, but this flashed in my head during a mental breakdown at school. Movie leaks! Ha ha ha, this character dies. No! Leaks movie? I just got a new car, I wanna take it for a spin. Sure thing, but first I gotta take a leak. Had a dream. Reddit shut down, and this was the only message they left. We lost the code. Lol. Goodbye, virgins! Fucking A. As I'm sure you know by now, I like to give you the most authentic experience I can in terms of noises. Bit burps. Mm -hmm. uh, sneezes. <laughs> Even that me crumpling the can from earlier was real. So I'm just trying to get some gas in the tank for something I know I've got to do later. I've a bit sweet. I'm 33 years old. Last night, I dreamt I tweeted, I wish blankets grew from your head instead of hair so you'd always have a blanket with you. It got 7,000 retweets and Jay-Z quoted it and said, A zebra is just a dirty horse. So, there's been speculation as to why we never see phones in our dreams, but plenty of people disputed this, saying they have dreams in which they actively tweet. To be honest, I, many years ago as a student, had a dream which I then made a reality that I created the Facebook group. I hate it when I think walls firemen build out of tyres are actually rope. Oh, I mean, in my dream, and I can't stress this enough, this made absolute sense and I thought would easily go viral. Two random bots joined it to promote an assault I died and I rediscovered it a long time later to some confusion. Now, l let's see what else the subconscious is making people dream they tweeted. I mean, it could be genius. Do you still have all of your original fingers? I once had a dream that I tweeted, there are fish living inside my brain. Just like
like that, and it got no likes and 3,000 private quote retweets. I had a dream that I tweeted about half mouse, half human nipples, and the first thing I did when I woke up was make sure I actually didn't tweet about it. I had a dream I tweeted this, and it low-key blew up. I want to know the information. Last night I had a dream that I tweeted Happy New Year, <laughs> pun intended, and I don't know what it means. Dreamt I tweeted one quadrillion wasps, and everyone replied, that's too many wasps to tweet, you shouldn't have tweeted about so many wasps. And I hid all the replies, lost my dad at the Tony Hawk the concert. Has anyone seen him? This is a tweet I dreamt I tweeted. I asked a girl in my dream if she thought it was a good tweet. She said no. I dreamed about tweeting that I had three testicles. In the dream I I kept checking to make sure I had three instead of two. Dreamed that I tweeted this exact tweet and it got like a million likes. Christmas, or as I like to call it, uh, Lootmas. I'm a gamer. Last night I had a dream. I tweeted something that got 23.6k likes in under half an hour. It was this. 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th May are such beautiful dates. I'll give you a call on 5th May at 11am. Gorgeous. What uh, the fuck is wrong with me? Had a dream I tweeted well, it's not working on my device and got mad when no one retweeted it. I had a dream I tweeted colonoscopy would be a beautiful name for a girl. Red heart tulip. With those emojis, had a nightmare. I tweeted something questioning religion and somebody tweeted my baptism pics like this you. Woke myself up with a start last night because I had a dream I tweeted celebrity doppelgangers that feel illegal. Along with a photo of Matt Bellamy beside a photo of amazing Phil from YouTube. The fuck was I on about? I feel like it's difficult for two people to look less alike. I had a dream I tweeted fast flying orb. I had a dream that my door caught on fire and I literally dreamt that I tweeted not my door catching on fire. Exclamation mark backslash euro tilde asterisk pipe symbol comma asterisk pound backslash greater than pipe symbol euro tilde. I had a dream that I tweeted can I evolve more please? And it got hundreds of replies from strangers asking how many bones do you have? And I deactivated book of it. Say, how many bones do you have? Um, one for the... 300? Sorry, I looked up the wrong thing! That's how many babies have! Last night, I dreamt I tweeted, realize, realize, real lies on her, and it got 8,493,849,384 likes and retweets, which is slightly more than everyone in the world. I had a dream that I tweeted, me, it's lit. Italian me, is so lit. And it got 100k plus retweets, and I was asked to go on Ellen. I had a dream that I tweeted, Hello! And I got banned from Twitter. Had a dream that I tweeted, oh, this masturbation shit, easy. And got seven private quote retweets, uh, and a bomb threat. I had a dream that I was abducted. In my dream, I tweeted for help. No one helped. You all said, oh, good luck. Hope you get out soon. Had a dream I tweeted this picture and captioned it something to the effect of when you drive in bones. Had a dream doctors found weird hormones in my pee and the doctor fully wrote like a child and spelled hormones as Harmon. Then I had a dream I tweeted about it, and I somehow demonstrated exactly how he wrote it in the tweet. It was like, ha <laughs> ha, um, ooh. Nah. I dreamed about moving to a big house, and got so excited in the dream, I tweeted with a wireless keyboard from another room. I remember the dream tweet letter by letter. Oh, 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 um, twet ving fi room. Last night I dreamed that I tweeted a poorly transcribed recipe of the McDouble. It was like, McDonald's McDumble. One meat, one piece of top bread, one peak of bottom bread. Cheese! McDonald's sauce. One... Pajinums. Nothing. Cook it. I had a dream I tweeted me in the womb out of context and it was a picture of a horse. Dreamt I tweeted Shex fuck X and for some reason it made me very sad. Had a dream I tweeted this and then got famous. That bird at my eggs. I had a dream that I tweeted pics of me on the toilet after many requests and it got six likes. Had a dream I tweeted woke up with a bloody nose and a British person said we all wake up with noses you twat. I had a dream that I tweeted the best part eating individual slices of cheese is that you get to ask each one why they are here. <laughs> Had a dream that I tweeted, I just love salmon so much, and someone quote tweeted it. Bears in the summer be like, had a dream I tweeted something like this, and it was popular, so here, 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 go, here goes, I guess. 
Pliers! Had a dream that I tweeted something like, you only crave water when you don't have any, and someone ratioed me with, uh, yeah, it's called being thirsty, dumbass. LaMail! I had a dream I tweeted the word piss last night, and it got like 100k likes and 50k retweet. What the fuck? Yeah, I had a dream that I tweeted, remember to pee first thing in the morning. And it went viral, and everyone was praising me like it was the most intelligent thing ever said. You know, there's quite a few of these to do with pee. I assume because while sleeping, you actually need to pee in RL, uh, much like you're still aware of your bowels. I had a dream I tweeted, my farts sound like red velvet caking falling through a PVC pipe. I dreamed that I tweeted something personal about myself, but Twitter added a tweet disclosure to it, saying she's melodramatic and also wrong. I had a dream I tweeted about making banana soup. And for some reason the tweet went viral, and everyone started calling me the banana soup girl. Loudly crying face emoji. Had a dream that I tweeted, how's it going with y'all all? And everyone started clowning me, replying with, oh, y'all all. Lol. I've been having very vivid dreams lately, and last night I dreamt I tweeted an image of Alexander and his Macedonians burning Persepolis, captioned, white boy summer. I dreamed that I tweeted, I can't talk right now, I'm doing hot girls stuff while shopping downtown with Bernie Sanders. Had a dream I tweeted at Barack Obama, you are so fucking hot. And he replied with an Uno reverse card. What the actual fuck does this mean? Dreamed I tweeted, putting my ear up to a pussy to hear the ocean. And former President Bill Clinton quote tweeted, <laughs> I think I had a dream I tweeted something about Ed Balls. Ed Balls? Ed Balls. If you don't know, on the afternoon of April 28th, 2011, our Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer, Ed Balls, accidentally tweeted at Ed Balls, and everyone replied, Ed Balls. Had a dream, I tweeted, there's liver in my blood. Uncommon. With a fucking picture of a man standing in my hallway. I dreamed that I tweeted, I know everything, and someone replied asking what I knew, and I responded saying, I don't know. In my dream, I tweeted, I only buy year-long insurance for my snowboard, because in the off-season I use it to butter my bread. Not not only is it odd I dreamed this, but also why wouldn't I just use a knife? At C California tweets they had a dream that they had a dream they tweeted something, then woke up from that dream to tweet about that they just dreamt about tweeting. I just dreamed that I tweeted, Detective, mm, I love Sundays. Earlier today, I dreamt I tweeted, show me your most niche porn. And then, mere moments later, 100 plus DMs all sending me this exact same image. Sorry, is that not a, a scoop? I had a dream last night about guillotines, and in the dream I tweeted, thanks for coming to my behead talk, and you all really loved it. I had a dream that I tweeted something about McDonald's, and the official McDonald's Twitter responded with, what the fuck does this mean? I had a dream that I tweeted, when daddy's money is frog emoji, knife emoji, and Hours later, I still have no idea. Had a dream that I tweeted, April Fools bring May Gabagools, and it went viral. And to be fair, they've posted this to 149,000 likes. I had a dream that I tweeted something about cups, and it went viral, so here I am shooting my shot. Cups! No likes. Had a dream I tweeted, back scratches are goated. Makes you wonder how many likes it would have gotten. Well, I thought I'd find out for you, so I tweeted it myself, and it made some okay numbers in 24 hours. Lots and lots of people relating to it. People saying it reminded them of my old tweets. Some confusion, obviously. And, you know, a bit of thinking maybe my cat had tweeted it. I dreamed that I tweeted Colgate, telling them it was a toothpaste, not toothpaste. Well, I tried that for you, too. No response. Dreamt I tweeted, cereal in a glass, it's different. So I'ma try it, uh, please allow me with my usual scientific precision. Alright, <coughs> shit off. Got quite high hopes for this. I mean, yeah. Look, I dreamt I tweeted about chilli flakes and iced water. <sighs> Did you? Seems like, seems like enough. <sighs> well. <coughs> Dreamed I tweeted, you're a nihilist? Cool. What do you nihilist?
hill and then my laptop exploded in the dream and I awoke in a panic. Dreamt I tweeted, damn, she's thick as hell. About Meg from Family Guy and desperately kept trying to delete it and the site wouldn't let me. It was fucking horrifying. I had a dream, I tweeted. And noticed how you've never seen anyone talk shit about Kirby. But as I posted that, reality distorted and spooky Nintendo men in black came to capture me. Nugdav Javox Hugg Budded! Tennis, but with magic. Which people be calling their dad, father, seen any good bugs lately? 1999 was three years ago. Let that sink in. Grapes are a bath time food? I'm gonna eat a rock. Imagine adults looked exactly like babies, only much bigger. Pooping alone again. Bart and Lisa Simpson look like they should be called Kevin and Barbara. I wanna tug some pubes! Last night I dreamt I tweeted a picture of myself with the words, let's get this boy on the internet. I dreamt I tweeted some something in Japanese, and I'll never know what it said because I can't read Japanese. Fell asleep in the middle of my homework and dreamt I tweeted, what is realism? It not my dream, I tweeted. If this is a dream, I'm going to be so fuck give jung pissed. I had a dream about tweeting, just this. Dreamt I tweeted this out, saying just fondly remembering our war dead. And everyone got mad at me. This, for the unaware, is from a 90s baseball video game where a Japanese game designer had to make up a bunch of American names, such as Willie Dustis, Carl Dandleton, Bobson Dugner, and Dw- Dwigger, Dwigger. Twig at Portugal. Last night I had a dream that I tweeted something like the tortoise in the tortoise in the hare pulled off the greatest heist of all time and it got retweeted by Danny DeVito. I had a dream I tweeted about how poor I was and Taylor Swift messaged me. I saw your tweet. I just sent you one Bitcoin. Smiling face with three hearts emoji. I dreamt that I tweeted Hank Green gave me a can of peas at Hank Green and that he told me I didn't give you a can of peas. I had a dream I tweeted Kim K with braids looks like the triceratops from Land before time and people got mad but I don't know I think my subconscious made some points I had a dream that I tweeted this no one absolutely no one Jennifer Aniston I have a ponytail I had a dream that I tweeted Melissa McCarthy a picture of my cat with human lips and said I like listening to Phil Collins and she mentioned it in an interview and they printed a picture of my cat with human lips and next thing I knew I was flying first class with Jenny from the chase Dreamt I tweeted that Robin Williams in Mrs. Doubtfire was irresponsible and a negative influence on his kids and his ex-wife was right not to let him see them and everyone hated me for it. I'm going to start posting all my hot takes with Dreamt I tweeted too. It's a good heat deflection tool. Cheers. It's the perfect crime. But here's a dream tweet which I'm pretty sure is not just a craftily disguised hot take. Look, I've been reading stuff off the internet for some years now and th- this is one of the weird had a nightmare I posted a pic of my grandpa that died when I was a baby and Twitter deemed him in their new sexy man and drew pictures of him getting railed by old men from various fandoms. This site's giving me actual brain damage. I just had a dream that I tweeted this is the end while half asleep. Um, what the fuck does that mean? I just accidentally sent my ex a friend request on Facebook. And Juxi Warwick, Gen 1 Juxi Woo, Jerry Soto Weso, help! Accidentally sent this to my ex BF with zero context. I just sent my ex a picture of my forehead that said, I'm the eggiest egg you've ever known on accident. We haven't talked in literally two years. I just accidentally sent my ex the Snapchat Bitmoji sticker where it's you watching the other person sleep. Accidentally sent this to my ex husband instead of 14 year old son, fearful face emoji. Time for bed, mate. Have you done your homework? I accidentally sent my ex BF, whom I haven't talked with in years, a severally descriptive paragraph about me holding in a shit. You think you can hurt me? I accidentally sent my ex a picture of a kitchen towel with a minion saying banana on it. When I ordered my mum a birthday card, I accidentally sent my ex a happy anniversary card from three years ago. Moon Pig has a lot to answer for. Sent my ex a screenshot of his own Instagram by accident. I accidentally sent my ex a Snapchat of me in a green face mask with the caption Shrek 5 coming soon. Accidentally sent my ex a relationship 
relationship quiz off BuzzFeed instead of sending it to good old Carrie Ann's 24 and uh, he took it! Oh no! Still traumatised that last week I accidentally messaged my ex this meet has gone bad and couldn't unsend it so in panic mode I love reacted it! Accidentally sent my ex my Snapchat premium link! Skull emoji! 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 Thinking about the time when I accidentally sent my ex a shirt that just said Spice Rat <laughs> on it because I wanted it for myself, boo their address, auto completed as my shipping address for whatever reason. I just accidentally sent my ex a video of an uncooked chicken shaking its ass. Accidentally sent my ex a video of a nightmarishly animatronic baby shubal stork. I accidentally sent this to my ex! Nut! Accidentally sent my ex a video of a long furb. Oh, I wonder which one. Oh, Accidentally sent my ex that I haven't seen in like five years a video of me dancing in my pyjamas to Skater Boy. I just remembered that time I accidentally sent my ex a video of an uncooked turkey shaking its ass and I wanted to hey 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 you said you I don't care if this tweet's six years old you said it was a chicken. Skull emoji 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 I sent my ex 250 quid by accident. Accidentally sent this to my ex. Peace was never an option eight times. Oh my god, I accidentally sent my ex a video of a meme of someone drawing a fucking cat. I just accidentally sent my ex an entire packet of poetry. Well, that's not that bad. That's about her. Snooping on Snap and I accidentally sent my ex my location. And the only thing I could think to say was, well, n n now you know where I am. So today's going well. I just accidentally sent my ex a video of me singing, well, you're a nice guy. I'll think about it. Maybe exo baby. And so I hope she knows that means I'm thriving. Skullamoji, 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 Skullamoji! I accidentally sent this to my ex and we aren't on speaking terms! Happy birthday! It's your birthday! Just accidentally sent my ex my McDonald's order! Accidentally sent my ex-wife the thick Grinch! Accidentally sent my ex a meme about sucking dick! I accidentally sent my ex's divorce attorney a Facebook friend request while we were getting divorced! So what do I know? <laughs> Skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. He mad. Yo, I just sent my ex and my uncle pictures of my ah. Uh, oh, do you know what? That's that's enough Twitter for today. Therapists there to help you better understand yourself, and so they are trained listeners. Every word you say, and even the smallest and most subconscious of signals. Therapist texts me to ask if I can reschedule. I accidentally sent her a dagger emoji instead of thumbs up. Just accidentally texted this to my therapist instead of my mum. I could stalk people now. <laughs> I accidentally sent a screenshot of my therapist to my therapist. Killed a pigeon with my car and accidentally sent my therapist a viral video of a pug farting into a balloon. How's your Saturday going? Accidentally sent my therapist an extra photo when sending her my class schedule. Hi Susanna, I'm so sorry I didn't send my schedule, I lost track of time. Here's my class schedule, uh, here's, ah, uh, accidentally sent come cuddle to my therapist. I accidentally sent a screenshot of this tweet to my therapist and I blame you. This tweet's being Tommy in it, my balls are my guilty pleasure. Happy anniversary to the time I accidentally texted this nightmare to my therapist. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I accidentally sent my therapist a picture of me sitting alone drinking two large beers at a bar an hour before I was coming in to see her. Accidentally sent a meme directed at the group chat to my therapist today. Good morning, I have her scheduled for 2 p.m. I won't tolerate this. Accidentally sent a text to therapist asking them to fuck an appointment for Wednesday instead of fix an appointment. Yo! I just accidentally sent my therapist a link to KFC Crocs! No! <laughs> accidentally just sent this video to my therapist. <laughs> Mm. Forgot to pay my therapist and then accidentally sent her a gif of someone laughing when she wrote to remind me. My sister accidentally sent an audio message to her therapist instead of me. Calling now. We're almost home. Please give me like five minutes. I I'm so sorry. I'm ready now. I want a burrito so bad. Oh my god, they look so good. I keep seeing food ASMRs about them.
They look bomby up. Oh my gosh, I meant to send that to my sister! I accidentally sent a TikTok of a Mike Wazowski fleshlight to my therapist. I'm starting with a new therapist tomorrow, and I had to send her scans of some signed forms, but I accidentally sent her this instead. Go set the jable. It's time for Jinnah. I accidentally sent this fucking sticker to my therapist. I meant to send a meme to my friend group chat, and I sent it to my therapist on accident. So, uh... When you see your friend that died five years ago walking around with his big titty necromancer GF, y you did it, y you crazy son of a bitch. Y you did it. That last one was not to you. So I was to the group chat, and I got distracted by a chipmunk. Ignore that. Fuck. Accidentally just sent a thanks, you two, to my therapist after he wished me a good weekend. To be honest, the only reason I included this one is because it has a juicy keyboard smash I wanted to stretch myself with. Oh, sock jab doc nand pudding wayne lex snack whoop and squalls. Still got it. I just sent this to my therapist on accident. I crave emotional intimacy. Oh my god, that was an acid net. I just accidentally told my therapist I've been feeling pretty Poggers. I accidentally texted my therapist Yeehaw when letting them know about my last minute move. Scholar Moji! I accidentally sent this to my therapist. Oh my god, she, she left me on red too. <laughs> I just accidentally sent my therapist $1,400 instead of $140. Dream posted more snaps on his Snapchat. I accidentally sent those to my therapist! No, you were roasting a small child to your husband and accidentally sent four messages to your therapist, woozy face emoji. Accidentally sent this wonderful typo to Daniel, my massage therapist. 745 works. Great, I'll see you then. Did you want a 40 min or 60? Uh, let's do 69. My therapist sent me this silent video by accident when trying to log on to our FaceTime appointment and I will treasure it forever. We end wholesomely with not me being dramatic and accidentally sending the wrong text to my therapist at work. Almost wrecked and my food flew down into my floorboard and now I can't eat my fries. Oh my god, wrong text. That sounds tragic. I hope that the intended recipient of the message can fully appreciate and empathise with your struggle. Good luck out there. It is a cruel world. It is a cruel world, and it's okay to reach out. Never be scared of talking to a therapist. Except this one. I hate school, I want to unexist. Hi Professor, I attached the project. See you after break. How are you feeling? I think you attached uh, the wrong image. I really just accidentally sent an Instagram video of mac and cheese to my ceramics teacher with the comment NUT. Just accidentally sent this to my elementary school gym teacher. Your first mistake was thinking I was weak. I hate myself so much, this is my teacher. I composed a draft tweet for myself and accidentally sent it to her. OMG, it's Michael Jackson! Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> so, uh, I was gonna send my math homework to my teacher, but I accidentally sent a Giga Chad image. I accidentally sent my teacher this when trying to ask them to print out my mask process. Donald. I accidentally sent my French teacher a photo of a frog. That time I accidentally sent a nude to my Afrikaans teacher. Connor accidentally sent my health teacher a photo of me eating cake instead of the assignment. Oh my god. I accidentally sent my teacher the <sighs> emoji I want a fucking hug <laughs> deed hug. So in history. I accidentally sent my teacher the wrong file. Instead of a picture of Hitler, I sent him this. My little sister accidentally just sent this to her teacher, LeMayo. Hey motherfucker, fish shit grin emoji. Pack your shit, cause we're going to 2017 together. Cause you my homie, my ride will die. If I don't get one back, well fuck you. Now, send this to 20 people. Bad luck starts now, hope I get one back. I accidentally sent a picture of pants to my physics teacher. Long story short, I accidentally sent my math teacher three emails of Matt LeBlanc shirtless. I accidentally sent this message to my teacher. For real, 15 minute break is not enough for us to poop. I accidentally sent my teacher an inappropriate vine instead of my final video. That vine being... Good morning! I just accidentally sent around 40 photos of squirrels eating pizza to my ninth grade history teacher. Accidentally sent my teacher an unrated version of Hot Tub Time Machine instead of my final. I accidentally sent my teacher, enjoy half twerm! One time I sent my teacher this picture accidentally. She printed it and handed it to me the next day. I was trying to submit my math homework, but I accidentally sent this to my teacher instead! Always double check the files you send, because I accidentally sent my teacher something my cousins made on my laptop. Hey 
Bailey, try again. You sent something about a Minecraft bunny and Mario and Luigi. So I accidentally sent this to my teacher. How's your day going? Oh, I've done my CV and cover letter. I just need to finish the presentation. Stop ignoring me, you Bugs Bunny looking bu- my sister! Oh my god! I sent my teacher an email and accidentally put bet in the signature instead of best. When lol autocorrects itself to anal and I accidentally sent it to my teacher. I accidentally sent an email to my teacher that said do not email me again. At Elon Musk. A dear Mr. Musk. That may sound strange now, but I have a big problem. I accidentally sent my teacher this picture attached to the tweet instead of the picture of my homework. I need to get to Mars as soon as possible. Help me! I'm not joking. Bam! <laughs> I accidentally sent this to my teacher. I accidentally sent a political fanfic with a semi-naked picture of Putin to my teacher. Help! Sir, this was meant to be sent to somebody else. I'm so sorry I had to get involved. Can we please not mention this? My guitar teacher had to airdrop me music, but also accidentally sent me this at the same time. I fell asleep while writing an email to my teacher, and this is what it said. Oh, and I accidentally sent it. Hi, Professor Talkington. I apologise for my absence in class today, as I've been home sick with work... Uh, uh, Son. I tried airdropping this to my friend and I accidentally sent it to our chemistry teacher. I accidentally sent you fat cow to my teacher instead of my friend and when she said excuse me I replied with no but autocorrect changed it to moo. If you're embarrassed about a typo just remember my aunt accidentally sent oh sorry you ain't dick instead of sorry you were sick to my cousin's teacher. My 11 year old nephew's classmate got sent home from school today because he named an assignment in Google Docs a oh, fuck this shit. And accidentally sent it to the teacher. I submitted a research paper and realised my teacher could see the title after I turned it in. LOL! RIP my chances of going to college too. PDF. I just accidentally submitted a paper with this title. Are you fucked? I didn't realise you could see what I named my file. I'm dropping out. Fuck my holes. Today I made an incredible mistake. I submitted a paper with my filler title. Top 10 anime betrayals. Just submitted my final paper and accidentally called my professor. Captivating title. Wow. Grab that hose attention. And lastly, we end on one that I didn't source direct from Twitter myself, it's from one of those meme websites, so please excuse if it looks a little odd. I accidentally submitted a paper worth 35% of my grade with this intro, but I was tired and forgot to delete, I'm gonna cry. Fuck! Are you all ready for the introduction to this essay? Buckle your seatbelts, motherfuckers, because in eight short pages, I'm going to teach you something that I only learned two hours ago. So sit down, shut up, and enjoy the experience of my 4am caffeine-induced, self-hatred-fueled writing extravaganza. Stickers for when an emoji just won't do. I accidentally sent this sticker to my lecturer. I loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji. There you go. Accidentally sent this sticker to my local pharmacy and only noticed after they had already seen it. With Panadol. How much is Panadol? Advance or joint? I would the regular one, the light blue box. Mmm. I broke up with someone on Christmas Eve and then accidentally sent them this sticker immediately afterwards. Merry Christmas! Bro, I sent the wrong sticker. I'm being bullied by these people, Riley! Stupid bitch. I fucked up while texting my dad. We were sending stickers to each other and I accidentally sent him Super. Nut. There have been times when I accidentally sent the wrong sticker on Telegram, but this moment from last weekend takes the cake. So, uh, my Tito died this morning, so I don't think I can push through today. And then, you know, an appropriate sticker. Oh no! Okay, noted. Condolences, analog sad face emoji. Gosh, the timing. I know, right? Thanks, BB. Hmm! Wrong sticker! Jesus Christ! I just accidentally sent a sticker of a Yeti and Bigfoot DJing to my manager. Sent the wrong sticker. Sorry, Mum. I will hold Diwali's on the four. I believe there are actually two different pronunciations for this. Let me just cover the other one so you've got no excuse to have a go at me in the comments. Hi, we hold Diwali is on the four. Shut up! My dad works for the CIA and can get your entire neighbourhood addicted to crack. Today's highlight wanted to reply to my family group chat and didn't have enough energy to compose one while on my morning walk, so I put my phone in my pocket and it accidentally sent a sticker of pepper. Her drinking bleach. Translation, Dad. What? Why is this picture? Help! My project mates were arguing, and I was trying to type. Guys, calm down. But I accidentally sent this sticker. I couldn't breathe, but couldn't give judge good fun for could zuck zuck. Lemaire and Anna did most of the work, and I came up with the counterclaim.
The stick are Saxons and Dench. Help is dead silence, Buffajuk and Dench, Zuch, Dench, Smucks and CD. Nad, nad, jad, jad. I guess it kind of worked then. <laughs> oh. My dad just sent me a pic of a dying hummingbird talking about how he can't save it, and I accidentally just fucking sent him this sticker as a response. Oh my god. I found a plant for his final resting place. You poor little guy. <laughs> I just accidentally sent this sticker to my dad. <laughs> Help me now! Skull emoji! Skull emoji! Skull emoji! Skull emoji! I sent this sticker to my senior manager by mistake. Send in the clowns. Cute boy being nice, and then I accidentally send a fucking sticker. What? Sorry! My BF and I were sexting, and then I accidentally sent this sticker. My dad sent me this little girl throwing a kiss, and I mistakenly tapped the wrong sticker. Loudly crying face emoji. I'll give you head, not headaches. Anyways, he left me on red. I hacked repeat I bro sent the wrong sticker! Ah! No, 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 stop! I'm not sure whether it's my fingers, or nerves, or a change in the iOS keyboard, but in the last week I've sent this sticker to two colleagues unintentionally and now I can't look them in the eye. Hey Jim, what's the address for tomorrow? <laughs> Mistakenly sent a sticker to my boss. You have like a schedule, right? Also, you know, uh, he needs to submit some documents. Hi, Genevieve, I didn't understand. Is this your cat? Lol, so my ex messaged me. Hey, hope everything's going great for you. I uh, don't know if you got my texts. And I accidentally sent that cat sticker. What, uh, what's that? When you try to be wholesome with your friends, but you accidentally send this sticker. Hi, I love you all. D -d 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 and fuck! I'm good nerd madness and punch as Jazak I accidentally sent this sticker on my class group. Going insane! Wow, shut up or I'll kiss you when we get home. Yes, please. Oh, no, no, no! I accidentally replied with that sticker when I tried to send the kissy heart emoji! I only have one sticker and obviously I accidentally send it to someone I work with. Hey, do you have plans tonight? I do not. Eat peel naya, which translates to eat dick. You seamstress. Sorry, that was an accolade. This, I mean, accident. I'm sorry, my hands are wet. It's now been long enough to emotionally recover. It's about three weeks for me to share that I accidentally sent a porn meme signal sticker to my boyfriend's family in a cat-sitting group chat. She loves sitting on Parker's desk when he's not at it. Oh, oh no. I meant to send a picture of Cookie, not that sticker. Oh, job. I mean, no. But let's not let phone messaging stickers take all the blame. I sent a picture of this bumper sticker to my therapist by mistake. Oh my fucking god. This is my schedule going forward if it's easier to have it written. Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to send that photo of that bumper sticker. What's that sticker you sent there? Well, it's a slightly drunk Jesus. That's a, some good spaghetti! Grandpa Rick, I am skull emoji, but word. I've got to be the dumbest guy ever. Who this? We were looking for Jonathan regarding a potential job interview. Thank you. We've looked at things accidentally sent whilst studying and things accidentally sent whilst trying to get a job. Now the job is yours, so for God's sake, don't accidentally send anything else. Today I was trying to text my sister, but I accidentally text my boss. Bitch, do you want this tea? I accidentally sent my boss this while not paying attention. Mmm. I accidentally text my boss this today. If someone told them to uh, come at three. Baby, you're fine as fuck. I'm so sick that I missed work, and I just accidentally sent my boss this photo instead of a photo of my doctor's note. You ready to see this? Ah. I just accidentally text my manager saying, Mummy, are you at work? I accidentally sent my manager a video of me eating a pickle going on a lunch. Fingers crossed I don't accidentally text my boss saying, I was drunk like I did last week. I accidentally sent my boss four screaming slugs. I accidentally messaged my boss, Beautiful bench, a very cute bench, brand new, comes with the cushion. B 
bunch. One Friday, I meant to send the FFF update to my work friends in our group chat and accidentally sent it to my boss. What is the FFF update, I hear you ask? Well, it's Gators Daily, it's this beast, and it's Flatfuck Friday, you fucking cowards. Unrelated, I have a performance review today. I accidentally text my boss, he's smash, instead of, yes ma'am, today. I accidentally sent my manager a message saying, give me head, instead of gunner head. Did I just accidentally text my boss, freaky, instead of Friday? Yes. Accidentally text my boss, asking him to open my parsnip instead of payslip. Accidentally message my boss, you go, tit, instead of you got it. Accidentally text my boss, a bacon, earlier. No idea what I was trying to spell. Accidentally sent my boss a emoji of Violet from Willy Wonka. Well, I was going to post this. I feel like I can finally breathe easy. Do you come here often? Then I accidentally sent it to my boss. His wife. I just accidentally sent my boss a text that says Yoff. Well, obviously Yoff's not a Yoff's not a thing, so we're gonna need more context. You don't just accidentally text someone Yoff. No uh, leaders meeting tonight. Okay, thanks. Yoff. Oh my god. Thinking about the day I accidentally sent my boss an email that contained only this image. I accidentally sent my manager a hello text. Fuck my life. I accidentally sent my boss a text saying I hate. Working with her, can't say shit. I once accidentally text my boss asking for weed. Okay, so I accidentally sent my boss a spam email about women's health on how to lose seven pounds in seven days. Jake, why are you sending me this? Scott, I, I honestly don't know. I, I didn't send that. I I I'm sorry. The other day, I tried to send my co-worker a link to the video of Megan the Stallion twerking while Lizzo played the flute, but I accidentally sent it to my boss. Just accidentally text my boss saying, When can I see you? I accidentally sent my boss this. Clit. I accidentally sent my boss a motivation picture from 2010. I just wanted to send him a turkey pizza. We were unveiling our new turkey dinner pizza. Mashed potatoes, cheese and turkey on top. You missed out. Dang it. One. Did it look like this? In case you forgot to remind yourself this morning, your butt is perfect. Your smile lights up the room. Your mind is insanely cool. You are way more than enough, and you are doing an amazing job at life. No, it's a hexages. I accidentally sent my boss the uh, poop emoji at 1am. Oh my god, I accidentally sent my manager the other manager's numbers. So if you could let them know, I'd appreciate it. Spurt emoji. Was walking along and accidentally text my boss. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> hmm? Hmm. Just accidentally sent it to my boss. Knee. E. Pointing down, cold sweats. Pointing down, cold sweats. Cold sweats. Pointing down, 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 cold sweats. Pointing down. Putting down cold sweats, putting down, putting down cold sweats, putting down, putting down, putting down cold sweats, putting down, 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 putting down cold sweats, putting down, putting down, putting down cold sweats, putting down four pounds, putting down three, putting down fifty four, putting down forty four pounds, pounds, fifty four pounds, putting down four, weeping four, weeping, weeping four cents, different colour putting down four pounds, pounds, fucking hell. Accidentally sent my manager a pic of the callus on my toe and not the receipt to my work shoes. My best friend and general manager are both named Jen in my phone. I accidentally sent my manager, let's fuck shit up this weekend, bitch. You guys want to see the meme I actually sent my boss instead of my fiance? Fat wet pussy. Positive. Gorilla grip coochie. Positive. Silky throat. Positive. Covid-19. Negative. Quit my job yesterday and went to text Derek and accidentally text my boss saying, Miss you. Want to squish you. I just accidentally messaged my boss telling him I'm getting a wax. This brought me back to the time I accidentally messaged my boss instead of my girl. And then for flavour, there's just a lovely little uh, skull emoji there. Where are you at? I'm here, baby. I'm gonna call you in a bit. Huh? No! Oh, why did I accidentally text my boss that? Hey, it's Tyler. I'm probably gonna be a little late by like 20 minutes today. There's a car crash on McCarran. Okay, thank you. I accidentally sent my manager a sexual message instead of my friend. I'm hook or just buck just ya. Hook or just buck or just ya. What a lovely keyboard smash that is. 
sorry there haven't been more instances of me reading out keyboard smashes in this video, but at the end of the day, I want to appear young and cool, and I don't think keyboard smashes are the way to do that. I accidentally sent my boss a key smash as a response, and then had to try and explain it, Chasm Dunjuk. Story, Cuff of Hudge. <gasps> What's Cuff of Hudge? Sorry, it's, it's a key smash? Like a filler non-word to express a complicated emotion? You young'uns fascinate me. Young'uns? What's that? Keyboard smashes are considered youthful, are they? Maybe, maybe we'll do a few more then. I just got home from a rough job interview and realised my dress had split open a few inches along the back seam, completely exposing my thong-clad buttocks. What's the worst interview you've ever had? Edit no pics, Reddit, Jesus, come on. Had to do a test for one interview, asked to put my name, spell it wrong. Are you an assertive person? Um, yeah, I think so. 30 years ago, and I still think about it. My first ever interview, she asked my hobbies, I said napping. Slipped on the stairs, walking to the interview room and kicked the interviewer in the butt. You you seem like a really positive person. <laughs> I was once asked my thoughts on diversity in the workplace. Problem is, I misheard and thought they asked my opinion on adversity, in which I went on to give me reasons why diversity, I don't believe it should exist in the workplace, no. Do you mind if I get a glass of sex? I mean, water, oh god. First question of the interview. You got a job, which I heard as, you got the job. Oh, thanks. Didn't get the job. Do you like it? I misinterpreted for, do you like dick? And repeated what I thought I heard. Whole interview afterwards, was awkward. What are your strengths? Do you mean if I can lift things? Figured it out after I left and cried. My first interview was at a movie theatre. A dude hit me with the oh, what are your weaknesses question. I'd never heard it before. I then sit in silence for a solid 25 seconds before in an attempt to break the silence I mutter oh, I'm trying to think of the worst one. When I show up she tells me you're a month late. My interview had gone well. Then at the end she reached behind me to open the door as it was a tiny office and I thought she was giving me a hug, so I went for it. It was really awkward, and she didn't hug back. And what would you say your greatest assets are? I don't know what an asset is. I think that concludes this interview. Instead of saying, spread my wings, I said, spread my legs. Tell us a story about a time you had to make a quick decision. 100% unexpected. There was nothing in my brain. I made up a story about seeing a rabid dog and getting my father to put it down when I was a child. Knocked an entire carafe of ice water over the interview panel. Wore two different shoes to an interview at a fashion magazine. I called the interviewer by the wrong name. Instead of calling her Ms. Shader Jose, I called her, Good morning, you must be Ms. Cheddar Horse. I accidentally handed the interviewer my medical marijuana card instead of my guard card. Passes vibe check. Fuck, I shouldn't have said that, should I? No, and you shouldn't have said that either. During the interview, I decided it. The best adjective to describe my last job was, and I quote, a total boner. Interviewer asked, what I looked for in a manager. Got nervous because she was the manager, started rambling and ended with just not like a super crazy Nazi. Now, if you could be any animal, what would you be? A uh, cat? I'm so lazy. Seriously though, what a shit question. Uh, similar to a different Redditor, I was asked, what do you think is your spirit animal? I answered, an elephant. Still, the girl sitting next to me panicked and answered, Britney Spears. In my first ever interview at a printer's stroke camera shop, I was asked to bring a chair into the office to sit on from outside in the corridor. I was so nervous that when it ended, I picked the chair up to leave and the man said, no, you can leave it here. And I was like, okay and I took it outside with me anyway. I once got a call back to inform me they got my resume and cover letter but will not be moving forward, then told me the reason was my lack of attention to detail. Guy then points out, instead of signing my cover letter, sincerely, it was auto-corrected to SINISTERLY. A friend of mine had a great interview, was pretty confident that they were going to offer him the job. After it was done, he shook their hands and went to leave, except he took the wrong door and walked into the closet instead of out the exit. He was so embarrassed to admit his mistake that he stayed in there. The longer he was in there, the harder it was to leave. I mean, he knew he was in the closet. His interviewers knew he was in the closet. He was in there 20 minutes before he sheepishly emerged. Lady had just sanitised her hands and they weren't dry yet. Okay, well, just don't mention, oh, that was a creamy handshake. And whilst we're on the etiquette of handshaking, was told the hiring manager was a retired Marine. So to look him in the eye and give him a strong handshake. Being nervous, I was overzealous and jammed his thumb into my palm, spraining it. He asked his assistant to get him an ice pack and he iced it while I spoke. He was silent except for painful sighs, causing my nerves to intensify, which made my throat go bone dry and lose my voice. He brought me a glass of water, which just didn't help at all. 
Yeah, didn't, didn't get that job. No, d d didn't get that one. I said uh, yes when they asked why they should hire me. Loudly crying face emoji. Do you have any prior experience with kids? Well, uh, I was one. My alarm went off. Samuel L. Jackson's voice spread through the room telling me to wake the fuck up. Started comparing myself to the Amish during an interview for a tech support position. Hi George, how are you doing today? Oh hi, my name's George. Oh wait, back when I, as a nervous teen, was sitting in the office of the theme park manager. Most of the interview had gone really well, and she opened up time for me to ask her any questions I had. Oh, um, so how did you and your husband meet? No, not questions like that. I sat with my legs crossed for the duration of the interview. I didn't realise I lost all feeling stroke control of my right leg, and when I stood up, I fell to the floor. The manager helped me stand up, and I fell again. Ultimately, two workers helped carry me out like a wounded soldier. Oh, so it says here your body. Bilingual. Yes, that's right. Parlez-vous français? Si! Uh... I told an interview I spoke a little Arabic. She was fluent and asked me to say a sentence. I said, uh, I like uh, the meat. Uh, what's one word you would use to describe yourself? Hmm, probably... Uh, ameliorific. Okay. I must admit, I'm not overly familiar with that word either. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Manager who was interviewing me brought the person I'll be working with into the room to ask me some questions related to the position. Not only was this person his daughter, I had a one night stand with her a year before. Not so much what I did during the interview, but what I read. Hiring someone for industrial sewer, drainage pipes work. What I showed up to interview for, industrial sewer, tailoring work. Felt like a complete tool. I made a 9-11 joke. At the end of the interview, they said lovely to meet you and I said I love you too. Oh, I wouldn't call myself nice. A gnat or something flew up my nose which caused me to shout Hey what the fuck? Was near the end of my job interview. Went to grab a pen to write down my hours. Took me a moment to realise I was trying to write with a tampon. Hey how are you? Focusing so hard on the proper response I choose the answer to a question never asked. Nothing. I threw up on the interviewer's desk. Just before I went in the room I sneezed blood all over my white shirt. I told them I couldn't answer their questions, farted audibly out of stress, and thanked them for their time. No one shit their pants in this Ask Reddit thread yet. An odd. A friend of mine once sharted in the middle of a job interview. Edit. Oh wait, there it is. A friend of mine was being interviewed for a job at a restaurant. When asked who his role model was, he said Tyler Durden. He was the guerrilla terrorist in the food service industry. Do not watch. I cannot go and watch. Apart from seasoning the lobster bisque, he farted on meringue, sneezed on braised endive, and asked for the cream of mushroom soup, well... <laughs> I caught fire. I went to a company to take a welding test. I was told by HR that it was a TIG welding position. Turns out it was for car, and the spark set my nice TIG welding shirt on fire. Yeah, I didn't get the job. Hi, how are you? Good, yeah, and you? Uh, I'm doing well. How are you? It still keeps me up at night. Having a job interview and it was pointed out that my fly was down. The woman interviewing me laughed and said something like, oh, it's the little things we forget. And for some reason, I replied, oh, yeah, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. She gave me this bizarre look and I realised that she thought I was talking about my penis. What the hell were you talking about if not your penis? Haven't you ever heard that expression? If it was a snake, it would have bit me. No. I just repeated the same words over and over. It's like I got caught in a loop. What words? Really? 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 I really? I really? Really? I went into my graphic design portfolio review with this as my computer background. On one of my first job interviews, I accidentally unhinged the sliding door when it was time to leave, blocking myself and the company's boss in the room until he managed to fix it. Not me, but my friend ate his interviewer's breakfast bagel before he came in the room. No idea how this happened. I'd been unemployed for a bit, was desperate for a new gig, had gained a lot of weight living off of fast food, so my good pants didn't fit me very well. I sat down in the interview chair as the person was walking around to their side of the desk and the button of my pants popped off, did a one hopper off of the desk and right into their coffee cup. Swish and no clink at all. For the entire interview, they were sipping their coffee, and I was sitting there with my pants unbuttoned, waiting for the big reveal. Panicked, turned up a day too early. On the correct day, gave all the wrong answers to questions as the agency gave me the wrong job description. Throat dried up, voice became similar to that of Baker from the Muppets, and also managed to imply that I was learning German to understand fetish websites. Funnily enough, I didn't get the job. Went to an assessment centre recently for a job at a very big IT stroke business company. I told the interviewer I'm nervous when I walked through the door. 
Oh, I said no when asked, do you have any further questions? I was very bossy and uncooperative in the group activity task. I applied for a job that was unrelated to my degree. Oh, I suggested cheating when doing a group activity task, which resulted in the assessors sighing loudly. Usually they don't interact with the candidates at all. And to top it off, I lost my train ticket, so I couldn't get reimbursed for the 100 quid journey fees. May You are a complete fucking mess. In fact, I feel it might be useful if I gave you all some advice from my many years in the corporate world, interviewing and being interviewed. When asked, where do you see yourself in five years? Say it's an important part of the role you're applying for. Looking back on everything you've learned, don't say, not here. When asked, what makes you so special? Here's a chance to really highlight whatever your strongest attribute is, alongside an example of where you showcase that. Don't say, I'm a, a virgin. What are some of your pet peeves? Perhaps say something like peers with negative attitudes, or meetings without an established schedule, yeah? Not spiders. Don't talk about strippers. If an office manager asks, now how would your friends describe you? They want to be hearing, like, organised, I'm always the one planning our days out, you know, rather than dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely do ask questions about the job, but if it's a professional environment, maybe refrain from asking how the vibes are there. And even if they're good, don't say something akin to, oh, pretty chill then, skull emoji. And when asking these questions, ask what a typical day looks like, rather than when can I start? Analog double finger guns emoji. If your interviewer has a gout afflicted toe, consider not stepping on your interviewer's gout afflicted toe. Oh, he howled in pain. And finally, try not to say, I don't actually want or need this job. I just really want to get out of the house and be around other people sometimes. <laughs> Otherwise I'll go insane. <laughs> and I don't know, blow up a library or something. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't get the job. I got the job. Oh, I guess show I know. I meant to ask a table of customers, you guys need anything? But instead, I stood there and went, you geese. These sorts of stories have become known as customer service brain rot, and as someone who spent a summer selling hot dogs, I can confirm that condition's all too real. At Scrawberry on TikTok's currently doing a great job of collating these. Do follow them if you like, but with all things in life, they are drastically improved by being read out by a middle-aged British man. I work at Taco Bell, and instead of calling out a name once, I just yelled, BEEFY! I once tried to say, I'll have those boneless wings shortly for you, and confidently looked them in the eye and said, I'll be right back with your bones. A customer asked if we had shrimp cocktails and I said no, we only have wine and beer. This guy asked what type of fish we have, but I heard dish as in the plate, so I said a rectangle? Smiling face with smiling eyes emoji. Once asked for someone's umbilical cord instead of their unlimited card. Analog skeptical face emoji. I once answered the phone with how can I speak rather than how can I help you? And the man said with your mouth? I accidentally laughed at a lady over the phone because she told me she was allergic to Swiss cheese. Jeez. I work at a place with Douglas in the name. Once Fergalicious was playing and I picked up the phone, said Dougalicious, and just hung up. I asked a customer if he was done and if he had any plates he wanted me to take. He said no and I took them anyway and took the fork out of his hand. One time a guy ordered a plain biscuit and I couldn't find the button for it, so I panicked and asked, are you sure? Last week I was trying to manually enter in an item on till and instead of writing pies with a bunch of S's, I just wrote piss. And you can see what I'm typing on the customer's side, so the whole time when I was fixing it, everyone could see. Loudly crying face emoji. Last night I greeted a table and then proceeded to say, Did you want- to ca Can I get start drinks? Tried to tell two guests enjoy and you guys have a good one at the same time and ended up saying, You guys could drive. I'm a cashier and I tried to scan a mop and accidentally hit my pregnant customer in the head with it. She looked at me like, uh. A customer asked me, Do you have any pets? But I thought she said, Do you have a pad? And I responded, 
wanted. Any pets? No, but I have a tampon. I worked at Dairy Queen and one time answered the phone saying, thank you for calling help. How can I dairy you? The lady on the other side said, oh, never mind. Guy at my table once said, well, that'll be all. But I heard, you're tall. So I laughed, said, yeah, I, I get that a lot. Once I got out a cake for a customer and tried to tell her to freeze it until she needed it. But accidentally said, let's keep you in the freezer, eh? I fist bumped a guy once because I thought he wanted one, but he was just putting change in the tip cup. Once I put a customer's card in their mouth. Oh, they'd been sorting things with their hands. They put their card in the mouth and gestured for me to take it, tap it and pay for them. So I did all that and his hands were now free. But book I got it from his mouth. I on instinct put it back in. Mortifying. One time I was telling a customer where the bathroom was. Instead of saying, I was past the fish tank to the left. I stared at him and I said, the fish. A customer asked me where the bathroom was and I tried to say, well, in the back corner and you'll find it. But I just said, I'll find you in the corner. One time I offered customers a buggy, I blanked and just said, do you need a... Uh, and for him just mimed pushing a buggy. Oh, sorry, do you need the old... Uh... Instead of saying Edward will be your server, I said Edward will be your Sedward. I was trying to remember that I need to grab cucumber and a customer was in my way. I said, excucumber. Went to tell a customer we're fundraising for breast cancer. Looked him straight in the eye and said, we're breast raising. Neutral face emoji. Once I stumbled over my own words and combined ketchup and mustard into one word to make cum turd. The guy looked Horrified. I was handing a customer her change, which included a quarter with a bird on it. Very confidently went, it's a grouse, nerd face, smiling face. She just went. Oh, I repeated it and she wasn't interested. Skull emoji. Ah. And then later I realised it was a turkey, so it was a double whammy. Once I was putting fries on a table and one of the customers reached for one and brushed my arm and I thought it was a bug, so I slapped his hand. Skull emoji, skull emoji. Yesterday I asked a customer for his last name and he spelled S-T-E-E-G. And I just looked at him and went, Steak. <laughs> I was working drive through and we have dog treats and I saw movement in the back so I asked the person, oh do your puppy like a treat? It was their kid. I work at a cafe and there's a sandwich called Meatball Melt. Co-worker instead said to a customer, here is your meat belt. One time over the drive through mic, my co-worker loudly screamed, I'm gonna shit my pants! Not knowing her mic was on and the customer drove away. One time someone ordered a sandwich and I asked them what they wanted to name it instead of what their name was for the order and I started crying. Once at work I answered the phone with have a good one and immediately hung up. I got a call for a job interview and the boss asked me what I was doing right now you know, for work and I said now nothing, just need to hang it out at home. I used to sell lottery tickets next to where the cigarettes are sold and multiple times I said best of luck after selling 20 Marlboro Reds. I gave a customer a sample once and meant to say do you want that one or did you like it and I said yeah you like that. As a door to door solar salesman I lead a convo at an open door with your son gets a lot of roof and he said nice try buddy close the door one time as a server i was bringing out a pizza as it started to slide off the tray i tried catching it with my foot instead of tilting the tray when i was a waitress someone asked me what the dessert options were and i meant to say chocolate fudge cake but instead said fucklet chodge cake i wanted to uh, die a customer said i need a few minutes to look at the menu i tried to say it was okay to take your time and it came out as it's time when i was a server i had a lady with a baby she was calling Ellie. And I said, oh, hey, that's my sister's dog's name. And she reported me to MGMT. Genuinely took me way too long to realise that's supposed to be management. I forgot the name of cocktail sauce, so I just stared at my table while doing the Italian hand thing, a pinched fingers emoji, and asked if anybody wanted the sauce. Once I was wearing loose pants and I accidentally dropped a customer's card and tried to press it against my body to catch it, but it slipped into my pants. One time I tried asking a customer, do you want your bath bomb in a bag? But it came out. Do you want a bath? And he very politely said, no. One time when I was on register, I asked an older lady how she was paying. She said, cash. And I said, baller. <laughs> and she just sort of stared at me. I once did the closing announcement at Asda. Your Asda store is closing in...
now. One time I went to use the intercom to make an announcement and said, Welcome to... Wait, no, no, never mind. Tried to make a quick announcement while mid-conversation and accidentally just said, Oh no! <sighs> Over the PA to all four concourses. Oh god, well at least it's only a shop, so customers thinking what's the worst that could have possibly happened? Of the airport. I was doing the closing announcement and accidentally knocked the mic over. All you could hear was shush a suck sh sajun sajj sajj sajjun her sajj shish and me repeatedly cursing. One night I was making the closing announcement at work and I said attention customers. I will, well we will. A shit and just hung up. One time I turned my headset on and instead of greeting the customer, I said, Nut tap. I don't know how I got there. One time a customer was yelling at me over the phone and he said, Shove a pizza up your ass. And I accidentally said, oh, Okay. I was trying to tell a customer that the register was somewhere else, but I kind of just, Oh, I'll be, um, huh? Uh, was pointing my co worker serving pipe. Mate, are, are you okay? Let's not forget though, the customers don't help. One time when I worked at Taco Bell, I asked the customer if they wanted a hard or soft taco when they replied with what's different? When I worked in Mackey's an old lady came in and asked for a fillet of shit followed by I don't know why I said that. One time I was seating a table when little girl came up to me and said she had a present for me then Spitter chewed gum in my hand. Work at a zoo gift shop. I was alone in a pop-up shop uh, just reading my Kindle and a grandma popped her head in and went Puff! and walked out. When I was on cashier I asked anything else and one dude did the two fingers touching emoji pose and went Can I? Oh this is a job for a character we haven't seen in a while who handles all the oo I have to read out. It's oo Jason Statham. Can I please get a root beer? I work at an Asian restaurant and I got a DoorDash order and they said, No veggies, please. I will die only to order steamed veggies. I asked this lady what drink she wanted and she said, I don't know, purple and sat there silently. I used to work at Jamba Juice and I needed this lady's ID for a membership. She pulled out a pocket sized picture of Jesus. I was cashing a lady out and she dug through her purse looking for a wallet, then pulled out a chicken leg in a Ziploc bag for me to throw away for her. I once went up to McDonald's early in the morning and asked, can I have a please burger cheese? One time at a subway, I kept asking for a six inch foot long and I kept repeating it until I figured out what I was saying. Once I ordered a lemonade at a arrest your aunt. And when the waiter asked, well, strawberry or regular? I confidently responded, lemonade. I walked into a store while taking a sip of my drink and when the lady said hello, I just, <laughs> a friend who is from Florida said that when he worked at Taco Bell, someone threw a baby alligator through the drive through window, then came in asking for it back. I walked into a store while taking a sip of my drink and when the lady said hello, I just... <laughs> a guy asked me for a cup of sherbet and I said, I'll be right back with that cup of cabert, then walked off. Yeah, we'll do some more of these. Since we last checked in at the start of the year, at Scrawberry has continued to collate examples of customer service brain rot on their TikTok. But now, whilst we still have stories from the same sorts of customer services before, I worked at McDonald's and I handed someone their order once and just said, shouldn't be too long. Scrawberry's widened the scope a little to include other types of jobs. Asked a patient if she had any allergies and she said, yeah, bitches. So I laughed saying, me too. And she was like, what? No, I go into anaphylactic shock. Yeah, not bitches. It was fish. I was a zipline guide, and during the safety demo, I was trying to make a joke by asking if anyone had narcolepsy, but asked if anyone had necrophilia. A customer bought a birthday card for their dad. Then instead of saying, I hope you have a nice day, at the end, I said, hope you have a dad. <laughs> <laughs> right. I once left a client a message saying, Just shoot me an email. Realised they wouldn't have my email mid-sentence and said, Just shoot me. And hung up. When I worked at a movie theatre, a customer once ordered popcorn and I said, Oh yes please. Then flailed in confusion and knocked my hat off my head. When I first started bartending, instead of asking people if they wanted ice, I said, Do you want glass in your drink? I work in a bar and once I turned around to greet a customer and instead of saying, Hi, what can I get you? I just said, 
me! At my old job, a man ordered a cappuccino with extra foam, but I couldn't find the option, so I panicked and put in cappuccino hard! When I was still new to my job, I accidentally charged someone $1,345 for a latte. Smiling face with three hearts. I tried saying, oh, nice to see you again, to a regular, and just blurted out, I niece my teeth. No idea what happened there. Tried to say, great, and you're welcome to a table. Smiled at them and went, once a woman came up to me and said hi, but then I had a coughing fit for like a full minute and then looked up at her and said, Why? Once at the drive through I took this guy's order and I thought the mic went off and confidently <laughs> down the mic really loud. A guy called to ask if we had an item and I accidentally transferred him to the intercom instead of the right department. He just said hello on the intercom for three minutes while I was dealing with customers. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello. We just had a snowstorm and instead of telling a customer to not slip, I said have a good night and please slip and fall. My boss one time called the store I worked at and my co-worker Jenna answered. He asked her to, oh you put Madonna on, Madonna's the name of our co-worker, she just hung up and put Madonna on the radio. I work at McD and one time I was trying to give Kitchen a heads up they needed meat with no salt and I just yelled, To beef, no meat! Over and over. Woozy face emoji, dotted line face emoji. I work at a sandwich shop and once some guy asked how big our full sub was and I just leaned back and said, It's, uh, well, approximately, it'd be, uh, real big. Had a co-worker ask how many pans short I was, as in how many I needed, and I said, How many pans short am I? I don't know, five foot four? After working night shift, I was at customer service and the phone went off and instead of saying Welcome to shop customer services, I just whispered Cucumber service and hung up. I worked at Dunkin' for a while and one time after this guy changed his mind four times, I just yelled FUCK! One time at my job, instead of cash or card, I asked And would that be crabs? I told a guy You're used up but I couldn't remember how to say you used your card balance. Sometimes our card machines don't let you use contact lists, so I have to ask Puppel to insert it. And one time I said to a guy, Can you put it in your bottom, please? Mm -hmm. One time while working the drive through window, I was handing guests their food and someone didn't turn off the automatic sensors, so the door shut on my ribs while I was hanging out of the window and they drove off looking at me in horror and I just blurted out, How have a nice day! One time I answered the phone and noticed the customer's name on the caller ID was spelled Dillon and not Dylan. And instead of asking, well, how can I help you? I asked, how can you spell? I was leaving a voicemail for a man named Timothy and I was repeating his name in my head so I don't forget. And on the voicemail, I said, hi, uh, T Money. The other day I meant to say, oh, what's a good phone number for you? And I instead said, really slowly with a blank face, what's, uh, phone number. Oh, I couldn't remember the clinic's phone number when leaving a patient a voicemail, so I said, call us back at, uh, <laughs> at work, a kid fell in the water and I was holding another kid, so I had no choice but to just stare at it when it was sinking. One time, I was trying to ask a customer, you prepaid, right? And instead, just stared at him and said, you one time I meant to say beautiful will that be all and all that could come out was a voice cracked battle cry of BALLS! I work at McDonald's and this man couldn't get his app to work and he swore at it and called it a whore and I said oh yeah me too. Once a customer asked where the bathroom is and I meant to ask oh do you want me to walk you to it but I said oh do you want me to bring it to you? One time someone knocked on the bathroom door at work and I responded with my phone speech. Good evening, this is Matt speaking. How can I help you? I heard a beep while sitting in class once and pressed the side of my head like I was turning a headset on. Scar emoji! Instead of asking, is that all for you today? I accidentally asked, is this stuff all for you? In a concerned voice. One time a customer was like, I'd like two young ones. And I gave them a look and said, oh, sorry, you want young ones? Yeah, I misheard. They said, Donuts. The other day, I was trying to explain the happy hour transition into the evening menu and said, And at five, dinner time. I lost the only work stapler and we needed it, so I watched the cameras and I threw it in the bin. I was starting to bag an order for this couple and the wife howled at me like, like a rabid pit bull and the husband said, Oh, she wants to bag it. I asked the customer what kind of ice cream cone he wanted and he said, The circular one. 
my dad ordered a nut buster from Dairy Queen once. One time I was ordering a banana split and they asked what toppings I wanted and I said a banana. I once tried to ask for a vegan cheese bean and sausage melt in Greg's and instead with full confidence asked for a vegan sheen and bean and once I was at a breakfast restaurant and I ordered eggs and the waiter said how do you like your eggs and I said I love them. She stared at me and I left. My manager told me the one thing my co-worker did to make him yell and I said damn what like this then did the exact same thing and finally in this thread and this one has nothing to do with customer service whatsoever a classmate of mine was sad and I asked her what was wrong and she said my dad died but I misheard her and just said oh Shakira Shakira Dear Ouija, what is my future wife doing at the moment? Spirits, please answer our question. Oh, okay, it's moving. Um, 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 um. Okay, Ouija, what's my future wife doing at the moment? Uh, okay, E. Goodbye. Huh? This is the Reddit Ask Ouija, as requested by a few of you. Now, a while back, we looked at Reddit trying to flirt one word at a time. Well, r slash ask Ouija's similar, except they work one letter at a time. If I had a nickel for every time I've had sex, I would have a debt. An alien just landed. His first word was no. Nope. Very few people know that there is a lost 11th commandment from God, which said don't. At me! The cow goes... Mood. That's deep! Harry Potter and the blank stone. Emma. Old MacDonald had a past. Once Isis is defeated, they'll be called Isis. Ouija, what did the five fingers say to the face? Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Put the money in the fucking bag. This is a bag. I just met a girl and oh, the only thing prettier than her smile is her sister. Julius Caesar's last words were et tu brute, which translates to off. All the girls in the room love it when I leave. As my wife gave birth, the midwife pulled it out and shouted, it's a me Mario. Mamma mia. What in the fuck is the mitochondria? It's powerhouse of the cell. White skin, black skin, who cares? We're all egg. Welcome to McDonald's. What would you like to order? Uh... I, Bernie Sanders, am officially running for my life. Bootleg skull emoji. What is a punishment as a child, but a reward as an adult? Nah. Other answers included spanking and death. I like movies containing drugs, sex, and v- Sauce. Michael here. The porn industry introduces its own digital currency. Master card. I wear a size 14 shoe, so yeah, I've got a big pies. I have a big peas. I'm proud to be Canadian, where at least I know I'm sorry. Spirits, what's the best city in France? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Rich people have dogs. Poor people have dog. If Elmo was a terrorist, he would be called Elmo. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. How will I die? Reddit is a better Instagram, Discord is a better Skype, uh, Blank is a better YouTube. Hell! Spirit, so can you do a German accent? Yeah? What is the best response to your son who's coming out as gay? You're gay? Hi gay, I'm dad! <laughs> <laughs> sure, weed is cool, but have you tried? Weed too! The name's Bond. Blank Bond. Covalent! Have the spirits ever gone to the toilet and when wiping, notice there's blood on, on their hands? 
What? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came instantly. Breaking news. Kim Jong-un has died. Kim Blank has been appointed his successor. Possible. What's the sitch? Live, laugh, the history. This should be their new slogan, man. I'm by circle. This just in. WW has been renamed to blank to prevent confusion. Doug. Spell who? Well, Doug H.O. Sorry, but the blank stays on during sex. Fax machine. Batman named himself after his greatest fear. By this logic, I am Blank Man. Batman. Uh, Batman Man. Spirit, sir, uh, I've never heard I love you before. Love. I accidentally ran over a homeless man in Detroit, 1993, and never reported it. If he is among you guys, there's no hard feelings, right? Well, as we're trying to channel a specific spirit, I thought maybe I could use myself as a vessel. And in fact, I think I am picking up a spirit now, actually. If you were that man from Detroit all those years ago, can you make yourself known? Is there something you want to say to the Reddit user, uh, the underscore silver underscore links? You big doofus. You can't spell blank without you and I. U-T-I. Spirits are so stupid dumb, you can't even write words backwards. You wake up. Sudden, unexplained knee pain it collapses when I try to stand. I've read on here a few times asking for advice since what I thought was an overdose caused me to start having issues ever since. It started with a pain in my chest after... If it is something, and what tests could I take to make sure that I'm, I'm not at risk of a heart attack or anything like that? Okay. Oh shit, I thought I was posting on R Stroke Ask Docs. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash porn. Oh, that's a risky click. If Ouija can spell pneumon ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis, then I will try to get out of my comfort zone, talk to people, and fix my social anxiety. Pneumon ultra microscopic silico volcano conio. Sirs! You guys are actually crazy! You guys actually pulled this off! No, no, I'm kind of nervous, lol! If you spell out the entire Pledge of Allegiance, I'll delete this account. <gasps> no! Ouija! Oh, great Ouija! Vessel of Spirits, as seen chillingly in The Exorcist and Sorority House Massacre 2, Cleavage vs. Cleavers. Tell me, Ouija, what's the best way to lose weight? <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, gee, thanks. It's June, it's the Sequelathon! It's the winner of the poll, it's part two of r slash ask Ouija, where they talk one letter at a time. Hey, Ouija, is it racist? for me to be a race car. What's the worst thing a surgeon can say during surgery? YOLO! A group of boomers is called a BOOLING182 Hey, get out of my room! I'm Jackie! Chan. Spirit, sir, why are you always uppercase? COCAINE! The only thing better than birthday sex is blank day sex. Duh, goodbye. Duh day, oh D day, oh no, oh fuck. I think I'll name my son something strong, like blank prime. Amazon. Oh, I wish blank did porn. Who do you wish did porn, spirits? Anyone you want. Hmm, DJ Khaled. Oh, that's, that's an interesting choice. My blank at my dog. Home. Homework. How 
much chuck could a chuck 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 if a chuck chuck could chuck chuck italian spirits are you there spaghetti roses are red violets are blue methed up florida man has sex with a <coughs> uh, 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 kazoo i posted how that sound effect was made on my instagram by the way to a menagerie of supportive fan comments behold the blank in a door you goodbye what does wap really mean spirits wireless access point is hand just our feet but hand what the fuck yeah sex is cool but have you ever heard of abba what rhymes with orange Dorhinge. goodbye right dark door hinge son I, I i don't know how to say this but y you your mother and i we're getting freaky. I saw Matt Rose. Tell me, Ouija, what do I say to him? I... Oh, honestly, guys, don't worry about it. Just say anything. Say hello. Love. Blimey, I think I see where this is going. That was very flattering. Thank you. A cake. Oh, oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, me too. The best part about Matt Rose is... School and goodbye. Oh god, what? Matt Rose's latest video, Reddit's worst. Bread. I mean, I'll give it a go. Dusty firm hamburger buns. The first one my dad ever made. Shit was harder than a rock. Pumpernickel. The name literally means devil's fart. Well, no, it doesn't. Oh, fuck, it does. Ciabatta is worse. It's pretty much a lump of crust. Sourdough. Is this some kind of sick joke? What's wrong with you? And lastly on this bread thread, this is it, lads. The worst loaf of bread I've ever made. It looks like a rock that was cut with a water jet. I genuinely thought it was foie gras at first. I thought this was a fucking spleen autopsy. What the fuck did you do, Anon? Just propose her, dude. The worst she can say is... Yikes! Girls just wanna have... Friends. Friends. Wait up, wait up, there's a blank in my soup. So good boy. Ah uh, yes, the famed soccer bat, also known as a leg. I'm a boy and want to marry a tamale one day. I was arrested for arson, manslaughter, and worst of all, for... I thought I'd actually get a Ouija board for this, but it's a bit of a waste of money because it's not like they actually work or anything. That's gone to J. It's gone to I now. Z, look, Z. Back to I. N. G. Jizzing. On. M. Mr. B. Mr. B. E. A. Who's Mr. B. E. A? Uh, what? How does that look? I think we fooled him, mate. If my daughter tells me she's a stripper, I will blank her. Tip. I'm pregnant! Face with heart-shaped eyes emoji. What should I name my baby? Uh, duh. G goodbye. Oh, look. It's E. Sheeran. Help. I'm stuck in a room with... Walls. Adolf hit. Me, baby, one more time. Opinion on Skibbity, Fortnite, Ohio, Gap, Phantom Tax, Sigma? Fuck you. My nipples look like... Um... Uh, uh, uh. They might be uneven, but you're beautiful the way you are. How much of pie can the spirits give me? Oh, uh, it's a prox three. If you spell out the entire first two paragraphs of the United States Constitution, I will come out to my parents. Oh yeah, we had something like this in my part one video with pneumonia, ultra microscopic silicova coniosis, but, but that was just one word, mate. This is two paragraphs, and it's Reddit we're talking about. Please do. They're not going to do it. We the people of the...
United States of America in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. All legislative powers herein granted shall be vested in the Congress of the United States, which shall consist of a Senate and House of Rep. Presentatives, goodbye! Let's go, we actually fucking did it! Can you answer this question without using any vowels? Goodbye. At the back of this cheap toy, I won a game of marbles. Marble is a kind of game that is very modern now. It collects excrement fasceration. It's a very interesting game. It can cot only trains a lover's skill and intelligence, but also is a best way for lover to make friends. It's an intelligent game for a family to be a happy field. Spring your miracle. Compatite your level. I thought I'd search r slash English for toy. We've looked at bootleg toys before, and we've looked at mistranslated warnings, so what if we smush the two ideas together like we're in infinite craft or something? No, I'm not running out of ideas, I've just had a busy week! Toy truck! Stimulate chili pens, cretum tea. Designed for the children, all are fangled, and in the high quality, welcome you use our products. Music! Flash! Eddie! Libra Frog, intelligent game. Computer game! An experience together. Oh! Take me home! Oh! Found this clever popping game at a candy store. The object of the game is to be the player who, by thinking, a here forces their opponent to press down the last bubble on the board. Oh, sounds like it could be fun. What's it called? Residual one is defeated. Ben 10 smart tablet with all the apps. You've got your SMS, ring, digital, song, camera, digital again, baby. Toy I found while working at Amazon today. Put the smurf monkeys by itself. The ball along the... It rolls to and start. Buying my daughter a squishy toy, I can't decide what size to get. Well, do you want shit or marshmallow? Toy plane that was waiting for my daughter at grandma's house. Bump and go action. The model's made according to the scale of the real thing, so that it is lifelike. And breathing. Super convivial world, it will give you infinite pleasure. Let our children more hard working. Once own, nothing can instead. Sacrist. I bought multiple sets of learning flashcards for my baby, and I found and this, this is the set of colours, uh, what colour are these? That's right, Gary. The writing on this kid's toy my wife bought. The toy is a child of the enlightenment teaching tool, entertaining a variety of play to stimulate baby brain's small universe, enhanced early childhood parent-child interaction, let your baby smart and wisdom. Mother, I must smart and wisdom. A Peruro pencil set. Look at me, only you can deeply touch me. Take quizzes, learn letters, lean to speak. 13 pieces kids Montessori screwdriver board set. Stimulate children's imaginations. Excuse me. Blocks play and learn. Grow in wisdom the sex. Useful instructions from a bubble gun. Put the bubble tray into the cover of the container and cover the container for printing tray spelling. Oh, and remember to clean the wank after usage. Okay, con. No forget, always I am this have its nice day. What the fuck am I looking at? Streamlined design of car body surpassing the future. Whoop, whoop. I saw some of the police. This toy my kid got recently. Fire. You deserve it. Dinosaurs. And did you know that dinosaurs were the ancient climbing action of animals? A wide range of different size. Small lengths, less than one meter. Big tens of meters long and weighing siwashidun toy pedo toy what super archery we'll start at the top and work down wouldn't toxic
What's a filly be poison lover? Why is the bullseye only worth 10? The target is shaped like a person. That's not a child, that's Mark Zuckerberg. You are friend. Toy gun sold at my job. I stood there and contemplated life for a few minutes after reading this. Dillacast Mubital Cylinder installed for better breath. Performance. Nah, mate, you want to get yourself a popular gun, the pleasure are much many. Or toy gun with nice. Warning! Chuking hazard. Warning! The heat, please not the touch. Warning! Seller will not take any responsibility for Amy Nonus. Ugh, everybody always blames me for everything. Candy car, suitable occasions, sandy beach, indoor, outdoor. Oh my god, is that the windows background? This ad for a fidget toy. Toy. Relieve yourself everywhere. What kind of toy is this? What is your classic pounding bench? You know, your multifunctional dog hitting hamster. Floating game. In the plane Mulberry, when the aircraft chooses to release the finger, she will slowly rise in the air. What is this toy? Well, in the plane Mulberry, the aircraft closes to release the finger. Have a good day. Virtual boring. Truck the excellent. Micro racers. Toy cars for kids. Mini body. Cartoon is small. Eating chicken. Wife bought our son a transformer toy. Nothing creepy about this. I not only ask the little friend to have sport with me, but also play a role as the best interacting tool between my little friend and his or her parents. Ranked and music. Eyes will swing, the carriage will swing. Mate looks like he's on shrooms. A toy garbage bin my son got for Christmas. Leaves. The recycling symbol. Similar to this, a carefully litter. Batman begins. When being a child, Bruce Wayne had witnessed with his own eyes the fact his parents of millionaire were killed cruelly, so affected his strong desire of revenging his parents. However, God had never given him a chance to fulfil his will. Following the advice of Ra's al Ghul, the chief of ninja group, Bruce come to Geet, which was a corrupted city filled with various crime groups. Bruce found a basement under his villa in which the equipments turned him into another person. Eh? Spider-Man. With this mask, Spider-Man stroke all criminal activates and criminals everywhere. You know these big names, such as Tugan, the chief of mafia, Dr. Jack Straw, the abnormal drug trafficker, even a mysterious opponent's quite familiar with him. Still, not my favourite Spider-Man villain. Yes, it's Savage Rammer. Ah! Hey, anyone fancy a game of a win, not been bite, failed finger, bin bite? Quite simple, you lift up the brain pan of crocodile until it makes the sound as Ta-ka. press down the toothy of the crocodile randomly blah blah blah. Uh, it's suitable for all kinds of occasions such as a party, pay TV, the classmates play it after class or just an appointment with your friend. Anyway, it's a delight for you to have a crocodile. Fishing game, battery operated, the month will stretch, the tail mill rock with music, the Beautiful bird toy, chum, wiggly, pen holder, and it's, uh, instructions? Instructions? Oh, you mean the use explain! This care tag on a stuffed seal toy. Blinding purified cotton, packing 100% polyester fibre, a suitable the age of 36 months, carry out the standard GB6675201, maintenance, maintenance. The warm sailor washes, or the washer idling speed. Larvation. This demon donkey I picked up in a rack, one of the few terribly translated toys I found to evoke a positive reaction. Where can I find this amazing toy? I dead ass want to embroider this. Skull emoji! Skull emoji! Skull emoji! My little sister's toy. <laughs> My friend's daughter got a veterinarian kit for her birthday. He just sent me this. Dog food, shampoo, bacteria, cleaning fluid, pet comb, toy ball, pet house, shoveled shit. Which reminds me, of course, toys can be for animals too. Instructions for a pet treat launcher at Walmart. A really funny way to reword your pet. You load the pet trests, pull the switch, press the button, and treats will be into the pet's mouse. Ideal as spiritual enrichment cat toys. We only do one thing with your love pets. Whenever and wherever, love it. And this fish toy. Yeah, Bam had one of those when he was younger. I found some old videos. He certainly didn't used to mind it. Oh, look how small he was. Ah! 
I have no memory. I have no memory of doing this. Please forget you saw that. Why do your cat need this fish toy? The story thing? Bad chewing habit? Scratch furniture? Obesity due lack of exreme? Plus remember, cats without fish touch ain't got no soul. I've been obsessed with random unnecessary quotation marks since I was a kid. Uh, this is easily the most terrifying example. Timmy takes a road trip with, uh, Officer Sandusky. Good luck, Timmy. Today we're hitting up r slash suspicious quotes, a Reddit already explored by your MKs, the Click Sorrow TVs, but for freshness, I've subsidised mine with additional Facebook group content and Twitter searches of my own. Plus, I'm much faster and drunker than all those channels. Smart Lipo by a real plastic surgeon. Spades MC Ventaurus, exotic and legal pet store. All of our chicken McNuggets are made from actual chicken. Fresh fudge tasting today. Oh God, what is it really? Coco the fun clown. Uh, line cook. Yeah, wanted. Uh, part time. Hey, C. Angie. The only thing for sure is that it's part time. Clean. Alan? No, he's just Ken's. D buddy. They're buddies. Makers of grow your own human steaks say meal kit is not technically cannibalism. Deeply suspicious quotation marks. Putin wins Russian presidential election. Otter Creek Campground. We have our family reunion here every year. Yeah, we have candy. <laughs> 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 Now I can enter the dragon. Employees must wash hands. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You must be 21 to enter. Frank, Mary's husband, hops food. Grandma baked a cake for the team, but her use of punctuation made it sound sarcastic. Heroes. My husband received this at his new job. You matter to us. Absolutely brutal quotation marks in this headline. Skull emoji. Hacker steals NFTs worth millions from OpenSea users. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Quotation marks are not for emphasis. Yeah, this popcorn's really gluten free, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, gluten free. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Obviously, it's not yet. Oh! Please use your finger to press or sign. New underwear, 50p each. Hey, open this email. Please feel free to ask one of our La Hartvely baristas for a second service. <laughs> Enjoy. Needs cleaning. Got wet. Papa John's founder. I didn't eat 40 pizzas in 30 days. I had 40 pizzas in 30 days. Did. Did he fuck the pizzas? Patience, pull cord for ass tan. Three heart-shaped LED bike lights. Attention, no one is allowed to bathe their dog in the sa- Ass tan. Go back. Go back now, one more. Ass tan. Oh, it's assistance. They've rubbed the fucking- th oh. Quack. Oh, it came out so wrong. I didn't have nearly enough icing. What is on that cake? French martinis, a vanilla vodka, shambled pineapple puree, and sugarcane syrup, shaken with ice, finished with love. Contains vitamin D. Cajos especiais. What does that translate to? Oh, Jesus. Hi, I'm Dr. Pavan Vadapali. If you're interested, please ping me. Please ping me. What I want is a... Uh, no, no. No, no, no. I was just saying, I'm um, Dr. Pavan Vadapali. If you're interested, please. Please ping me. I want a flute teacher. What? You know what I'm gonna miss when Trump's in prison? His bizarre use of quotation marks. Shocking and totally unexpected loss by the US women's shock attempt. Rating we must keep coming to the I am the least and extremely quick. Best use of quotation marks ever. White House releases photo of Trump. Working. Restroom. Covid vaccine. Church van. Donations for Haiti. Your friendly store. Honest Mexican cuisine. We currently have zero employees or permanent guests that are registered sex offenders. Blueberries, $9.50 a quart. I don't... Um, oh, right. Strawberries. This is why the senior citizens don't let anyone inside their building. Note. Uh, do not open the door for anyone you do not know. They must be buzzed. 
in. This is a secured mold. This might be the worst use of quotation marks ever. Welcome to our garden. We have a nice selection of indoor plants. Soapy Sam says, uh, always wash your hands. It's actually the one where quotes be appropriate and they put them in the wrong place. Okay, note is, truckers, please do not draw of any urine bodies in the garbage totes. Rest a uh, wild cafe. Pep and a week says to Megan Shelfer, for fuck's sakes, not everyone is from America or glued to their devices, and, and I quote, a uh, face with rolled eyes emoji. It's a weird choice of quotation marks, but not as weird as this. Learn French, and, and, and I quote, Tell you what, Bobby, if you and your pals will take turns sprinting with me every afternoon, help build up my wind, I'll see that you get ringside seats Saturday night. Mm. No! Jesus Christ. Hello, as you can see, I'm filming uh, the next Cooking with Matt for 640,000 subscribers. We're almost there, but it is a Matt Rose Monday. So here's a little thing to tide you over until you see what I'm making. Yeah. Thanks for that, Matt. Can't wait to see what you're up to. It looks like you're having lots of fun. But for now, from the host of the number one Christian counselling talk show, Regret Living. <coughs> Cooking your dog. Lightweight sex poncho. The ho! Asthma. Relax. You're going to die. The very hung caterpillar. A dick of a cat. Sin. You've got clap. Warm farts. Shaving a baby. Telescope. Look directly into the sun. Let's F the ducks. Jennifer Haymore, a Donovan novel. Secrets of an accidental douche. The future is reduced for quick sale. Poor lover. Nut and go. Meth. The creature all men feared became one man's obsession. Mad dick. Daily bra games. The about.com guide to hoe decorating. Normal activity. What happens when you sleep? Chilled out atmosphere here at the cock lounge. Cock classic. Complete cock. Juicy cock. Cock, 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 cock. Hell, dinosaur! Pee like a river. Crap book. Bear. Fuck! You can make this stuff up. Lessons from the Long Island medium. Small. Pizza! Enjoy your delicious mum. Silly kill game. Do I want to listen to the best of Greg Allman? Not really. Do I want to listen to the best of Eggman? Absolutely yes. As possible, your burger patties made from ants. Slash removes OAP cum. I like cut a backyard bug control, but I put it on me grass, walk over it barefoot. It kills me toes. Hump dump. Cloud cuckland. I want to be a baller. Fornication, the complete series. Full of beans. Tell a lie. You have to. New release, semen. Fuck me up. Per Enos. Richard Burton and Clint Eastwood as they play two disappointed boys at an aviary. We're eagles. Slide up ass with care. Ripe ass avocados. Jucky Drake. Ass clown. Ass rinser. Reaches where you can't. Serious ass. Ass milk. There's assified. Medal of ho. European ass. Ass, ass, cray. Join Tim and Prue on our great anal journeys. Introduction to anal. Used fully anal joystick. Anal fantasy. I'm okay. You're okay. A practical guide to transactional anal. Mr. Bum. The colon. Ask for tea. My daddy is a c So here we are in China. Where do you fancy going for lunch? Hmm, how about Obama fried chicken? McDolans, McDaniels, Mashdonalds, Madonnell, McDonalds, McDonalds, McMuck, Wackdonalds, Mr. Mahmood, McDeliciaus, Mc McDonalds, McDuck Me Ow Donald, come on down to the famous singular golden arch, Hop Dognalds, why not? McDonners, McTortas, McKebab. Now there's a mascot you can place your trust in. Michael alone. Michael alone. McDragons. Yeah, do 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 do. Yeah, it's a strip club. CFC, an odd McDonald's KFC hybrid here featuring Ronald Sanders, as you can see. There's also AFC, BFC, DFC. E In fact, I won't go through them all because there's literally one for every letter of the alphabet, including SFC, where the F stands not for fried, but fish 
and MFC. My flavour at chicken. Lip licking flavour. Kabuki fried chicken. Kennedy fried chicken. Kent's tuck in fried chicken. KKFC. KFD. KLC. KLG. KGB. KEC. Uh, who's that? KFG. Who is that? Mega fried chicken. Taste of steam. Who's that? But these all pale in comparison to the next genuinely real chicken restaurant based in Thailand. Oh, who's that you've used? Sub day, sunny day, sub on the way, schnitzel way, sub wrap, sub wedge, sandwich, fresh way, eat sub, Sam way, your way, my way, sub and me, um, star ducks, stars and bucks, but star, star box, star books, Star backs, star bung, us a bucks, sun bucks, star fucks, star pulks, a such harbuck cafe, a stuff dipping donuts, drinking donuts, dippity donut, donkey donuts, duffin daigles, domino donuts, a domino pizza, dominics, rominoes, nominoes, buku bell, taco bell, taco bell, taco mel, restaurant. Taco Bell. Taco King, a composite of Taco Bell and Burger King, with, um, okay. King Burger. Burger Queen. Queen Burger. Burger of Friends. Burger Madam and Sir. Burger Time. Burger Meal. Burger King. Burek King. Burger Sing. Burger Hut, which, bizarrely enough, is right next door to a Pizza King. Pizza Hat. Pizza Hot. Pizza Ha. Uh, pizza Hut. Pizza Dot. Pizza Patron. Pizza... Roof. And we end with this knockoff Lego set, a Dr. Star, where you can build your own pizza shop, as well as a hamburger hut, sandwich hut, fried chicken. Basically, the pizza one's the only one that's not a hut. FCS? No idea. We'll call it a day there because I can tell my laptop is struggling with all the images in this video, which is weird because I have the latest Microsoft Binbos. Do love what you do love, what you. What? I know, I'm surprised we haven't done this video yet too. I mean, we've been at this for over a year. We've done misspelled cakes for Christ's sake. Anyway, off we go. Textcock Mex Tales. Leave as welcome for may all who Ren's guests came as. If you hard, then you hard. Work play. Shit yourself. Artistic kid dies. Neighbourhood Design Centre. Which as you can see has decided to go for the name Nidia's Gigbano Crenatotta. Super shitters. Hey baby! If you were in a car, would you know what accident to do? Non-action and stop excitement. Oh, boy syrup. H is where, the O is me. Don't be happy, worry. Jizz addicts. Gonna say something. You like jizz? <gasps> Herpes, that's supposed to say heroes. Condom, that's supposed to say London. DIY ass, open. Oh, that's supposed to say daisies, innit? No, no idea. Christmas, bizarre and craft show. Fight children with diabetes. Mega clits. Before you leave, forget to pay. Do not stop. Fat forever. A fuck fruit carnitas tacos. You are bright like Hitler and bubbly like champagne. You had meat Nutella. Never forget where you come from. There came, where are they? You going, we came from. Honk, Jesus honk if you saves. If you love Jesus, love Jesus, 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 Jesus. I am Lee. Took me way too long to realize this was supposed to say inhale. Fuck or tree. Sasalele. Tea. Make Shutter everything stop. better. Mice, ten pound bag, one dollar. One team, bone goal. Le Bayo Quenwoods, will you marry me? Kids, adults, real, anti-abduction, tea, everyone. Well, I, Seaman, still seek him. Everything, 99 cents, and up, or less. Oh, fuck off. Great experiences should be shaved. Nothing is possible. Three pedestrians have been killed here for your own safety. Ho! Oh. Take action. Take control. Quit school. Happy New Year! For more rolls. Oui. Thank you. Your donation just helps someone. Get a job. Ass cafe. A mask or face covering is strongly recommended in this area because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> it's not, it's me, you! And finally, not a graphic design fail as such, but you do need to see the activity on this kid's menu, the hotchpotch alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, C, H, I, K, L, M, O, P, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z, and just look at M. 
I got a comment from Pumpkin asking me to look at movies getting misnamed, and the subsequent replies suggested this might be a good idea. We had The Revenant referred to as The Bear Movie, and Child in the Chocolate Factory as Willy Wanker's Toy Shop, so onto the community page it went, thank you to everyone who replied. I didn't just limit this to old people though, I wanted misnamed movies from everyone. My girlfriend's younger than me, and genuinely thought for the longest time because of this poster, the film Little Nicky was actually called Devilishly Funny. So, let's get into it. My little sister sister used to call Final Destination, Last Summer Vacation. My mum calls Kung Fu Panda, Bamboo Panda Man. Finally one I can answer to, when I was like seven, my grandma said she was taking me to see Racket Wrath. I was so confused and a little scared because I was convinced she was taking me to some tennis based psychological horror film. She meant Wreck-It Ralph. My grandfather once referred to Bionicle the Mask of Light as Bionic Ankles. I heard a woman on my street describe Shrek as that one movie about Frankenstein and his pony. My mum calls Lethal Weapon a leather weather. My grandma has always been unable to remember the name of the Croods. Some names include the Grogs, the Crods, the Groogs and the Grods. Edit. Almost forgot the Glogs and the Glugs. My great-grandmother once called the Minions movie Mini onions. Sonic the Hedgehog somehow became Bionic Sled Dog. Due to an unfortunate game of charades with my grandmother, the movie Full Metal Jacket is forever known as Tiny Jar of Death. My mate's sister confused the hell out of her by asking about Neil after watching The Matrix. Name. Is Neil! When I was 11, I somehow got it in my head that a certain movie was called Aston Martin and started googling the name. I was so frustrated that nothing ever came up. The movie I was looking for was Austin Powers. My granddad once called it Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azerbaijan. When Spider-Man No Way Home first came out, I went to go see it. On my way into the theatre, I saw Grandma drop off some little kids and she told them to enjoy their Homeless Bug Boy movie. My grandma called A Wrinkle in Time as A Tinkle in the Wind. My entire family calls almost every film by the the name, oh you know, the one with the actor. Once saw my friend's mum ask if he wanted to go see the Chewy Dwayne movie, which was actually the new Jumanji movie. My aunt once called Toy Story, Cowboy Tales. I couldn't remember for the name of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs once and was talking to my boyfriend and described it as oh, that film with the machine and the giant hot dogs and the man was the size of a transit van and he just stared at me like what the fuck. My dad was trying to name Turning Red and we were on a call and he said oh isn't that from Going Brown or something. My friend once called Ferris Bueller's Day Off Brendan Fraser's day off, and the idea of that film still haunts me. My grandma thought Lego Batman was called Let Go of Batman, and insisted that it would be too sad to enjoy. Jeeps and lemurs, or more commonly known as Jeepers Creepers. My grandpa refers to the Shawshank Redemption as the Crankshaft Connection. We'll never forget the time my friend referred to Silence of the Lambs as the Quiet Sheep. Skull emoji! My grandma has several times referred to How to Train Your Dragon as How to Ride a Demon. I've heard someone called Pan room, a high anxiety house. My grandfather, who smoked a bit too much weed back in the 60s, once referred to Indiana Jones as Alabama James. My uncle was always confused about why I wanted to watch Missionary Impossible. My mum once described Lord of the Rings as the film with big ears. After some questioning, it turned out she'd got confused between Gandalf and big ears from Noddy. One time my grandma was trying to remember the movie Hocus Pocus and called it Hooker Ponker. My family loves Pirates of the Caribbean and we've watched the films for years. Despite that, my mother forgets the names and refers to it as the Bada Bum Bum Bada Bum Bum Bada Bum 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 Movie. My grandmother refers to all action movies as shoot 'em up bang bangs even the ones without guns. My mum once called Despicable Me as a despicable uncle. So when she said, wanna see a despicable uncle, I just stared into her eyes trying to decipher what the hell she meant. I had a friend who asked me about a movie where a guy lived in a straw. Turns out he was talking about the opening to the James Bond movies. He thought the gun barrel was a straw. To be fair, if I actually thought that, I'd definitely ask my friend about it. I can't think of many fates worse than being condemned to live in a straw. Then maybe you shouldn't be living here! Anyway, what makes it worse is that we were in high school. Right, wake up, we're shifting gears. It's time for you, the viewer, to do a bit of work. Quick quiz. I'm going to show you 10 misnamed movie titles. You shout out what films you think they pertain to. These will be coming at you quite fast. Good luck. Missing in a minute. <laughs> Detective Fish. A bunch of people decide to go move to New York inside food. The guy with the face. Fat 
Fat Ghost and Future Boy. Chin, or something with teeth. The fucking rat version of MasterChef. You know those little creatures that sing and there's Cola that goes bankrupt but makes his money back somehow. Also it has famous people that voice the creatures. <laughs> and last one. Emojis. How did you get on? Do let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's end by looking at some misnamed TV shows and video games. Not a movie, but my mum once described Avatar The Last Airbender as Ang and the Gang. A few weeks ago, I was watching The Simpsons, and my mum came in and said, Can you stop watching the Snoop Dogs for a second? My dad and I were discussing Breaking Bad. My grandma asked, Is that the movie about the man who makes marijuana in a trailer? My grandma just called Shit's Creek David. Like it's an artsy biopic about somebody named David. I'll never forget the time my dad called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Jimbo's Whack Ass Journey watching Stranger Things with my grandma and she said come on let's watch The Strangest Kids like it was some kind of crappy YouTube top 10 video. Ooh what is going on guys? They were looking at the top 10 strangest kids and I gotta warn you some of these kids are so freaking strange guys The show's on telly again Grace and Natalie! It was Grey's Anatomy. Not a movie but my dad used to call Spongebob Yellow Cheese God. We still to this day have no clue where he got yellow cheese god from. Spongebob, a frequently misnamed show in the comments. Alternatives included Spongebot, Spongebag, Spankbob, Flattop Bob, Bonzo, Spongeboob Square Bitch, Spongquob, and Brushbob Circle Pants. Not a movie, but one time my dad called Among Us, Stand Beside Me. My grandma calls Five Nights at Freddy's Fast Freddy and the Petting Zoo. My family calls Splatoon Squid Squad, because none of us can ever remember what it's called. Once my mum referred Minecraft as surviving the cube world. Not a movie, but my mum once described you as that British guy who reads because she forgot your name. I instantly understood she was talking about you. Hello, Skipple Fritz's mum from That British Guy Who Reads. Anyway, probably got time for just one more. Not a movie name, but my grandfather once called the McDonald's Big and Tasty Burger. I don't even think it is called a Big and Tasty Burger. I think it's just called a Big Tasty. There we go. The Hot and Nasty. Here's a Google review, only from a year ago, five stars as well. Shenley Brookend is one of the best school I have ever went. Two reasons why I enjoy making school related videos, be it the word legumes getting banned from class or a chemistry teacher accidentally being airdropped this dog. Firstly, it takes me back to those carefree, simpler times. And secondly, it makes me more cash. My son was karate chopped in the throat by a Naruto wannabe. Mrs. Errington peed in the boys restroom. This place, it kind of makes me want to cry. But at least I got to see a kid pull a toaster out of his locker and proceed to make toast. There is no basketball! God! outside. When I get punched in the face and try to fight and the teacher just stood up and chanted for the other kid. Best dance team. Yeah, too many bomb threats though. My son called the school and the curriculum a crispy. I believe him. Bad school. Teacher's rude. Like, you're not my boss bro. I don't even go here. I got cyber bullied by the principal and I farted in the hand dryer. Five stars. The edge of khaki in here is good. Ass teachers. Bad kids. Too big. There's a guy that cries when he drinks soda. If you or uh, a nerd, this is a school for you, mate. It's time to stop. I got a whole day in isolation with no food because I had a Velcro strap on my shoe. Department. Art. Rating. One. Reason. Which only talks about art. The hamburgers come of... Conver belts. Many of no worry and junky. I hang out with the bad teens and they smoke gamble and graffiti. Full of pygons. Pigeons? Pagans? YouTube teaches better than these techers, OG. Well, thank you very much. No offence. But this school smells like macaroni. There's nothing wrong with the school, it's just that my wife left me. This school sucks, lol. Low, 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 lol. Best school ever. Pretty rad, my man. Amazing! Best school ever! Uh, I ate a bee's nest. Totally cool school. Too much unnecessary homework. And kids are bad in bath womb and... Oh, this is oo isn't it? I did establish in a previous video that any oo I have to read out, I will be doing in the voice of Jason Statham. Kids are bad in bath womb and 
Coast. A beauty to high school. Great school, but the spoon's too deep. Bring your own from home. The bathroom was fun. Academic fair was a nice little shindig. Lonnie's a nice man. Don't go to the pond at night. Suck chote. Well, this school is basically a simulation, an introduction to modern slavery. And, and what it feels like to, to live un- I was in the cafeteria food and there was a rock in it. I go here and the teacher gave me homework. Too many liberals. My locker smells like weed. Ten out of ten. Eh! I once took this massive dump and it got stuck and it wouldn't go down the toilet. I had to put bleach on it so it would dissolve and go down. Hence, two stars, I'm afraid. They blocked the me servers. <clears throat> I just hate school. Google also confidently claims if you need it, it can translate reviews. May and Klein, Quan Quebec, X words will cause inconvenience. Please see the understanding of the problem. It's still very interesting and it was discovered he was a very interesting and uncomfortable. He said on the opportunity where you cannot say so because he is the letters themselves are also a vapid. The basketballs smell like ass. The school is terrible, yet many teachers say they are busy grading papers when the solution is not to assign as much. A review there from my friend and yours, Creamy piss. Hit by a bus and got food poisoning from a cold pink burger. I- It's okay. Two stars instead of three. Because one time a teacher told me that I was acting inappropriately. And that I shouldn't praise anime Jesus during a standards of learning. My friend's seven-year-old kid pretended to put me in jail. Our conversation went something like this. What I do? I forgot to brush my teeth. You murdered a 23-year-old woman while she was jogging in the early morning. So I shouldn't throw him in the fire. A three-year-old daughter holding her baby brother for the first time. My four-year-old looked out the window with big snowflakes falling and said, Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Like pieces of airplane falling from the sky. I asked my girlfriend's six-year-old daughter what she wanted to be when she grew up. She answered, a lunatic. My older brother once brought a friend home when there was no one in the house. My parents get home, ha having never met this kid. And he suddenly swivels around in my dad's office chair and shouts in his best Bond villain voice, I've been expecting you. When my kid was two, he was scribbling on a piece of paper and quietly sang to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Scrape, scrape, scrape your eyes, scrape your eyes today. I jokingly asked, what's the best way to get a girlfriend? Seven-year-old's response, tell her to be my girlfriend or she'll never see her parents again. We were at a crowded funeral home for his great-grandpa's service when my son announced... Here to see the corpse. Four-year-old boy looked at me dead serious and said, No secrets, no smile, before he proceeded to put on his dad's sunglasses and walk away. Sweet dreams. I don't have dreams anymore. My son was talking about his friend, the upside down clown, while I was putting him to bed one night. Uh, needless to say, not a fan. Mr. Skinny Legs wants to find you. Later, realised Mr. Skinny Legs was the name of a spider on Peppa Pig and my son was just quoting the show. But out of context, holy shit! My niece drew a picture of a man in her room that she kept telling her parents about. He had two different coloured eyes and one was grey. When asked why it was grey, she responded, because he can see the storm coming. Oh, that's metal as fuck! My daughter had some imaginary friends for a couple years named Dodo. Garner and the evil. Turns out the evil was actually a pretty nice imaginary friend. She just had an unfortunate name. Niece once exclaimed, people are just meat with hair. I want to play Frozen, but only the part where the parents die in a shipwreck. Do you like burning? The new little girl neighbour. I want cereal. Well, I mean, that's not that creepy. No, the creepy part was that it was after I woke gasping for air because she held my nose and mouth shut to wake me up. Had a fight with my four-year-old one time. Through the angry crying, he managed to yell, I'm gonna poop on your back when you sleep. My son, seven, dreamily and out of nowhere, today is the day I'm going to die. What? Oh no mum, don't worry. Not today, but on this date, some other year. Awkward grin emoji! My mum once gave my three and a half year old nephew a pancake, telling him it was the last one. He picked it up, declared, ah, uh, the last pancake, alone and afraid, and then he shoved it in his mouth. Six year old daughter came downstairs from her bedroom and said, Dad, I think Casey's 
dead. That's my three-year-old daughter. Of course, I ran up to make sure Casey was okay, at which time my oldest daughter raided the cookie jar. Can I burn Gran's body completely out of the blue from my five-year-old? Gran is still very much alive, mate. Daddy, asleep, then pushing my head underwater at the pool. You know what? The more of these I read, kids are just real-life bastard Furbies, aren't they? The shit they come out with. I was lying in bed. My almost two-year-old came up, put her face right up to mine, and I, though, maybe she wanted a kiss. Then she said, Mama, I want to eat your eyes, please. Don't do the voice. A three-year-old's Christmas card, Merry Christmas. Hope your last one's the best. One day, I was reading the story of the three little pigs to a group for five-year-olds. I get to the part where the wolf huffs and puffs and blows the straw house down. Without missing a beat, the oldest of the group shakes his head and mutters, Oh. Fucking bastard. When I was three, I came out of the ball pit and told my mum I was oh, sweating like a penis. Oh, look, there's a lost cat poster. Is there a reward? Um, no. Oh. That's a bit shit, isn't it? Supervising a group of children on a field trip. Sir, David just said the N-word. Ah, uh, the N-word? Yeah. Nipples. My dad told me that when I was four years old, I turned to him looking like I just had an epiphany about the meaning of life and the universe, and eyes wide open, I asked, what difference does it make if I say the word, this don't, now don't expect something profound, this isn't even a real word, so I don't know why it's making me laugh. What difference does it make if I say the word, hoobly? My three-year-old son, when I told him to come eat dinner with me the other week, I will ruin your life. Mum, when you die, can I have your bones to make wind chimes? I wish mermaids were still alive, but that mermaid tail was some good eating. When my oldest daughter was in kindergarten, she wrote and illustrated her first book, titled I Hope You Die in a Fire. Other passages, including Hope You Get Shot in a Fire, Hope You Get Taken Apart, and I think most ominously of all, I lost my patience. But this feels like the sort of video we should probably try and leave on a high, so read this. Had a severe bout of depression and was sitting at the kitchen table with my head down because, you know, depression. And my three-year-old nephew comes up to me and whispers in my ear, Hey, hey, shake your booty. Watch this TikTok, please. My niece just called an aquarium a water zoo. You get the idea, it's the comment section I'm here for, widely considered to be quite good. Of course, this being TikTok, no one actually said the words quite good, they said lit, life, awesome sauce, past the vibe, check, flame emoji, facts no printer, and top tier flex for real, for real 100. My friend's kid didn't remember the word tired, so he said he was bed thirsty. It's been my fave since. My cousin's daughter told me we needed to go inside because it was getting a moony, like sunny, but at night. My daughter called humidity chunky air today. When my daughter was a toddler, she called tears panic water. Loudly panic watering face emoji. Loudly panic watering face emoji. Loudly panic watering face emoji. My son calls blueberries bubble plums. My son used to call eggs chicken drops. Son said one day if you die, I'll become a, a no homeboy. I was like, do you mean homeless? I forgot the word for tunnel when I was younger. So when we went past one, I yelled train ho. Bra equals booby sock. And if I asked my my son to repeat himself, he would say, oh, sorry, are you ear blind? Oh, this is precious. My son used to call ranch dressing lotion, but he couldn't say lotion, so he called it. Ah, oh, yes, my old friend, Lucius. Detergent equals laundry sauce. My son called diarrhea pee poop. Burps equals mouth fart. Took me forever to figure out what my toddler meant when he said, I just farted out my mouth. When my nephew starts to sweat, he says, I'm melting. My daughter calls her feet her floor hands. My daughter called her ankle her foot waist. Daughter called her knees leg chins. My son used to call his forehead his, uh, his roof. My cousin didn't know how to tell me she had a dream. So she said the story behind my eyes when I'm asleep. Skull emoji! My three-year-old called the cemetery the death spot. Flushed face emoji. A dye field. A zombie patch. The berry park. When our grandfather passed in May, my little cousin said he was now in his forever sleep. Um, that's deep. That's actually beautiful. You should have seen his face and how he was processing the news before he said it. He, eight years old, reminds me of a Sheldon on Big Bang Theory. Very intelligent. Matt, I'm sorry. He's passed. Bazinga. <laughs>
When my mother-in-law passed, my daughter said, Oh, she's in the ground. Was she then? Fucking dirt mermaid. My son was trying to tell me to look at a cross on a church, but called it a Christ pole. My neighbor's kids called communion wafers Jesus cookies with, of course, a Jesus juice. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. In the mood for some Jesus juice. Um. When my son was little, he asked me if Mother Nature and Father Time are God's parents. I was like, flushed face emoji. Is some of y'all in this comment section lie? My kids ain't say that. When I was little, I called fireflies lightning booties. My godson calls shorts short pants, and I scream every time. Instead of saying she remembered something, my daughter would say she just had a rememory. When my niece didn't want something we was trying to give her to eat, she would say, oh, I can't want that. My nephew calls me his mother uncle. Leaves are tree feathers. As a young child, I called feathers bird leaves. My kids called undercover cops the trick police. When I was a waitress, this kid called the tofu in his soup marshmallow chicken. I used to call the sky the higher. When I heard this kid say, oh, it's hot out. I need my short sleeve pants. I began to question everything I knew about everything. Oh, Oh yeah, but shh, don't let Jazz hear you. You know, if Jazz, oh god, she, ah! my son called tires car shoes. My son calls the barber shop the haircut store. My son calls pinching finger biting. My son called maxi pads lady diapers. I was appalled. My son calls food menus food maps. My son calls later a little bit night. Beautiful. Thank you, mate. See you a little bit night. Cheers. My granddaughter calls the Little Mermaid a fishy princess. When my daughter would pretend to have superpowers, she called telekinesis grab vision. Lol, my nice calls the water faucet a uh, water hassle, she said, but it makes the water go slow and further. Face with raised eyebrow emoji, see no evil monkey emoji. I'm sorry, I'm ever so sorry, but w w what on earth are you talking about? Let's do a quiz, shall we? I'll give you, say, ten of these to see if you can guess what the word in question is. My son went a whole winter when he was about seven, calling some things nature's popsicles. <laughs> Disco turkey. <laughs> Building tattoos. <laughs> Stabby grabbies. <laughs> Earth hockey. <laughs> Barbecue water. Cheese sugar. An ouch mouse. Mouse emoji. Mouth bangs. Waterboarding. <laughs> Wait till he finds out what waterboarding actually is. Loudly panic watering face emoji. Said when he was five. You know, I think I'd really enjoy waterboarding. Smiling face with hearts emoji. Loudly panic watering face emoji. Loudly panic watering face emoji. You know, this comment section's full of bombastic praise over how smart these kids are that call surfing waterboarding and knees their leg chins. Thankfully, brutal Patty is not fucking around. Called the grocery store a food library. I questioned what about the late phase on returning what but food that had been eaten? Absolutely. Feel free to correct these little plebs. My son calls the McChicken a chicken burger. It is though. My son called any day that isn't today yes tomorrow. Yes tomorrow that would mean today. My brother used to call his toes finger legs. No, leg fingers would be your toes, finger legs are your arms. My nephew told me Mario's name was Mario Mario and Luigi was Luigi Mario. But they're the, the Mario brothers. Uh, wait, hang on. Hang on, what? My nephew told me Mario's name was Mario Mario. Luigi was Luigi Mario, but they are the Mario brothers. Um, shut up. Found this gem of a get well soon card I wrote my grandpa when I was six and he broke his leg. Get well soon? I've lost a leg. Aww. I'm going to die! I'm going to die! <laughs> Found a great story I wrote when I was eight years old. October 11th, Saturday, 03. Plane crash, phone call, broken arm. I don't know what any of this means. Person locked in. Person going to jail forever until dies. Been at my nan's and she found this I wrote to my mum when I was seven. Dear mum, I'm really sorry about this afternoon. I guess that uh, what are you asked me to do, I just don't feel like doing it. I hope you understand. Cleaning my room and found some old notebooks from when I was a kid. Apparently I wrote this down and nothing else. 
course. Hey, why are you listening to this when you could drink a Pepsi? I don't know. Just found this little book I wrote when I was about nine. A book of lovely men on holiday. <laughs> Things to look for. Youth, uh, blonde or black hair. Lovely eyes and smile. Quite slim, not very hairy. All equals good looks. Things to not look for. Stupid shades, stupid t-shirt, sexy donut, stupid hat. All equals stupid man. Things they shouldn't be doing. Uh, hugging other women, having meals with other women, resting with other women. And uh, number four, especially good shout. Watching other women getting undressed in front of their windows. Also, things they shouldn't eat. Focusing on the important dating issues from an early age. Tomatoes, bad fruit, cabbage, and eyeballs. A horrible meal. Something my dad found in the garage that I wrote when I was like five or six. What time is it, huh? 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 A letter my dad just found that I wrote him when I was eight. I will be known. Just found this poem I wrote when I was five. Obviously, nothing's changed. Me, 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 me. Found a poem I wrote when I was like in year six. Clearly always been a drama queen. For some reason, this really makes me laugh. So just bear with me. Just friends. We're just friends as his loyalty seeped away like flour in a sieve. Y'all, I found this old song I wrote when I was eight or nine. Tell me your opinions. Are you the ice cream or are you the cone? Are you the whipped cream or are you the scone? Are you the queen sitting on your golden throne? Because I'm your blasted servant, ain't got no time to moan. Would you enter if I let you in? Would you celebrate if I let you win? Is it really saintly? Is it just a sin? Or are we in need of a full reboot? Gotta hide away my treasure so you don't steal my loot. Your toxic endeavours burning through my heart. But they tell tales of your beauty when really it's just the way you are. Um, well, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, I mean, I hate it. Just found this book I wrote when I was probably about five to six years old. Why is it like the horror movie drawing possessed children do? By Billy. <laughs> My mum just found this little letter story I wrote when I was eight, and y'all, I am fucking dying. Ghost are bad. Yeah, here's an example. I'm playing with my little brother, Paul. He's three years old. He's laying down, yeah. I come with a blanket over me, including my head. Then I stick my hands out and say I'm a ghost. A ghost of dead person, by the way. And he gets scared. The end, written by Mary. So my grandma found a song I wrote when I was six. How did I not win an award? God is cool. God's a hero. He's a hero, hero. He's a hero. He's mighty and he's cool. So cool. He's cool. Ro I just realised how I scratched out rock and roll, lol. He's a hero. He this was the uh, box that it was in. Just found a note I wrote to God when I was seven. Dear God, please be in me instead of the devil. Please, God, please. Wow. Um, okay, yes. Um, so skull emoji. Found a story I wrote when I was nine. And the opening line is really something. The first rays of the morning sun sat on my face. I've just found a garden guide that I wrote when I was about six. Or should I say, Gordon guide. Oh my god. I found a journal I wrote when I was like eight, and this page is unintentionally one of the funniest things I've ever done. Notes to self. Going through a bunch of old paper waste from when I was a kid and found a note I wrote to myself about how to talk to girls. Take it easy. Make eye contact. Smile. Laugh. Small talk. Do not be negative. Did it work? Take your best guess. Hey. Don't be negative. My mum found a note I wrote to a girl when I was nine. Hi, I'm Chris, Aaron's cousin. Are you girlfriend? If you are his, I'm trying to steal you from him. I'm nine, I'm cute, and I like Eminem. Will you like me? I found this book I wrote when I was five, and... Uh... The Shape Changer. Once in my backyard, I saw the shape charger. He moved my eyes to my knees. Then a weird bird changed me back. I was glad. Your teacher reading this. Uh, what the fuck? I just found this poem I wrote when I was 10 called Africa Poem. A day in the life. As uh, you can see, the teacher instructed me to erase everything on the page and I bet I didn't even know why. But this is what it once said. Four o'clock, wake up. Five o'clock, house falls down. Six o'clock, get cancer. Seven o'clock, die. What the actual fuck was I thinking? Just found this book I wrote when I was seven. Meeting with publishers soon. I like. I like. I like. The end. 
found this poem I wrote when I was seven. My dog sits at the window and watches the wind go by. I have a big concern for, I want to know what he's thinking. Is he thinking about his past? Found the first song I ever wrote when I was six after my dog had come home from the groomer and her haircut made me cry. As you can see, Lily's even included the notes and I literally learned to play the basics on piano just to get this melody right. So hopefully, <laughs> this should sound pretty good. Mr. Jamie scares me, I love my dog, no matter, I love you so much, I love you so much, I love you, I love you so much. Super glad I found this certificate I wrote when I was six. Secret Club, Zack Certi- Fuck it! This is a letter I wrote the Tooth Fairy when I was six. Dear Tooth Fairy, I lost towel teeth today, uh, but I lost one and don't have it for you. Sorry, but uh, could you please still pay me for both teeth? Thanks, London. P.S. You might find it at the bus stop. My mum found this letter I wrote to Santa when I was eight. And all I want is a cure for diabetes. I don't need anything else. Just that. I know you can't get me that though. So please just bring me an endless ocean for my wee. Yeah, cheers, Maddie. So I found a letter I wrote to the Jonas Brothers when I was seven years old. And it did not disappoint. Dear Jonas Brothers, I have some quizgans. Joe, will you kiss Demi in Canada? Camp Rock. Nick, do you really believe love at first sight? Two Jonas Brothers. Love, Linda. A kiss. Found this email I wrote when I was nine, and I regret to inform you all that I have not changed one bit. Really? Do you have Animal Crossing? I do. It's so cool. Um, you said film. It's film. Love me! My mum was cleaning out my grand aunt's house and found this letter I wrote when I was seven. Uh, apparently I grew up in the time of consumption. Dear Maureen. This is Ashling. The baby was in Drogheda Hospital with pneumonia. I found this thing that I wrote in my diary when I was seven, and no idea what the fuck it means. Monday, rock and roll day. Monday. Found some notes I sent to my grandma when I was seven. To nanny, I love you. You know that. My mum found some cards I wrote when I was little, and please appreciate my Chicago dialect as a six-year-old. Dear mum and dad, I love you so much, because you have always been very good to me. My mum found a letter that I wrote her when I was five and sharing a room with my brother. Mummy, can you please talk to Aaron, because I keep cleaning our room, I cleaned my room before, and then he messed it back up, and I'm tired! My mum found a note I wrote oh, about her. Uh, when I was 9, 10, 1, oh, 08. You were being mean to me in the morning. Mean, mean, mean. Like a evil machine. When I was about 9, my dad found this note I wrote. My dad is a diced. 9 year old Emily couldn't spell dickhead. Today I found this note I wrote when I was 6 with absolutely no context at all. Hope you are happy. Oh, well, I can't think of a nicer note to end it on than that. I also found these. The fact that it's written inside sympathy cards is sending me. Go! I received a call from my son's grade one teacher years ago. My son had brought the macerated remains of a gopher that the dog had been hauling around the yard for a week to school in his lunchbox under his sandwiches for show and tell. We've seen kids before claim to have wooden knees and get banned from saying the word Jamaica and hand insidious Five Nights at Freddy's fan art to their teachers. And it's this lack of filter which generates good content. So what are these kids going to bring in when they have to show something off to the class? When I was six, I kept asking my dad if my grandpa had been cremated yet. I started crying, explaining that I just wanted to take his ashes in for show and tell. The teacher across the hall from me had a student who brought what he thought was a lucky rabbit foot to show to the class. The rabbit foot was a tampon. My brother once brought in a lump of our dog's shit because he thought it was neat you could see carrot in it. Mum's only set of car keys. Mercury. Uncontained open air mercury. A kindergartner near where I live brought 50 packets of heroin to school. I forgot to bring an item for show and tell. I had a somewhat loose tooth so I excused myself to the bathroom, casually ripped out the tooth with my fingers, walked back and showed it off to the class. That's... Metal. A kid brought in their grandfather, not to talk, just to sit there. When I was little, a kid in my class bought one Lego. My daughter bought a dish rag last year. Analog face with raised eyebrows emoji. I bought my life-size Speedy Gonzales stuffed animal. This 
thing. This toy was not an appropriate choice to share at school. Thank you. My mother is a school teacher. She had a kid wait in line for his turn. He burst out with, Good morning, boys and girls. I feel sick. Then vomit. In the third grade, a girl brought her mum's kidney stones in a pill bottle. A crack pipe. I talked for a few years and a kid brought in a death note he had made, full of names and the way they would die. And the student had my name in the death note too. How you die? Death by bees. My darling daughter forgot her show and tell item, so she gave a speech about me. She informed everyone that I wore black lacy underwear and that I had been fixed so no more kids. A cyst that had been removed from my aunt that had been preserved in formaldehyde. A durian fruit. Poop that he thought looked like George Washington. By far the most interesting thing I ever received was a mummified foot that a student's father had found in the desert. It showed up on my desk completely unannounced and unmarked. I can't even begin to tell you how jarring it is to open a cardboard box to find a human foot inside. I do have a couple Couple photos of this, but they are a little bit rank, so if you don't want to see, close your eyes in three, two, one. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? You can open your eyes again now. Welcome back. When I was in first grade, I didn't have anything for show and tell, so I said, My dad's in the Navy, which uh, he's never been in any kind of military. So it's pretty much, My dad's in the Navy. Ask me anything, and people ask questions like, Are there bathrooms on the ships? And I just said, <laughs> Don't know. I brought my life-size Speedy Gonzales stuffed animal. A Sprite bottle full of grasshoppers. Big rubber chicken. World War II incendiary bomb. My mum was a teacher. She said that almost every year someone brought in a Ziploc bag of poison ivy. This is still so embarrassing. I, I had nothing to show and tell, so I went up to the front of the class and opened my arms and declared, It's me! I think I got laughed at and was told to sit down. To this day, I'm horrified. I brought my Furby to my private Christian school for show and tell. It started talking during prayer. Oh, my time! Vaseline! A highly venomous stonefish. Some weird lesbian hentai that belonged to my dad. A potato! Mom, you're always trying to give me potatoes. What is it with you? I just think they're neat. I brought my life-size Speedy Gonzales stuffed animal on three separate occasions. The third time, my teacher asked why on earth I needed to bring it over and over again, and I tried to lie and say I'd never brought it in before. When I was six, my teacher would have show or tell. At the end of said presentation, you were supposed to say, I am ready for a compliment. Since I forgot to bring something to show, I told the story on how me and my brother were burning worms with a magnifying glass. When I finished, Yet short story, I said, I'm ready for my compliment. The teacher told everyone not to compliment me, and that was a horrible story. But, by and large, these incidents are, of course, the parents' fault for having these things lying around in the first place. My main takeaway from this thread is that mums need to hide their vibrators better. Minds that a surprising number of households own real human remains. And sniper rifles. And drugs. And bats. So, remarkable advice for any parents watching. If you have any of these things, keep them away from your kids. Now, to the comment section, because I'm ready for a compliment. Hey honey, love you. Days like today make me reflect on how fortunate I am to have you as my granddaughter. I love you too, Grandpa, but what's going on today? Neighbourhood Taco Bell shutting down. We've done cursed texts from Grandmas, so I thought it only fair we should offer Grandpas the same deal. However, when I started searching, I noticed these did have a slightly different energy. All because I said no to bingo last night. Missed call, coward. My aunt gave birth this morning and my Grandpa is obviously very excited. Okay? Good morning, Taylor! It's a nice morning this morning, 65 degrees while I sit here outside having my cup of coffee. And what do you think about aliens? Nana doing yoga? That isn't Nana! You're right, as a lady next to her, sorry. Not the text you want to get from your grandpa! What you up to? Nothing! Our puppy Harley came down with an unknown illness today and is not doing well. He's at the vet. Please pray for him. Oh no! I hope he's okay! Is it bad? Brisket I made today! Happy birthday, paps! Hope you had a great day! I'm sure mammal spoiled you with a delicious cake. Love you. Received. When you try and be nice and text your grandpa. What's up, my pants? Hi, grandpa. I just wanted to know how you're doing. Good. My friends keep dying. Why does my grandpa text like an NPC presenting me with a quest? Miles, my champion. Do you think you'll be going down the road this fine day? If so, what shops do you go near? So, could you get me a new little rodent, please? What's your cell number? You're texting me. I woke up to this text from my grandpa who never uses his phone. 
know. Hollywood. Here's where we were yesterday. Q, are you having fun? No. Meo, yo. So I just got this text from my grandpa of him sitting on Santa's lap. My iPad accidentally returned a phone and looks like the iPhone, but now I cannot get it back. Can, can the iPad if he uses this iPhone? I don't know what this means. Just got this text from my grandpa. December 4th, 2017. Happy birthday. My birthday is May 12th. How many inches is 59 millimeters? Sorry, I thought I was on goggle. Lol. My favorite Christmas present was my 91 year old grandpa's attempt to use the speech to text function on his new iPhone. How was your Christmas? Uh, did you go to Jennifer's? George got a train and nerf gun. I hate this stupid motherfucker. I can't tell you how much I hate it. No, no, no. Call me. Hey, hope you have a good day at the melting pot. I'm using Mimi's phone and I'm talking. So upset. I just saw that. I just saw I said Mimi. It should be me mama, no mama, me mama, no me mom, me mom. Oh, well. Hi, Sean. This is Grandpa. Practicing your sex tape. Uh, cool, main. Practicing your sex tape. Grandpa meant texting, but it, it, it came out as sex tape. Every time I text my grandpa, he replies with this, thinking it's okie dokie. Okay, I'll be over in a few. Okay, donkey. Anyone care to dig this morn in the mutton? Uh, what? My grandpa signs all of his texts. Love GP, so we know it's him. Great job, Hannah. Show what pretend you have. Ethan, sorry to hear about your finger. Love GP. And then usually drops his phone. 609k nanamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamam
Sweet text from Grandma during the holidays. Are you alive or are you the body they found on trail by Slumkirk and Sunbury Road? This week I have the pleasure of exhibiting the results from searching Twitter simply for Grandma text. From sweet innocent mistakes to deliberate trolling. How do you make tuna salad? What? Where buy tuna salad? Grandma, this isn't Google, this is texting. Yeah, mayonnaise. Try to get Grandma to come to the bar. Come to fog cutter, Grandma. Shades emoji. I'm already in bed with my titties nice and comfy and watching Maleficent. Have a great time and have a drink on me or two. I said tootsies, my feet, you're not titties. My grandma tried to text me for the first time. What? Subs, and you go to work sometime? Lol, first text ever from my grandma, and it's this. Start chat. Secret BBC filming reveals how easy it is to buy heroin. Leaves chat. Grandma sent me this text earlier. Help! And I flew out of my room to see what the problem was, and she just wanted me to zip up a suitcase. Was not expecting this text from my grandma this morning. This is a hold up! I want your eyelashes and your golden locks. Why my grandma texts me like she just completed a heist? The job at bank is done. Why does my grandma text me like she's about to break up with me? Hey. Why does this text from my grandma sound like one of those, like, man thoughts trying to get his ex back texts? I'm watching a movie with such a beautiful girl lead. She reminds me so of you. Big beautiful eyes and curvy lips like yours. Woke up this morning with a text from grandma. Magic octopus. If you're into a porn, watch Fifty Shades of Grey. I only watched a little. It's definitely an adult movie. I am grandma. My grandma sent me a text of a duck-shaped cucumber she found. Hi, Nicole. How was your field hockey game last night? Did you win? Popper and I enjoyed watching your game. We'll have to come again. Love you, Mima. Yeah, we won. Nothing to three. Great job. Love you, Mims. Can we just discuss how my grandma messaged me on Facebook? She responded five years later. Five years. That was sixth grade. I was honestly shocked to see my grandma text me a jib jab of me twerking presents into a bag. What in the world? Jib jab lol. So my grandma messaged me on Facebook. You've just been mooned. Now go moon someone else. Do not. Let the mooning stop. Now, why would my grandma text me this, LaMayo? Money's short, times are hard. Here's your fucking Christmas card. Why did my grandma text me this? Are you still up? Yes, lol. Why my grandma text me this? Harry Styles makes a desperate plea as he gets stuck in California. Can you help him? Why did my grandma text me this? Jilly lily illy illy, or... What? Twin Towers. Hope they get to you. It's time for guess what this text from grandma could possibly mean. Thanks. Yeah. One, one, and one. My grandma just got a phone and is attempting to text me. Skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. Hello, Madison. Hello. I, I am tired of this. Hello, Madison. I am tired. A big ass. A big, I don't know. Oh, I am, I'm at, I'm tired of bullshit. Millville zone that is all for whoever of your nails. Hello, what beer? Hello, Madison. This is a text from my grandma. I got home and she said, I didn't say any of those words. Dr. Spence appointment, Mondo and Matt. Who is Jane, motherfucker? Your Dr. Pepper appointment. Yeah, yes. Monday at hello. 215. Miracle. Call me. Heard you got an iPhone. If you need any help with it, don't hesitate to call me. Hope all is well. Love, Leon. Palm. Don't worry, it takes some time to learn how to text. Practice makes perfect. Oklahoma! Hot diggity dog! I just saw a frog! What? Me cooking dinner? Stoned? My grandma accidentally included a wrong number in a group text, lol. Uh, you have the wrong number? What's the right number? Why does my grandma text me things like this? Hey, Els, good news about your job. Can you sort me out a sexy little number for when I meet my toy boy? <laughs> love you. My grandma texts me during graduation. Gotta love her. Where are ya? Go get me some water. So my grandma messaged me on Facebook and said I made their local paper. Tori and Burke's 21 Middletown was fined $200 for speeding. She must perform 20 hours of community service. 11 missed calls. Is Bukaki a restaurant? Locals my age getting married. Me tweeting about anime dilfs. I posted this in Instagram and my grandma messaged me. <gasps> grandma discovered emojis. Be safe driving at night. Look out for fox emojis. We do get foxes running across the road at night. Deer emoji. Well, likewise. Deer love to run across roads. Koala emoji. That's less common. Giraffe emoji. Where does this person live? Gorilla emoji. Llama emoji, rabbit emoji after dark. I don't think my grandma understands the use of emojis. Hello, good morning. How are you doing today? I know you enjoyed at home this weekend. Grandma loves you. Finger! 
hole. Had a seizure in work, so I'm in hospital now and got a CT scan. And my grandma texted me, I thought she'd be all worried. But look what she said. Did they find your brain while you were in there? But we can excuse grandmothers for acting like this when grandchildren aren't exactly much better. Help! I just accidentally texted this to my grandma. I heard you fart. I've been practicing on Sainsbury's site and done a collection, or should I say, a selection of gods, of God's gods. Oh dear. <coughs> Prime example of why grandparents shouldn't voice text. Tomorrow will be fine. Give me a topless Tuesday. Topless Tuesday. Hi, darling. How are you? This moisture's misty. They said tornadoes hit Alabama. I'm just calling to check and make sure you okay. Give me. Text back, just say I'm okay and I'm good. My grandma only uses voice to text and doesn't correct any mistakes it makes. How are you? TV, television emoji, good, good, by fuck. Mmm, quat, baggage claim emoji, quat. We got my grandpa an iPhone for Christmas and talk to text it hasn't been working out for him. Hi, Shara, this is Dad. We're ready whenever you're ready, so I'd leave you else to pick us up at 5.30, so I'll take a little look at Dad Ass. Apparently he was trying to talk about the buffet at the hotel. I find it kind of weird. Mark Dildo pickup truck's been in his mouth the month they're all day, they're all night. I'm all too, I'm never, never gonna give you up, but very white. I look some listening to never. Sorry, are you singing Barry White, lol? Uh, I was. Yeah. Crumb coat, freezer for 15 now. Oh, can't you send me some of that? Shit looks delicious, I know it's going to be. I swear, I did not say that. My grandpa likes to use dictation to send us messages, but his Italian-American Jersey accent really confuses Siri. Here he is trying to explain Royal Caribbean's Coco K to us. We're gonna have a place in the sun when we go on our cruise picture of Coco K. Coco K. Coco Sensor. <laughs> George Crispel. Hey, fuck! Coke, okay. Coke, okay. Fucker, arsehole. When's it gonna spell the right word there? Spelled in. Co, cito, k. Fuck a donkey. Just won't do it. I'll have to type it in. Coco, cat. My grandma calls me Tootsie, but her voice to text thinks it's What'd you think, pussy? This talk to text message I received from my step grandma. Do what you want, awesome girl. There's so much going on around you. I can understand why everything's stressful, but I'm clapping and the flooring for everything you're doing. Have a great weekend. Death. Death was supposed to be a Jess. I'm gonna wear that nickname proudly forever. My grandma's using talk to text. Jason arrives late tonight. Christine and Noel are enjoying Florida and be home on Saturday. Ah, we're bus penises. are always in the air. Our last name is Pinisi. Hello, Autumn. It, look, it does that. It's still listening. Are you still, are you said it's still listening? Why are you still listening? You said still listening. Ah. Oh. You listening? Do you remember the washing machines are right next to the public toilets? What's your sex? Goodbye? What? When grandma tries to voice text. Hi, how are you? Thank you. It just said thank you. Eaten. Uh, I find it just said thank you. And thank you. It just said thank you. I find it just said thank you. And thank you. It just said thank you. I find it just said thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the same to, you know. Hey, Caroline, are you pregnant getting ready for school? Boring shit old. Hi, Ashley. When your grandma tries to post a compliment on your Facebook using voice dictation, watching a commercial. Is the fungus damaged tone out? Gorgeous! Hey mom, mom, it's Emily! Just wanted to say happy birthday and hope you're having a wonderful day. Love you and hope I get to see you soon. Thanks for the good wishes. Hope to see you soon and wish you a happy birthday too on the 29th. Toyota, let's go places. Love, mama. Thank you. Hope you all had a great day today. I love you behind bars for child porn crimes. The TV picked up part of that, sir. Uh, my grandma was trying to do some light internet digging on my brother's girlfriend and her voice to text commands betrayed her. Find Daedra Scott. You all have grandparents that only use talk to text and you have no idea what they're trying to say? Or is it just me? If we're gonna change our daycare plans, woman shrugging emoji, this one's a much shorter walk. Share a hi or I hi hi. Hi, Oz, Wes was sad as the revolving heart's growing heart. As C, Z, as, as, D, D, we, as, Z, E, as, E, A, as, we, sir, as, A, A, seeded seeds, as, says, as, 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 as,
he has sex as was as a was wee wee and when I thought about what 2021 may have had in store for me, never did I think it would include my grandmother sending me a text with the word sex in it twice. My grandma somehow managed to record and send a 10 hour voice message. Is that a real profile picture lol? Yeah, my nan is having fun with Siri, just got this text. I just googled what month herring's in season because I love herring and it came back heroin. I won't get in trouble will I? Oh that's is fine, do you still want to start on Monday? I hate this motherfucker, I can't tell you how much I hate it, no, no, no! I went to Desiree that book today and bought Toby a book called Latter Day OK Asians. It was Latter Day Occasions. Ladies and gentlemen, my great aunt Carol, voice posting on the Easy Recipes Challenge Facebook page. Hashtag Easy Recipes Challenge. E trophy emoji. No one, no, but no, by cook, 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 the lips. Grandma really needs to stop using voice to text. My great grandkids. I think of hams. Along to the right family. Love you guys. Fucking kids. <gasps> My grandma using the voice texting on an iPhone. Face with tears of joy emoji. Face with tears of joy emoji. Face with tears of joy emoji. Okay. Now I'm now. Look at now. Okay. Okay. Now I'm okay. How slow do you have to talk to this stupid thing? Okay. Be home by 11-11. Answer me. Do you understand that? Answer me. Do you understand that? Okay. Hey. Get your ass home. Skull emoji? Joe, hi, hi, what is it doing it? Hi, 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 yeah, what is I can do? I said I can't, hey, I can be, I said I can, hey, I could be as I can, I get this is really P, you spell boobies, P, oh, that is wonderful, I didn't say boobies, I said to you sup, sup, well, I meant give me a pick. We could spend all day judging grandparents' ability to voice text, but kids aren't that magic at it either. Fudge your Hi, Dad, I'm texting back to acting back to me poop. My three-year-old discovered the voice-to-text feature. I am texting back to you now. I am die. Found a voice-to-text note from my seven-year-old in my phone. Okay, okay, Dad says stuff like strength running is very good for you. Can edit your pants and boogie on. You always are good and you are running pants. Boogie, boogie, boo. Hi, Dad. Maybe Mark. Teach the six-year-old to use voice-to-text, they said. He was trying to say that he only likes... America food. I don't even feel my cock. Oh my god. And finally, not just grandparents, not just kids. Voice to text trips everyone up. A text I voice typed to my 12 year old when he was walking home from school. All right, we're walking home now. We'll meet you at home. Okay. Fuck safely. Walk quickly. You won't have a ton of time at home, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Walk safely. Walk safely. Walk. Up to doctors early! My leg gave way on the way there! Smashed my knee! Bloody nightmare! I have so much to do! Feeling silly! Facebook! Do you remember Facebook? Before Discord, of which I have a server, go join it, links in the description. Before Twitter, on which I'm at Rose Matt and not at Matt Rose. You can stop sending at Matt Rose stuff, he's probably very confused. Before TikTok, which I'm not on, but also apparently am, with all my vids re-uploaded there by some stranger named Pizza Floyd of all things. Before all the Facebook ran the world, but now, as we can see from the Reddit old people Facebook, it's more for those of advanced age to chat with friends, sell old knickknacks, and share status updates, with the option to include backgrounds and avatars, although these aren't always used uh, appropriately. I just heard a friend passed away. I have been accused of being a racist at work. Why are enemas so cheap? Applesauce. The worst place to move if you suffer from IBS is Florida, lol. Snoop Dogg's uncle, I need to puke. Today in Boomers on Facebook, Kathy wishes my deceased mother a happy birthday in the most unhinged way imaginable. Happy heavenly birthday, Susan. Tornado sirens are going off. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm so lost right now. Nick, having a stroke. Soccer, who has the balls to walk up to my front door and steal my light bulb out of my porch light? My 96-year-old neighbour posted this and hasn't said anything since. My dinner. <laughs> Two low-flying military helicopters. Hospital food tastes like shit. At lollipops and rainbows preschool. Happy Mother's Day, Amy. Yeah, let's go for a stethoscope background. Sorry, I'm not at lollipops and rainbows. I guess I pushed the wrong button. For SIBO, I have bone loss. No, I want to wish all my family and friends a very happy new year. I love all of you so much. Oh my God bless you and your family and may you bring nothing but good things all year. May God always hold. How do O make onion? Gunshots or what? Get me off here. Cody Tim, how can you accept my friend request when we're already friends? Where's Buck? Where's his phone? Paste. Help. I want Jesus. Do we have a name on the drowning victim? Can I just say at this point, if you don't own one of these already, you've got to pick them up. They're about 20 quid and they're absolutely limitless fun. Scholomoji! Where is my Facebook page? David has found out last night that he has diabetes. Do you want some cake? Seems I've pounding the keys on my laptop so much. Some of them aren't working today. The middle row of sort of a truck are not responding. Wow! Grandma created an avatar on Facebook that does not even look like her. This, my new avatar. Hoorah! I have been hacked. I think I've been hacked. I was hacked. Uh, please don't open. Hey, look who died in an accident, eh? I will not be coming to Barbara's potluck tomorrow. Do not ask why. How come? Loose German Shepherd at Dog Park. Well, the math checks out. As we sat down to dinner last night, we had two men on bikes ring our bell, saying they were German exchange students and can they camp on our lawn? Debbie. Thanks, Debbie. Just watch the Wendy's Fry Kids face savouring food emoji eating fries fries emoji between scooping customers' orders face with raised eyebrows emoji. What the fuck is that? However, never be certain these inappropriate backgrounds are always accidental. My mum posted this on my brother's wall and not sure if accident or god tier shit post. A shit emoji shit emoji shit emoji shit emoji shit emoji shit emoji shit emoji. When grandma follows you on Insta. Hi Austin, first I want to say I love you. I'm worried about you. I thought about saying nothing about your latest photo on Instagram, but I just can't let it go. I was horrified how you portrayed yourself. Grandpa was horrified. Who are you? A gang member? Do we, do we need to be afraid of you? Do we need to be afraid of you and your friends? Should we worry that you will steal from us to buy drugs? OMG Austin, who are you? Your mum would be horrified too. You know she would. Is this the path you have chosen? Eh? The dark side. All of this from this photo's caption. Homies for life. Forgot my mum follows me on Instagram. Flush face, flush face. My daily routine. Wake up, cry, listen to sexy back on loop, punch a hole in the wall and patch it up. Sleep. Oh, Max. My dad commented on my Insta post. Lameo. I thought he got rid of Insta. This ice cream gives me a boner. Hmm. When you realise your aunt follows you on Instagram. Red lipstick makes me look like a trashy hoe. But black lipstick makes me look like a trashy hoe. Oh, well. I mean, not that. I mean, um, I love love God. I forgot my grandma follows my IG. In the Bible it says I don't care if I don't care. I've never cared and I never will. Have a good day and please leave me alone. That's not what the Bible says. What Bible are you reading from? So I accidentally put this on my main IG story and forgot my mum followed me. Margaret Thatcher was dead. What the fuck? I drew some lesbians and this is what my aunt replied to my story. Big to Jewers. Would it where is Jewark to Jewage? No. Sisters. I uploaded an Instagram story of Drake and my grandma, who I didn't even know had an Insta, replied, Does he do flaws? Insomniac Bay. It combines the femininity of lace and sheer stockings with the anxiety and restlessness of an insomniac knight. Use of mud to bring in the both calming and chaos of nature on a rejected bed. A wood stick dripping with beads like a baby mobile. Wine stained cigarette fire burns drip pink candle wax cover the messily cut fabric insomniac bed are you okay pov it's my funeral but someone says wow there are so many femboys in maid outfits here what is a femboy vape is life oh goodness are you vaping no 
Ma? I still can't believe my dad commented on my Instagram pic. Sparkling heart emoji, sparkling heart emoji, sparkling heart emoji, sparkling heart emoji. No, wait, sorry, no, that's not right. No, your dad's comments down here. No smoking in the car I paid for. Forgot I had my mum on Insta. Do I need this set? No, you fucking don't. Forgot that my mum follows me on Instagram. Do you have green hair? Oh, forgot my dad follows my main Instagram. Alex G is making my life miserable. Oh, okay, okay. Who is Alex G? Run. My uncle just commented on my Instagram post from a month ago. I have seven dollars to my name. In other news, I'm socially drained and missing someone I haven't met yet. Also, inexplicably burnt out with creative stuff until my audio interface gets here. Ish sound just so you literally have a whole essay about your life and he just this is how he replied to that. <laughs> Cat skateboarder. Actual screenshots of my grandma commenting on my Instagram stories. Live now. I posted on my story, morning, losers, and my mum replied, why are you like this in the morning? It's not good, you know. Posted this on my story, murder this pussy, and totally forgot my grandma follows me. Which celebrity would you want to sing you a happy birthday? Michael B. Jordan can sing happy birthday with his lips pressed up on dis ass. Sorry! Oh, uh... Mum, I know you look at my Instagram, but when I said Michael B. Jordan can sing happy birthday to my ass, I meant like I, I got a pet donkey and, and he can sing to that. Not, not my literal ass. <laughs> I'm a good, wholesome Christian woman. Posted this in my Insta story. Will it drill? Slim Jim versus Cheese Edition. And my dad called to check on me. Posted this on Instagram. What if your mum is just a construct? And my actual mum replied. What? Posted this on my Instagram story. My kink is when people care about my feelings and what I have to say. Unrealistic. Set for bondage like the rest of us. And my nan liked it. My mum replied to my gram story and I honestly question her thought process sometimes. Look at that look. Dog in a car. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, who's a good boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love it, doggy style. Posted this on my Insta story. And my aunt replied and misspelled creepiness pleading face emoji. I can feel the creaminess from here. I posted a photo on Instagram and I was wearing ripped jeans and my grandma commented, Pretty Julian, please repair your pants. My grandma just replied to my story. Scott emoji, Scott emoji, Scott emoji. Who, uh, who's this? Hmm? Him, your boyfriend? I don't need a foolish guy. Okay. Lamar, I be forgetting my grandma follows me on Instagram. Grandma, do you like? Do not like. Posted this picture on Instagram and this is what my grandma replied. Oh, I, I don't know what the fuck happened to me, but I need to look like this again. <laughs> Lift weights? Popped your ass. I need to get out of Texas. Loudly crying face emoji. You see, Nana? No, no, I'm not, I'm not actually in Texas. Uh, th that's a meme. Oh, forgot that my mum follows me on Instagram. Feel like pure shit. Shit, just want Josh Klinghoffer to be my sugar daddy. <gasps> oh, Limit Jack Dick such, such bud. Obsessed with my dad reacting to my Instagram story about Paris Hilton's cocaine bag with Yeah, very yeah. The difference between my mum and dad commenting on my Insta story. I may be stupid. One hundred. My mum leaving an accidental hate comment on my Instagram referring to the weather and second half of my caption. Let's talk about my hair and how is it turtleneck weather in August? Yeah, it's rubbish. I forgot my fucking grandma follows me on Instagram. Skull emoji. Skull emoji. I was really shocked to see you use the F word on Instagram. Huh? Where'd I use it? I don't remember doing that. On Instagram yesterday, it was a caption across a photo of you dressed as Hefner and another girl. Big letters said, Fuck your bitch, I'm Hefner. I saw it twice. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about that. It's song lyrics. Well, obviously, and I called your dad about it. Oh, hard work, ain't it? But Let's not forget your parents and grandparents, not necessarily all angels. Can we talk about the accounts my step-grandma follows on Instagram? Cheech and Chong and Weed Humor. Yo, my grandpa a savage lol. Just found out he's on Instagram. He follows uh, two people. Instagram, yeah, okay. And Victoria's Secret. These are the only three people my mum follows on Instagram. Uh, me, her friend from work, and Shamar Moore. I am so amused looking through the people my dad follows 
on IG. Official country babes. Sorry. Official country babes. Hottest babes all day. Country girl paradise. Shania Twain. And the DIY network. Here's an old tweet I did about my friend Luke. Luke Hiltone once tried asking for a foot-long meatball at Subway. Instead, looked the server in the eye and said, I want a football, please. This tweet is four and a half years old and somehow still picking up likes. So I thought, let's look at some more of Twitter's accidental portmanteaus, aka results from searching tried to say and at the same time. On my Christmas walk with my dog, past someone in the street, tried to say morning, hiya and Merry Christmas all at the same time and ended up just blurting out, Moira! Just tried to say it's not your fault and it's all right to a customer at the same time and accidentally said it's all your fault. Last night I misdialed a number, tried to say I'm sorry and my bad at the same time, ended up telling a stranger that I'm bad. Tried to say ballet and nutcracker at the same time, ended up telling my mum I was watching a live stream of the buttcracker. Tried to say enjoy the movie and enjoy the film at the same time and wound up saying enjoy the milf. Tried to say no problem and my bad at the same time to a customer and I ended up saying no bad, no bad. And she looked at me like a caveman. Thinking of that time at work, a customer came in and I tried to say, how are you and what can I do for you at the same time and ended up gently whispering, what are you? To a now frightened elderly woman. Just tried to say Pepsi and Coke at the same time to the waiter and asked for a poke. Three uh emojis. Just tried to say hi and how are you at the same time and kind of said, oh. I was carrying some recycling to the garage and my grandmother asked me if I needed a bag. I tried to say I'm good and I've got it at the same time and accidentally said I'm God. I just tried to say sleep well and sweet dreams at the same time and I ended up saying a swip whip. Was talking to a cute receptionist and tried to say sweet and awesome at the same time. Ended up just saying sauce. Tried to say screaming and crying at the same time and audibly said creaming. Customer just asked if she could take a leaflet. Tried to say go for it and do at the same time. Shouted go at her and she just smiled smiled and left. I says jab. I just tried to say fuck yeah and rock on at the same time and it came out as fuck on. Managed to ask a guest, would you like your bread slut? When I tried to say sliced and cut at the same time. Bus driver said howdy. I tried to say howdy and thanks at the same time and I looked her dead in the eye and said throat. Today I tried to say that's no problem and not a bother to a customer at the same time when he asked for a receipt and came out with uh, that's a problem. Tried to say hot cocoa and hot chocolate at the same time and ended up saying hot cocoa. It. Today, a girl I know I've seen before said hey, and I nervously tried to say hey and what's up at the same time, but said yes, yes, ups. Just tried to say you're very welcome and you're welcome at the same time to a customer and ended up saying you're welcome. Like some kind of weird vampire waiter. In other news, I tried to say fingers fucking crossed and Jesus Christ at the same time and came out with fingers fucking Christ. School emoji. If you ever feel bad about yourself, then just remember that at work the other day, this woman told me, oh, I love coffee and I tried to say I'm addicted and I'm an addict at the same time and I ended up just saying I'm a dick. Tried to say take it easy and peace out at the same time to a co-worker but shouted take it out. My hairdresser asked me to come over to the sink and I tried to say okay thanks and no worries at the same time and said uh, no thanks. No. I just tried to say pussy and party pooper at the same time so I just called my dad a pussy pooper. Just tried to say you're welcome and you bet at the same time and ended up telling my mum you're wet. I actually tried to say King Kong and Donkey Kong at the same time and said kinky dong please end me. I just tried to say right and yeah at the same time and I ended up sounding like a baby dinosaur. Yeah. Woman at work just told me that her nephew passed away and my brain tried to say that's terrible and that's horrific at the same time and I said well, that's terrific. In our faculty meeting yesterday our principal tried to say quick and brief at the same time and said queef in front of all 100 plus teachers. Just remembered the last time I got my hair done my hairdresser asked me if I had the flu and I tried to say no it's hay fever it's a pollen allergy at the same time and actually ended up saying have you got the flu? No no I'm um, I'm Polynesian. While on the phone with a customer once I tried to say ma'am and calm down at the same time and ended up saying mum down. Today at work I nearly fell and I tried to say I almost ate shit and I almost busted ass at the same time and ended up loudly proclaiming I almost ate ass in front of several of my employees. Also Merry Christmas everyone. The other day I tried to say perfect and awesome at the same time I ended up shouting possum at the car salesman. I just tried to say have a good weekend and have a good day at the same time and I accidentally screamed have a good dick end at an elderly woman. Just tried to say shot and drink at the same time and it came out 
I need a shrink. I think the funniest story ever to me is still that person who knocked someone to the ground while playing soccer and tried to say, I'm so fucking sorry, and are you okay at the same time, and accidentally just shouted, are you fucking sorry? I tried to say clutch and lit at the same time. Guess what came out of my mouth? And finally, I didn't find this tweet directly, and I actually think it's since been deleted, but uh, it is good. One time I went to hand someone a bowl of hot soup, and my brain tried to say, careful it's hot, and here's your soup. So instead, I blurted out, Careful, it's soup. OG fans may remember I started this journey on Yahoo Answers. Then that shut down, so I started messing around on Omegle Spy Mode, then that shut down, so nowadays I mainly use Twitter. Which, thanks to Mr. Musk, everyone's leaving now to go join some mammoth app or something. Before it's gone for good, I thought I'd revisit one of my more popular Twitter video ideas, with some of your YouTube comments from that video thrown in too. Someone, very important, at work, walked past my desk and smiled. I I tried to say morning and hi at the same time. I said horny! Tried to say wipe the floor with you and kick your ass at the same time and ended up just telling someone I'd wipe your ass. In chemistry, I had to get past some people and I tried to say can I get past and can I squeeze past at the same time and said uh, can I get squeezed? In a meeting with my boss and tried to say both I'm sorry and I apologise at the same time and it came out I'm Paul. Someone just tried to scoot past me in the store and I tried to say sorry and no problem at the same time so my my response was oh, nosy. There was a yellow crescent shape on my friend's lunchbox, and when I saw it, I immediately thought it was a banana, but immediately realised it was actually a moon. I ended up yelling "Esra Banoon" in the middle of my school canteen. I just tried to say "love you" and "bye" on the phone at the same time, and it came out as "lie." Today, I tried to say "great" and "cool" at the same time, and ended up saying "cruel" to a coworker who was letting me know she was taking a break. The other day, I tried to say to a customer, "It's all right." and you're all set and ended up just saying you you're all right i dropped my wallet at starbucks and a woman picked it up and asked if it was mine and i tried to say yes and thanks at the same time and all that came out was yeet just tried to say bye and tara at the same time and it ended up coming out as bara that's bread and welsh once tried to say pleasure to be here and pleasure to meet you at the same time in an interview and ended up telling the interviewer pleasure to beat you skull emoji this girl accidentally bumped into me and my squirrel brain tried to say you're fine and no problem at the same time so it came out as your problem could you suck sock with jizz jizz and no why has the devil possessed me today i tried to say good girl and good job at the same time and accidentally yelled at my student good god izzy was driving and we were almost past our turn off so i tried to say quick and fast at the same time and i ended up screaming Wah! which ended up with him judging me very hard and missing the turn. I worked at the movie theatre and the customers had to pick their seats on a screen. One time I tried to say it's not a touch screen and you have to tell me at the same time and I said well, you have to touch me. I once tried to order a pink cake pop at Starbucks and ended up asking for a kink cake cop. My brain just tried to say ladybirds and jelly babies at the same time and I ended up saying jelly birds and lady babies. I was trying to scream pancakes but meant waffles and screamed pavawaffles full of can cake. Don't worry, today I tried to say both COVID and coronavirus at the same time and it came out as <laughs> God, sudden visceral memory of comforting a friend a couple weeks ago by video chat and I tried to say I'm so sorry and that's so hard at the same time and what came out was I'm so hard. I tried to say sweet and dope at the same time while ordering coffee. Turns out it's kind of unnerving when you look another human in the eye and say soap without context. For mine me of a time I wanted to say bless you and are you okay to someone who had just sneezed and ended up saying are you you? Help! I just accidentally tried to say bagel chip and garlic chip at the same time and it came out gargle shit. Once I tried to kiss my dad and say goodnight to him at the same time I just blew air at his head. Some guy said nice to see you and my brain tried to say fuck yeah and you too at the same time and I just said oh fuck you. I'm done fucking trying. My brother was at Tesco. The cashier asked would you like a bag? He tried to say I'm good and I'm okay at once and accidentally said no nah, I'm, uh, I'm gay. Rufflesburg just tried to say slathered and smothered at the same time so what came out was slut mothered. I can never return to work. A co-worker bumped into me and said excuse me I tried to say no problem and no worries at the same time. Misfired looked at him and said no and just 
walked away. I once, after winning in a card game, tried to say, read him and weep, and take a look at these at the same time as I threw down my cards, and ended up just saying, look at the wheat. Tried to say bathroom and restroom at the same time, and it came out, oh, best room. I once tried to say piece of shit and asshole at the same time, and ended up calling my father a, a piece of ass. Still think about the time I was on a date, and she asked could she taste my food, and I tried to say, go ahead and fire away both at the same time, and ended up saying, saying, go away! And lastly, one here for Will Bill, whom if you don't know is a YouTuber who compiles me saying a very certain meat. Oh dear god, this brings back the memory of me trying to say, have a nice day ma'am, instead I ended up yelling at a customer in a bookshop, have a ham! My dog Scooby tried running at a poor girl walking towards me at night. I tried to shout Scooby and come at the same time and ended up screaming SCUM while I ran with my walking stick in the poor girl's direction. Originating from when my friend Luke asked for a football in Subway, we've run three videos now on accidentally mushing words together across both Twitter and Reddit and I thought I would shine a spotlight exclusively upon your comments from those videos. I splashed a citrus based drink into my eye and my co-worker said my bad sorry. I tried to tell him not your fault and no worries just said not bad as I clutched my eye in pain saying are you okay and are you done at the same time and saying are you donk here like Shrek. My friend's mum asked me what fast food place I'd prefer. I tried to say I don't care and it doesn't matter at the same time. Accidentally told her that I don't matter mood. I once tried to thank my co-worker who kindly made some coffee for me by saying oh, thanks you're a sweetheart and bless at the same time. I ended up saying thanks, do you know you're a Swiss? Once at my waitering job I tried to say bon appetit and here you go while giving a family their food. Ended up saying hepatitis. I tried to say my tongue isn't working and I'm tripping over my words at the same time and what actually came out was my tongue is twerking. One time my friend said that their mum was in the hospital. I tried to say oh I'm sorry and is she okay and just said Oh, well, I'm okay, so. Hyping myself up about life. I was trying to say I am unstoppable and I can't be fucked with, but I ended up saying I am unfuckable. I once talked to my friend and we talked about our favourite animals. My peanut brain tried to say I love ducks and seals too at the same time. It came out as my name's Ellen Sugar. I host The Apprentice and I, I love deals. My brother tried to say close your mouth and be quiet and all that ended coming out was be closed. I was with my friend and I slapped a fly off her leg and I tried to say well there was a fly and well, there was one on your leg and I yelled it's a leg. I once hit someone with my swinging lunchbox and I tried to say oh, sorry and oops at the same time and then ended up shouting at some random student soup. Once my mum tried to say take care and good night, remember to take the money with you at the same time to the pizza guy and ended up saying take the night with you. I used to work in a cafe shop. I meant to say hi, morning ma'am and are you hungry? I ended up saying horny slag. Whenever I get reminded of that I just want to end my bloodline. I just ash ass to jazz up. My mum was ordering food and instead of saying chicken nuggets she said can I order some chuggets? When I was 10 I tried to say sorry and of course at the same time but then ended up whispering s s s s s to a random tall guy at a water park. When I was in the third or fourth grade I tried to ask my teacher can I use the bathroom and can I use the washroom at the same time and I ended up screaming can I use the bathroom? I'm 26 now and that still haunts me. Recently I was at work and it was pretty quiet so a female customer and I had a chat for a good 30 minutes. Uh, being socially awkward I'd already planned to end with it was nice to chat with you too if, if necessary. Necessary? Nisa curry? An accessory? Pretty much once the conversation started. However she threw a spanner in the works when she said it was lovely to meet you and my response was oh I love you too. One day my mum hiccuped and yawned at the same time and she sounded like she was having a heart attack. Obviously I'm gonna how am I gonna do this? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I was in a crowd and heard someone say Prime is so amazing so I tried to say no it's bad but because of my author vocabulary I also tried to say no it's horrible so I ended up just shouting no it's <laughs> Oh yeah just that place Thank you You tried this before? Hmm? Have you tried this before? Yeah, yeah. Is it good? I don't know.
I've heard it's a bit. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I once tried to say no problem and no worries to someone thanking me for giving them directions. I ended up saying no prairie and confidently walked away. Are you enjoying the job? Are you enjoying work? Are you enjoying the jerk? My brain is melting and my mind is breaking down. My mane is having a breakdown. Fasten your seatbelt and buckle up. Buckle up. I bawled my eyes out and I cried. I cried my balls out. Loudly crying face emoji. Loudly crying face emoji. Try to tell my mum that a girl was giving me sass and attitude. Oh, oh no. What did you say? Satitude. Ended up saying she was giving me ass. Once after I grew my hair out, my sister wanted to say, so how's the long hair life going? It came out as how go hair long the life going the long hair going treat the long hair etc for about a minute. Once I tried to say squish and squeeze at the same time and said a squish. Harry Dorby. Squish is my new favourite word. Recently this Halloween my mum tried to say Brussela Gordis, a Swedish for trick or treat and instead ended up saying a Goss Ella Budis. That is Swedish for what do you want? Cuddling or cuddling. Throwback to when I wanted to say oh I love succulent plants and I own a lot of succulents. It came out. Oh I own a love pants. A love pants. I tried to ask for a white coffee with cold milk and ended up asking for coffee with uh, white milk. I once tried saying sit down and share at the same time to two children and my dumb ass said oh shit. Eh? Uh, or oh, skull emoji. Was trying to answer a question in high school chemistry class but couldn't decide between choice B or choice C and just ended up letting out a loud strangled bees. One time when I was in art club after school a classmate tried to say oh that's nice and that's lovely, but ended up telling me that's lies. Went out with my roommate today. I asked her if she had a phone charger with her. She was trying to say, well, yeah, it's in my purse, and yeah, I've got it, I've got it on me, and ended up saying, yes, it's in me. I tried to tell my co-worker to chill out and calm yourself, but ended up saying, go chill yourself. And then he misheard it. Fuck my life. I thought I'd end, or somewhat conceitedly, with a compliment from Christoph Kemp 6400. Me and my brother love your videos, and I like to keep him informed of when you post a new video. One time I went to tell him, new Matt Rose video, but instead of saying Matt Rose, I said Rat Moses. When I was six, I saw my cousin playing The Sims 2 at a family thing, and I wanted to make my cats on it, so she let me play around with it. I made a cute couple, but accidentally made them woohoo, and since I was six and always told that sex was bad, I freaked out and shut the laptop. Luckily, it was time for lunch, so I just left it and ate. When I came back a few hours later, the mum was dead, there was a toddler crying in a puddle in front of an artie, so every breakable thing was broken, and the dad was just relaxing on his front lawn wearing a llama costume. I never played it again. The Sims, the fun life simulator game where you can do whatever you want. People have even made me. And you know, I thought I used to be evil and edgy as a kid, making Sims torch their houses with fireworks, until I compared that to some of the confessions on Reddit. Well, I I'll warn you now, these are worse. I made a guy with the neurotic and neat traits. I put him in a fence in the middle of the kitchen with a lawn sprinkler going. He would frantically mop up the water every time the sprinkler splashed the floor. Eventually, began passing out and pissing himself. I left him in there until he mopped himself to death. I was starving my sim and he sneakily called up for a pizza. When it was delivered I made him throw it in the garbage. Then he cried. My daughter has developed her evil side nicely with the game. Her favourite was to set up a zoo of sims all locked into their own rooms with full windows so visitors could watch. Analog disapproving face emoji. I burned the house down while attempting to make two of them have gay sex. I managed to get two of them to kiss and fall in love but in the the background, the mother is just screaming, and I'm like, oh shit, is she homophobic? After changing the camera angle, I find out, oh no, 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 the house is on fire. I was always too lazy to actually build my own home from scratch, and so whenever I started a new file, my immediate goal was to move into the nicest house already on the map. I had an affair with the lady of the house, convinced her to divorce her husband, married her, moved into the house, knocked her up for good measure, divorced her, and kicked her out of the house. Can't you just go to Townview, evict 
the family living there and then move in. Where's the fun in that? I impregnated my girlfriend's daughter, married my girlfriend and technically had a child with my stepdaughter. You're still talking about the Sims, right? I made my Sims sleep with all the women in the neighbourhood and abandoned the bastard children to be raised by the mother's families. Here is the uh, family tree. Was obviously a bit gay. You didn't realise this at the time, but my Sims games should have been a dead giveaway. Lesbians everywhere. All lesbians, lesbians with kids, best friends living together, super hot female celebrities woohooing it up by the water slide. Entire town was a veritable lesbian paradise. Except for one guy. Imagine this, you're a perfectly attractive young man who moves to the centre of Clungeville, but because your malevolent sapphic creator is working out her issues, all pussy is off limits. I'm sorry, Greg. Once made a normal sim and went about his natural life, except he always hated this one other sim. They loathed each other with a passion. So I tracked down his granddaughter, convinced her to move in along with his nemesis, and trapped him in a small room next to their bedroom. I put up a full wall mirror to simulate a one-way mirror and my sim spent the rest of his life making woohoo with his enemy's granddaughter while he watched from the next room. JESUS! Made a cult! I made a handsome sim and had him steal several women who were locked in an underground facility. He would talk and have little dates to see which one he liked the most. The others were executed by electrocution. My brother made a breeding complex in The Sims 2 using restroom doors reverse to cull males and female children into chambers. Males were led to a pool without a ladder, and females were cycled back to the breeding chamber. I was at firefighter training for 18 weeks and came back to that. This sim robbed my sim's house, so I got my sim to befriend him, make him fall in love, cheat on his wife and family, and ditch them to marry my sim. Then I invited his mother and father and ex-wife and his kids to my place for a barbecue. I ended up burning him and all his family and ex-wife in a room filled with carpets and fireplaces. No doors or windows, my sim sat on a mezzanine, looking down into the carnage below. Don't rob my sim's house! I recently found out you can kill old sims by overexertion in The Sims 4. My sim's going around town fucking all the old people to death, and once death shows up, she proceeds to make friends with him. I'm counting up graves until my sim can bang death. I managed to get a uh, heat of the moment kiss in on him. One time I killed a sim by drowning, then I made everyone show up to his funeral in swimwear. I put the phone too close to the stove. When it caught fire, they tried to call 911, but just burned to death reaching for the phone. I'd host a fake realty show with my sims called Who Dies First? Four sims on an empty lot, starve them to death, Winnie would get a house. You watch, give it a year, Netflix will have that. When I have no simoleons left, I'd invite neighbours to a party, trap them, let them die and sell their urns so I could buy pizza. Oh no. Sims 1 Deluxe, I'd at least like 200 graves. I had the largest lot in the game and filled every space with a tomb except for the swimming pool used to kill them. I was 10. Yeah, my friend and I did something similar to this, but we made a lone man, a groundskeeper of the town graveyard. Every night, six to 12 ghosts would torment the man in his little shack. It went on for about four weeks, then one day went to bed and slept for five days. Please, look at my creation. It's my sim mausoleum. Right, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, fine. Yeah. At E3, the first year it was shown, I went on the demo unit and killed off all the sims. Right afterwards, a camera crew came to record a segment on the game and the PR person freaked out because they didn't know what to do about the dead sims. PR person. And here we have the, oh my god. God, they're all dead! I used to work on the game. While developing the Sims 1 expansion pack, Making Magic, we discovered that cars had always been flagged as flammable, but never caught fire because of the natural firebreak of the sidewalks. We found this out when someone's misbehaving baby dragon walked out into traffic, torched the school bus, and all the neighbourhood kids stumbled off the bus in flames. I admit to testing this a few times after it was discovered, but before it was fixed. I had a normal suburban family. Nice house, two kids, the works. Except they also had a secret child they kept locked in a room in the basement with nothing but a sink. They only ever visited him to bring him a plate of old terrible food once in a while and to taunt him.
Bloody has a bit much even for me. I briefly fell asleep while playing, and when I awoke, child protection services had taken the child away like the parents were gaming. I remember reading somewhere that someone let child protective services take their child because it was ugly. Oh, you're thinking of this post. I had two very attractive sims, and they had a baby, but the kid was hideous, so I had it taken away. Then they had a daughter, and she was beautiful, but once she started school, she brought a friend home. It was the first kid. They say GTA is a bad game, desensitising us all. Just look at this. I trapped a little girl in a room full of gnomes and she slowly starved in a puddle of piss. I added her to my collection of graves. In the first Sims, I discovered making gnomes and selling them, or gnoming as I called it, was more profitable than having a career. So I built a sweatshop in the back of my house and had six employees making gnomes almost non-stop. There was happy music playing to keep their spirits up and they ran out of sleep to make sure they continued making gnomes. There were no doors to this room. My sim then lived in luxury. Well, this reminds me of the famous paint goblin strategy, where you make a green-skinned sim, lock them underground, make them endlessly paint, and sell their work for big money. My family always ends up feeling blessed because of their fortune, and they never find out about the horrible secret living beneath their home, but I prefer this. With my starting money, I was able to build a workroom and a separate bedroom for the slave master. A close-up of my work area. Looks like my previous job. Uh, this is where I forced the slaves to write books and screenplays to publish. So each morning I would collect a large sum of royalties. Oh yeah, I made them all wear hot dog suits. One of my slaves, a mopen, somehow died within 20 minutes. He was let off easy, I guess. I accidentally locked in my maid when she came to clean up all the crap these hot dogs have been making. She uh, started going crazy and took her clothes off. This is what a pregnant hot dog looks like. This kid will never go to school. He will work for me until death. I would train my son to be a good enough painter to do screenshot paintings. I then forced him to paint me naked or having sex with his mother stroke other women. I hung the paintings everywhere. I had a sim befriend neighbours, take them down to his basement, build a chain link fence cell around them, and then he would take photos of them sobbing. He then sold those to other sims, including to people related to the kidnapped ones, at his private art gallery. The fact that we're separated by the internet makes me feel safe. I drowned one of my sims in a pool while her mother stood at the side and took pictures, then I put all of the pictures on the wall of her bedroom and kept making the mother Look at them. Hey. I used to make a huge maze to the toilet and fill the walls with art. They'd start walking towards the toilet, stop, and look at the art like, wow, well, this is cool. They'd start walking to the toilet, piss themselves, and cry, and then stop and look at the art like, oh, wow, well, th th this is pretty good too. Again, reminds me of this creation. The carpool will arrive in one hour. Sim takes seven hours to reach street, running. Sim passes out twice, pisses himself once along the way, finishes last hour of shift, heads home, walks the whole way back as around a 14 hour trip, walks through the front door, the carpool will arrive in one hour. I once created a sim named the God of Rock. I dressed him up like Zeus and put him in an opulently decorated labyrinthine mansion with the only item in it being a guitar at the centre. I made him play every hour of every day until he'd pass out. I don't remember how it ended but I swear to god I heard him play a lick from Stairway to Heaven once. My sim was the Emperor of evil and therefore made enemies just by being near people regularly. Uh, this was The Sims 3, so I bought him the legendary host aspiration reward, which meant that every time he threw a party, one, all invited guests would show up, two, they would always have a great time. Every week he'd invite the person he liked least and their entire family to a party, and they'd ring the doorbell and come into the giant party hall, which was packed with elaborate rugs and plants, and also lined with fireplaces. Then I turned on the classical music from the speakers and watched as all the guests panicked as they, their family, burned to death in the hall. Any survivors who managed to get out had to tell their host how great the party was before they could go, and they also had to show up again when he invited them the next week. I imprisoned a Sam in a personal basement with everything he hated. He didn't like to look at himself instead of walls he had mirrors. He hated animals, I put a bunch of dogs in his room. He hated art, I made him constantly paint and, and sculpt, I felt like a horrible monster, but... Yeah. 
I enjoy it. I locked a guy on a one by one square, then kept building it forward, and as he walked, I would delete the walls behind him and keep building, so he kept walking in circles, going nowhere. I used to love making my sim go to work in nothing but his speedos. Made a vegetarian sim, would only cook burgers for him. Locking a 12 year old girl in a windowless room with a traveling rodeo clown. Starve him to death, electrocute them, drown them, watch them burn in a fire. <laughs> Send their kid to military school. Um. I put a jukebox on a platform and set it to country out of his reach. I killed my teenage son because he had really small arms. In Sims 2, there was a slider glitch in the creator, so I made a few families of grotesque Sims. And it's true, whether by bug or design, there are some truly disturbing things to be made in The Sims. Cheeks that were five feet wide, eyes three feet tall, etc. My sister had some Sims in the same neighborhood, more specifically her, her three friends, and their four crushes all in the same house. She got pissed that my fucked up sims would come over to say hi when she was playing. After that, I made an effort to have my sims infiltrate her and her friend's bloodlines. I slowly developed relationships between the families and eventually started a new generation. My sister's reaction to her sims new romance and bastard children was priceless. The children all had cheeks three feet wide and either super large or tiny eyes. Ten out of 10 would relive that moment again. My sister went on my account and drowned my whole family in the pool. I didn't let them sleep, forced them to swim till they died. I was like six. Every time I bring it up today, she laughs maniacally. She's a lawyer. At work, we had a boss nobody could stand. He was mean spirited, argumentative, uh, just a, 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 ge a general pain in the ass. I went to a party and the host was messing around with the Sims and we decided to make a Sim of the boss and torture him in Sim ways and making him pay himself lock him in a room till he goes crazy. I was eventually setting him on fire. It was very cathartic and we were having a good laugh until one of our co-workers burst into tears because she was dating him and uh, we just burned Jim in virtual effigy. Oops, tell me about it. My dad and brother saw me burn one old lady in a death room over a decade ago and I still bring it up to this day. So, Canal, what's the worst thing you've done in The Sims? I want to set up a sim to have my exact life. The sim spent all the time crying analog confused face emoji. I stopped playing after that. Nice cat of the week, Sabrina. Such a sweet, easy cat to love. She enjoys roaming around and does great on a leash. Naps are her favourite activity. Naughty cat of the week, Elliot begs for pets with meows and head boops. Then once you go in, he slaps you with his giant paws. I was not prepared for how big Elliot's feet are. Who had the extra large order of beans? That was the sound of a real slap, by the way. You know I do things properly on this channel. This is from the Instagram of Incredible Cat Sanctuary, Heaven on Earth, at Perry's underscore place underscore LA, which is getting a lot of attention for its nice and naughty Cats of the Week posts. Just a bit of fun, of course, however, I was surprised and delighted to see the huge amount of comments championing the naughty ones, or spicy kitties, for their various misdeeds. Now, every human moral principle dictates we should always favour the nice cats. But sometimes lunatics are more fun. Nice Cat of the Week, Cosette, who is the cute his little striped nose. Cosette does. Naughty cat of the week, Zinny. You can't even see another cat without throwing a tantrum. If I was a cat, I'd be Zinny. Same, Zinny, same. Zinny, like, Alexa, play. I'm the problem, it's me. Lamao. Nice cat of the week. Valentine has been the sweetest girl waiting at the door for pets and letting our caretaking team give her meds. Naughty cat of the week, Fraser. Hugged a staff member a little too sharply. Well, Fraser's just showing his love language is aggressive cuddles. Fraser's gonna give you love if that's what you want. Fraser, never let him tell you how to love. Nice cat of the week, Elijah's opened up and showed the staff how much he loves belly rubs. Naughty cat of the week, Popsicle. Stole treats from Daniel, his blind roommate. Popsicle reminds me of this old Austrian guy I know of. But even with that said, other comments. Popsicle, lol. I like Popsicle. Popsicle needs a plaque. Popsicle's a whole vibe sign of the horns emoji. Nice cat of the week, Quinoa has really come out of her shell and no longer hides when visitors come to the room and even welcomes treats. 
and some pets. Naughty cat of the week, Felix. He knows what he did. Felix so bad, he's good. Kind of love Felix. Stop, Felix is gatekeeping. Nice cat of the week, Indus after breakfast. Naughty cat of the week, Indus before breakfast. Uh, I get it. Nice cat of the week, it's just kittens, just all of them. Every single kitten, angel, baby, cutie pie, adorable fluff balls, pure goodness, and they've never done anything wrong in their lives. Naughty cat of the week, is barnacle. Apparently a barnacle likes his beds defluffed. But don't worry, he take care of that on his own. Printed out neutral face emoji. Oh, barnacle. Oh, barnacle. Oh, barnacle. Nice cat of the week, Mr. Friendly. His name says it all. Naughty cat of the week, mini me. Decided to bolt down the hall and then hide behind a trash can just for funsies. Mini me's only quasi naughty, if anything just misunderstood. As sometimes we all want to run out and hide behind a trash can. His only crime was playing hide and seek. Yeah, you, you go, mini me. Nice cat of the week, George. Uh, politely asks for more pets by reaching out her paw. Naughty cat of the week's Tom. Wanted to be the only male in the room, so he beat up his roommate to keep the girls to himself. Pimpin' Tom, lol. Shades emoji. Tom has that dog in him. Tom the Rizzler. Tom, you sly man. Tom definitely fucks. Nice cat of the week's Gadget, who will let you hold him like a baby. Naughty cat of the week's Pork Chop. The newest kitty behaviour boot camp member, Master Wayne. Who? Just want to watch the world burn. Pork chop knows what's up. I'm with pork chop. Burn the world and eat it. Viva la pork chop! Nice cat of the week's Milo. A perfectly, very good, tiny prince that has been co-parented and bottle fed by our staff. Their review, Milo is the sweetest baby ever. No flaws. Perfection. Angel on earth. I mean, that is ridiculous, to be fair. Naughty cat of the week, Clover. She's perfected that you're maybe using that a bit too much now. The puss in boot size. But it's only an elaborate ploy to lure you before she attacks. Ah, oh, come on. Clover looks so innocent, I'd go as far as being a guarantor for a high interest loan. Nice cat of the week, our oh, Sabrina again, the sweetest gal who's been very patiently looking for a new foster home. Naughty cat of the week, Charlie. Charlie is the resident badass and frankly just wants you to know it. Ah, oh, my girl did nothing wrong. And if you can't trust Mr. Monster Energy Drinker, who can you trust? Nice cat of the week, Ray, the affection queen. She's still sweet despite recovering Covering from surgery. Naughty cat of the week. Ray again. Eight with too much string and had to have emergency surgery. Well, why do you guys have such delicious string hanging around? God forbid a woman have hobbies like eating string. Nice cat of the week. Luna gives little love licks when you hold him petter. Naughty cat of the week. Betty became extra spicy after her space surgery and bit her foster mum after not seeing her for a week. Well, hold on a moment. I mean, people do crazy things on drugs. Have you not seen the Wisdom Teeth videos? Betty He's not responsible. She was just off the anesthesia. That's true enough. Should we look at some of these quickly? We got time. We got time. My best friend had her wisdom teeth removed. I went over to visit her and she sat up and told me, You know the song where Jay-Z had all the problems? 99 problems, yeah. Yeah. Jay-Z is a pigeon. And Beyonce, the goddamn centaur. I just got my wisdoms pulled two weeks ago. I told my parents I was going to run away to the mountains and train to become Batman. I tried to congratulate the surgeon on a successful surgery with a handshake, but I kept missing his hand. My mum said I did this over 50 times times. I spent the whole ride home talking about how I felt like a squirrel and wanted to go bury my nuts and then fall asleep in a tree. When coming out of surgery, I said to my mum, you have big boobs. Then I grabbed one. Before my mum even got in the door of the recovery room, I shouted, this is better than the best weed I've ever smoked. Her jaw hit the floor. I also said, I have so many things to tell you. And my roommate thankfully shut me up and Immediately, I texted my friend. I don't know what this means still today. In doctor. Get jiggy. A text exchange after I woke up from anesthesia. I tried so hard. I thought I did better than this. I am so out of it. I cannot talp. Well, yeah, I bet. <laughs> I hope can stay bitten longer, tiny. I don't think I can get up. This text brought to you by anesthesia. I'm a high. Holy fuck. I'm so fucking out of it. And I can battle gov gug fug and my likes. I'm not even going to turtiv nav and change this. Awake. The fine. Vibe. Dive. Done. Like I'll struggle. Sleep medicine. Went under anesthesia and told my mum to take my phone beforehand, but she thought it was cute that I wanted to text my girlfriend that I was okay. This was the resulting message. Hi, baby. I miss and just came of loot. Yuck! 
is Sir 993. Two were me. I don't know how wrong method you comes, budget. Miss you. You eat Mount Lover. Swear kajinks. Good night. Anyway, sorry, where were we? Nice cat the week's belly. Despite being a recent owner surrender, he's still a love bug and loves to rub up against volunteers and staff. Naughty cat the week, old Barnacle, got chewing all over himself and his roommates by bonking his head into it instead of licking the treat. Barnacle! Barnacle! Nice cat of the week, Bulma, has been a huge comfort to her kitty friends after one of their roommates passed away. Naughty cat of the week's Hubbard was chosen to represent Heaven on Earth on a live stream and spent the time biting and sassing Tony while she was trying to talk. A Hubbard was having none of the bullshit obvi. What an icon, to be honest. Nail polish emoji. Yeah, go Hubbard. Don't let no ho talk over you. Nice cat of the week, Sibelius. He started opening up to volunteers and accepting more love and pets. <laughs> Not so shy anymore. Naughty cat of the week, Georgie. A hissy missy that promises to be better next time. Georgie is innocent. I'm her lawyer. My client will not be answering questions at this time. Nice cat of the week, Alvin! Has been patiently waiting for his forever home since August. He's also super soft. Naughty cat of the week, Walden, ankle biter extraordinaire! I was not prepared for Walden's photo as of duck ducked. Handsome decent. Perfect. Nice cat of the week, little girl. Alvin's a nice cat of the week last week, sister, who is just as sweet and just as adorable as him. Naughty cat of the week, is still Walden, ankle biter extraordinaire, and has moved up to elbows. I love Walden's sass. It's always the black cats that are naughty. Oh, that sounds a bit generalised to me. Well, we're here now with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on these allegations? Ow! Ow! Well, there we go. Uh, nah, that wasn't fair journalism. I'd been playing with him and there was a storm out. He is usually, of course, the sweetest of gents. Nice Cat of the Week, Lumen, has done an impressive job with harness training and let the staff clip her nails with zero drama. Naughty Cat of the Week's bow has been bullying other cats in the senior room when they try to eat. Food aggression at its finest. Totally would get the Naughty Cat. I too like to bully seniors out of meals. Naughty Cat of the Week, Mystery. Stole food from Bo's enclosure. And Petra's. And probably ate all the breakfast too. Also Naughty Cat of the Week, Arthur escaped his harness and ran down the hall to hide under a bank of cages. It took three people to get him out. Well, they don't seem guilty to me. They're innocent. They're just babies. Analog sad face emoji. Oh, I know. Well, don't worry. Arthur got a new owner very soon after this. Wait, that's fucking Seth MacFarlane. Nice Cat of the Week, Gracie. Well behaved in foster home? Check. Perfect Angel as off his kitty. Check. Looking for a home? Double. Check. Naughty Cat of the Week, Gracie. Why won't you let me love you? Please tell Gracie I love her very much and her death glare only makes me love her more. Nice Cat of the Week is Noah. Has been a sweet and outgoing guy all week. Tested positive uh, for being cute. Naughty Cat of the Week, Goldie and Sweetie. <laughs> Started a turf war in Shadow's Haven. What's that, a turf war? Heart emojis! Nice cat of the week, Milkshake's been keeping all the ringworm quarantined cats entertained with her cute antics. Naughty cat of the week, ah. Oh. What have you done now? Whacked Leroy on the head while breakfast was being served? Not Barnacle again. Barnacle again? Free my man, Barnacle! Nice cat of the week, Leo's everyone's favourite cuddle bug, and also the vet says his diabetic levels are the best she's ever seen. Naughty Cat of the Week, Bessie, terrorises young children for no reason. Also, Tony, age 33. Bessie's got that and I regret nothing look. Tony's overreacting. Nice Cat of the Week, Inchworm, graduated from Ringworm and is celebrating by saying hello to everyone who walks by. Naughty Cat of the Week, Pineapple, bullies Jocelyn when she tries to clean her cage but is nice to everyone else. Jocelyn's clearly the problem. Too much with all that cage cleaning. Sask to get bullied. Has had it coming for a while now, to be honest. Take care of your own shit, Jocelyn. Pineapple emoji! Nice cat of the week is Oscar. Has been very sweet and polite in his foster home, including being tolerant of the annoying resident cat that likes to chase him around. Naughty cat of the week as Callow. Attacked to human Grace because she tripped and startled him. Tell Grace to quit tripping. Put Grace on the naughty list for scaring the cat. Damn it, Grace! Callow was completely justified. Jokalo means a skull in Finnish. Skull emoji!
Georgie! Love Willy Cats. Nice cat of the week is Chin Chin. Chin Chin's been setting the vibe this week. Chill and cosy. She loves to burrow under blankets and snooze the afternoon away. We're jealous, but still love her. Naughty cat of the week is Katie. Do not let this adorable face and sweet demeanour fool you. Katie uses her slim frame and stealth skills to sneak out of her room and roam the halls. Nobody puts Katie in the corner. Hashtag free Katie. Black heart crying cat. Katie can have a little jailbreak as a treat. Meanwhile, the nice cat gets comments like, is no one going to tell them that Chin Chin is Japanese slang for penis? Or nice cat of the week where Maxie's been serving spectacular loafs all week. Naughty cat of the week, Mr. Opossum snuck in the TNR trap in a packing lot and ate all the cat food when he got stuck. He was quickly released. Mr. Opossum looks sorry for his crimes. He looks like he's about to cry, OMG. No, he looks so embarrassed. My boy ain't do nothing. It was me. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Racist. Yeah, Mr. Opossum has to eat too. Please, no, he feels so bad. I I'd like an adoption form for Mr. Opossum, please. I can provide endless snacks and will allow him to scream at own ass as often as he'd like. Meanwhile, comments on the nice cat. Huh, Maxie looks like the Finnish actor uh, Yuka Razila. Well, we're here talking with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on the allegations? It's being too gentle now. Right, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we're here now to talk with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on the allegations? Yeah. Well, we're here now with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on these allegations? Hey, any thoughts on these allegations, Bam? Okay, ready still filming? Yeah. Well, we're here now with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on these allegations? Apparently not.